You're clearly just an average qualified beast master. Yet you've formed a myth level beast companion, the Silver Frost Radiant Moon Dragon. You've clearly killed the lowest level experience monsters and got nothing. But you managed to drop a permanent energy crystal that increases attributes all over the ground. You were clearly chased and fell off a cliff, hanging on the brink of death. Yet you unexpectedly obtained legendary and mysterious fruit, recovering from your injuries and gaining strength. All because you obtained the god level luck system, even though this system can only increase luck points. But as the luck points increased, you found that your luck became more and more abnormal. One second you were lamenting about not being able to afford a meal. The next second, the lottery ticket you bought at random won the first prize. While others are still struggling with the expensive and rare evolution materials, you casually enter a secret realm and find god-level materials everywhere. Others have to rack their brains just to obtain a golden-level beast. But you're chased by hordes of myth-level beasts seeking your favor. And at this moment, you are coming out of the Great Rice House contentedly. Relying on the god-level luck system and the god-level skill, insightful eye, gifted in the new player's pack. You, who were worried about the rent in the morning, now have over 10,000 yuan in cash after a trip to the lottery store. And a first prize scratch card that needs to be redeemed at the lottery center. As for the 24x lotto ticket bought with loose change, we'll have to wait for tonight's draw to find out the result. After that, you went to the Rice's house and spent 4,999 dragon coins to get the latest Orange 16 Pro. You happened to catch the store's promotion, spending over 3,000 dragon coins to get a chance at the lucky draw. You directly hit the jackpot with the first draw, winning the first prize. Under the envious gaze of the shop assistant and other customers, you went all out and bought the 10,000 dragon coin cosmic notebook. Now you are walking back home, thinking about how to obtain a spirit beast. The money in your hands is still not enough to buy a spirit pet from the spirit beast shop. In memory, even the lowest level black iron spirit beast requires 100,000 dragon coins. 100,000 dragon coins. The qualifications of spirit beasts are divided into eight levels, black iron, bronze, silver, gold, platinum, diamond, epic, and legendary. The higher the qualification, the greater the growth potential of the spirit beast. But the price will also be higher. Diamond level qualification and above spirit beasts cannot be bought in the spirit beast shop. These qualified spirit beasts are basically controlled by the spirit beast families and the country. Even a platinum level qualified spirit beast, once it appears in the spirit beast shop, will cause a sensation and be instantly sold out. If ordinary people really want high qualified spirit beasts, they can only take the risk of going to the wild, but then they have to consider the spirit beast parents behind them, along with uncles and aunts. And just when you were lost in thought, you didn't realize that your own figure had disappeared from the spot. But strangely, the passers-by on both sides of the street seemed as if they hadn't seen anything. The feeling of rapid descent left you feeling bewildered, then a sense of clarity emerged in your mind. After what seemed like an eternity, you finally felt the reassuring sensation of standing on solid ground again. But the next moment, as you looked at the rows of eggs in front of you, you became even more bewildered. The eggs were of various colors, each adorned with different patterns. You naturally understood that these were all monster eggs, but the quantity seemed a bit excessive. You roughly estimated that there were at least 200 monster eggs. What kind of place is this? Who left these monster eggs here? These two questions arose in your mind. After surveying the surroundings, you realized that apart from the land beneath your feet, there was nothing but endless void around. If you can't figure it out, don't dwell on it. After all, you're still just a rookie monster tamer. You had planned to go to the monster shop to choose a monster after the lecture tomorrow. Now, with so many monster eggs delivered right to you, it seems like you've saved yourself a lot of dragon coins. So you immediately activated your insightful eye to observe the 12 monster eggs in front of you. These 12 monster eggs made your head spin, as each one turned out to be an epic great egg. Looking at the remaining rows of monster eggs, you excitedly swallowed and then, you continued to walk forward, using your insightful eye to scan through row after row of monster eggs. By the end, you are even a bit numb except for the epic talent. There are actually many legendary talent spirit beasts. You should know that legendary talent is extremely rare. In the entire dragon kingdom, only 10 spirit beasts have legendary talent. And these 10 people are the 10 great guardian gods of the dragon kingdom. It is precisely because of the guardianship of these 10 people that the dragon kingdom can stand tall in this land filled with spirit beasts. And now, a total of 84 legendary spirit beast eggs are available for you to choose from. So many spirit beast eggs, it's really hard to choose a contract. You mutter to yourself, rubbing your chin, which legendary talent is better. However, just as you ponder, the void sky suddenly starts to surge, with silver rays of lightning flashing. 
Crackle, countless silver thunderbolts suddenly strike down, precisely hitting these rows of spirit beast eggs. In the blink of an eye, all the eggs are shattered, turning into countless points of different colors. What the heck, my eggs? Seeing this, you feel like crying but have no tears. This is so unsettling. Your own dreams are shattered, so what's the point of making a contract? It seems you just let yourself indulge. I should have acted decisively earlier. Just randomly choose a legendary talent spirit beast egg. Contract is made. However, the next moment, a scene that shatters your worldview appears. The various colored dots unexpectedly converge together, beginning to compress continuously. Gradually, they formed an oval outline, and then, a bolt of silver lightning as thick as a water barrel descended once again. This time, the silver lightning didn't split the oval, but enveloped it, and at this moment, the entire oval emitted a dazzling silver light. Then, the silver light gradually dissipated, and a half-human-sized mythical beast egg appeared, floating towards your position, finally landing steadily at your feet. Activating the Eye of Insight, you scan the half-human-sized mythical beast egg at your feet. Name, Silver Frost Radiant Moon Dragon, Unique Attribute, Full Range of Qualifications, Mythological Level 0300, Egg Form. This seems a bit heaven-defying, looking at the data on the panel, you were completely unsettled. The highest known qualification currently is Legendary, with a maximum level of 200. And what you saw was a mythological qualification, with a maximum level of 300, and also the only one of its kind. Doesn't this mean that as long as you don't die, you can be invincible? This time, you've truly hit the jackpot. This time, you didn't hesitate, biting your middle finger directly, and according to the remembered contract method, drew a contract array on the mythical beast egg. After drawing the last stroke, the contract array drawn with blood emitted a strange red light, entering the mythical beast egg. Immediately after, cracks began to appear on the surface of the mythical beast egg. As the cracks became denser, a silver little head broke through the shell, and soon, the whole dragon flew out of the shell. The silver frost moon dragon joyfully chirped, flew around you twice, then landed on your shoulder, and nuzzled your face with its little head. You raised your hand, touched the little head of the silver frost moon dragon, and said, from now on, I'll call you Yuang. The newly born silver frost moon dragon was only 70 centimeters long, entirely shining in silver, looking very cute. Yuang's two eyes narrowed into two crescents, then affectionately nuzzled against you. Then it flew up from your shoulder, landed in front of the shattered eggshell, and opened its small mouth to eat the fallen eggshells. As Yuaying ate, you noticed its dragon body continuously shimmering, while its body seemed to be slowly growing. After 10 minutes, Yuaying finished eating all the eggshells, let out a burp, with a face of happy and intoxicated expression. At this point, Yuaying had already reached a length of 1 meter. The Eye of Insight scanned the Yuaying panel and appeared in front of you again. Looking at the Yuaying panel, the corners of your mouth twitched slightly. This dragon alone has six talents. And it has the first replicated talent, isn't that equivalent to infinite talent? And this nurturing talent, that is the talent all beast masters dream of. After forming a contract with the desire beast, the body will indeed undergo some enhancement, but the enhancement is not very significant. And the talent to nourish the master is based on a percentage of the desire beast's overall attributes. If this desire beast is powerful enough, then its master will benefit immensely. However, according to my memory, this nourishing talent can only nourish the master with up to 20% of all attributes. Yet, Yuaying's nourishing talent has actually reached 50%, perhaps this is the power of mythical talent. Regarding skills, you are also very satisfied. Although there are only three skills, they cover group, single target, and control. Currently, Yuaying is only at level 5. Based on the skills, other spirit beasts at level May 5th only have one skill at this time. Those with higher talent may have only two skills. However, the experience bar is a problem. In my memory, a spirit beast only needs 300 points of experience to go from level 5 to level 6. Yuaying's experience bar has increased by 10 times directly. It seems like I need to hurry and level up with Yuaying. However, a problem arises. It's all empty around here. How can I get out? It seems like I'm trapped here. Just then, a silvery white light appeared, gradually grew larger and finally took the form of a gate. You look at the suddenly appearing gate and make a six with one hand. I was just thinking about how to get out, and then this gate appeared. I'm really lucky. After putting Yuaying into the spirit beast space, you walk into the gate formed by the silvery white light. Just as you stepped into the silver white glow formed gate, the scene in front of you changed in an instant, and the pedestrians on the street reappeared. However, these pedestrians still seemed oblivious to your sudden appearance, as if they hadn't seen you at all. Could it be that they can't see me? 
As you walked towards the rental house, muttering to yourself, you felt as if something had shattered loudly behind you. Turning around, you noticed a very faint ripple. You suddenly understood in your heart that it wasn't that the pedestrians couldn't see you, but rather an issue with the spatial location. Back at home, you summoned Yueying from the beast space. As soon as she appeared, Yueying flew onto your shoulder, lightly rubbing her little head against your face. After that, you and your pet enjoyed a delicious meal. You picked up your phone to check the time, 12.35, realizing it was still early. You decided to take Yueying into the experience secret realm to level up. After paying 2,000 dragon coins, you smoothly entered the experience secret realm. After walking for a while in the experience secret realm, you found the first wild monster. Activating the insightful eye, you scanned the panel of this monster. At this moment, the skeleton infantry turned around, and two green flames rose in its hollow eye sockets. Then it charged towards your and Yueying's position. Yueying used the sharp gold shattering claw, and a slight smile tugged at the corner of your mouth. As the command was given, two claws of the moon shadow quickly appeared. The entire dragon shot towards the skeleton soldiers like an arrow leaving the bow. The dragon claw, shimmering with golden light, swung and directly tore apart the body of the skeleton soldier, causing its bones to scatter. Just then, a thumb-sized block emitting a purple light suddenly dropped. Afterwards, the scattered bones turned into specks of light, being absorbed into the body by moon shadow. Damn, monsters actually drop items when killed? You were left stunned and astonished. You clearly remembered that in the experience secret realm, wild monsters only turned into experience points when killed, absorbed by the moon beasts, and didn't drop items. Could it be a matter of your own luck points? The more you thought about it, the more you felt it was possible. After all, luck is quite mysterious. Just like the location. Even space could be stepped into inexplicably by yourself. It seemed quite reasonable for wild monsters to drop something after they died. You briskly ran up and picked up the purple block from the ground. As your insightful eye swept over it, the information about the purple block appeared before your eyes. Named Energy Magic Crystal, it permanently increases strength by one point after consumption, applicable to any living being. No limit on the amount consumed, and no side effects. After reading the item's properties, you couldn't help but exclaim that this thing was a bit outrageous. This energy magic crystal can permanently enhance attributes and is applicable to any living being, which means both you and Moon Shadow can consume it. But now, improving the strength and level of the Moon Camp is the top priority. So you handed the energy magic crystal to Yueying, and she opened her mouth to eat it. Yueying grabbed the energy magic crystal from your hand, without hesitation, and stuffed it into her mouth. After swallowing the energy magic crystal, Yueying's eyes narrowed into crescents. With a face full of happiness, she kept circling around you. You didn't understand what Yueying's cry meant, so you could only judge by her expression and actions. But judging from Yueying's expression, she seemed to really like the energy magic crystal. Just now, killing the ice-smashing skeleton increased his remaining experience from 45 points to 49 points, only adding 4 points of experience. It seems that to level up quickly, you need to find places with more monsters. So, you continued on with Yueying. After a few steps, you encountered two level 3 gray wolves again, and the two wolves glanced at each other. One of them howled to the sky. The other one stared at you and Yueying with fierce eyes. Seeing this, you immediately guessed what the gray wolves wanted to do. Summon a wolf pack, right? Just what you were missing. Soon, more than 20 figures rushed out, surrounding you and Yueying in the center. Looking at the interface of these gray wolves, most were at levels 3 to 6, except for the leader, which was at level 8. The leader wolf had a long scar across its right eye, giving off a fierce impression. At this moment, the lead wolf let out a howl and pounced towards the moon eagle. The rest of the surrounding wolf pack, seeing their leader engage, naturally swarmed in. You want to see how the moon eagle fights on instinct, so I'm giving it to you. After receiving your instructions, Yu Ying's entire dragon body was instantly surrounded by a dazzling yellow electric python. Holy cow, you blurted out a classical idiom when you saw the situation. When did Yu Ying start to worry? Besides, it's not written on the moon shadow panel. Also, why does this dazzling yellow electric python look a bit familiar? After a cry from moon shadow, the electric aura surrounding it scattered in all directions, launching indiscriminate attacks. However, these electric eels are quite agile and avoided you. Then, a series of baby arm thick electric eels bombarded the surroundings, creating a mess all around. The lead wolf has reached level 8, a bit more resilient. The first electric eel didn't directly kill him, but only held out until the second one. The rest of the wolf pack isn't as resilient as the lead wolf. They were instantly killed by the electric eel's bombardment. 
After bursting out about 20 energy magic crystals, the wolf pack turned into experience points, absorbed into the moon firefly's body. You walk towards the spot where the wolves died and pick up the energy magic crystals that fell on the ground. This time, all the energy magic crystals are green, a total of 24 pieces, and their effect is to permanently increase agility by one point. After wiping the energy magic crystals, you kept one for yourself, and let Yue Ying take the remaining 23 pieces. After all, there are a lot of them this time, and you also want to taste what it's like. You put the thumb-sized energy magic crystal into your mouth, and there was nothing strange about the taste, just a hint. After swallowing the energy magic crystal, you felt a warm flow rushing through your limbs and bones, a feeling even more comfortable than soaking your feet. In less than 3 minutes, Zhui Ying had swallowed all 23 pieces of energy magic crystals. However, to your surprise, you found on Yue Ying's panel that she had gained a new skill, 100,000 volts. It's the same 100,000 volts as Pikachu's. You finally understood where that familiar feeling came from. However, you were curious about how Yue Ying learned this 100,000 volts. Could it be that she learned it from watching TV before going out? The more you thought about it, the more you were sure that this replication talent was so amazing, even being able to learn skills from cartoons. It seems that in the future, when not leveling up, you'll have to let Yue Ying watch more cartoons. After that, you continued to move forward with Yue Ying. This time, there's no need to give orders, as you encountered a single wild monster. Yue Ying immediately launched a 100,000 volt attack. When encountering a group of wild monsters, either activate the meteor summon skill, causing a meteor shower to fall, or directly unleash a 100,000 volt indiscriminate attack, while you leisurely pick up the energy magic crystals that have exploded. Finally, after killing another group of level 7 to 12 long tail monsters, a silver light flickers on Yue Ying's dragon body, and the dragon's body visibly lengthens once again. You mutter to yourself while picking up energy magic crystals, finally reaching level 6. You take out your phone, glance at the time, and realize it's already 4 o'clock in the afternoon. After 4 hours, you've only leveled up once. It looks like you and Yue Ying will be spending the night in this amazing secret realm. After Yue Ying finishes devouring the energy magic crystals, you and Yue Ying set off again. Before long, you spot several beast masters commanding their beasts to battle the wild monsters. However, you didn't continue forward and instead bypassed them. After all, Moonshadow will explode with energy magic crystals after killing the wild monsters. As is well known, after wild monsters die in the experience realm, they only turn into experience points, and nothing else appears. If someone discovers this secret, who knows what will happen. Your current strength is still too weak, so it's best to quickly. You then come across another group of goblins, around 20 of them, ranging from level 10 to 13. Looking around, there were no other beast masters in sight. Then, leading the way, Moonshadow Dragon, in an instant, countless meteorites condensed above the goblin group's heads, and then crazily rained down. The goblin group, caught off guard, suffered heavy casualties, with half of their numbers killed instantly. After the explosion of the energy magic crystal, it turned into a stunning point and was absorbed by Moonshadow. Meanwhile, behind a clump of grass, two men were crouching, their eyes fixed intently on Moonshadow. One of the men with yellow hair lowered his voice and stuttered, BB Boss, th that kid's companion, should be a uh, dragon. Why yes, damn it. The boss, missing a front tooth, slapped the back of the yellow-haired man's head and said angrily, almost made me stutter. H hey, B Boss, W we're gonna get rich. Shut up. Let's sneak up and summon our beasts to take out that kid. The boss, missing a tooth, and the yellow-haired man cautiously approached the location of Lin Chen and Yu Ying, using the cover of bushes and trees. The goblin group had already been wiped out by Yu Ying's skills, and Lin Chen began collecting energy crystals. Crack! The sound of a branch breaking caught Yu Ying's attention. Yin Yu Ying flew to Lin Chen and pointed at a large tree, frowning. Lin Chen furrowed his brows and became alert. After picking up the last energy crystal at his feet, Lin Chen shouted, Who's there? The boss, missing a tooth, glared fiercely at the yellow-haired man and walked out from behind the tree. Since they had been discovered, there was no point in hiding. The distance was not far, and he was confident he could summon his beast to take out this beast tamer. The yellow-haired man followed the boss nervously. Who are you? What are you up to, sneaking around? Lin Shen squinted his eyes and scanned the two men. Name, Yang Peak, Occupation, Beast Tamer, Talent, None, Beasts, 
Blaze Wolf Level 25, Bronze Tier, Black Stripe Python Level 14, Black Iron Tier, Name, Song Bao, Occupation, Beast Tamer, Talent, None, Beasts, Blood Wolf Spider Level 25, Black Iron Tier, Song Bao Started to Speak, W.E.R. Shut up! Yang Peak kicked Song Bao in the butt, and a blue magic circle appeared as he summoned the Blaze Wolf. Seeing his boss summoning the beast, Song Bao immediately summoned the Blood Wolf Spider with a brown magic circle. Kid, we are beast hunters, and we have our eyes on your beasts. Yang Peak pointed at Lin Chen and said, So, you're dead. Yuing, run. Without hesitation, Lin Chen shouted and ran off with Yuing. He knew what beast hunters were. They made a living by snatching high-quality and rare beasts to sell to wealthy clients. They also took commissions to capture dangerous beasts for their clients. These people would do anything for money. Trying to run? Blaze Wolf, use your fiery attack on that kid. Young Peak ordered. The Blaze Wolf obeyed, spewing out a burst of hot flames towards Lin Chen. Just as the flames were about to hit Lin Chen, Yuing dove and pushed him down, taking the hit on her back. Lin Chen got up, holding Yuing in his arms. Seeing Yu Ying's injury, Lin Chen clenched his fist, his eyes filled with strong killing intent. If he could survive today, he would make sure to destroy these two. Yin Yu Ying weakly murmured. Yu Ying, rest in the beast space, leave the rest to me. Lin Chen put Yu Ying into the beast space and continued running. Damn it! Seeing that the attack didn't get rid of Lin Chen but instead injured the dragon, Yang Peak cursed. SP Spider, attack! Song Bao ordered the Blood Wolf Spider beside him. The spider's eight eyes glowed red as it prepared to attack. The spider burped. Damn it! Useless! Yang Dianfeng lifted his foot and kicked the round belly of the Blood Wolf Spider. The Blood Wolf Spider, which was only half the height of a person, was kicked forward and rolled two rounds. Puff! A milky white spider web shot out in an instant, directly sticking Yang Dianfeng, the flame wolf, and his beast tamer song bow firmly to the ground. The blood wolf spider flipped its body over, blinked its eight eyes innocently. Yang Dianfeng shouted at song bow next to him, You're the undercover sent by that kid, right? Your beast is just as treacherous as you. Song bow looked aggrieved but dared not speak. After some effort, Yang Dianfeng and the flame wolf finally broke free from the spider web. By this time, Lin Chen had already disappeared. Chase. Yang Dianfeng ordered as he mounted the flame wolf's back. Relying on the scent left by that kid and the flame wolf's keen sense of smell, he didn't believe a two-legged human could outrun a four-legged flame wolf. The flame wolf sniffed and then ran madly in one direction. Big, brother, wait. Before Song Bao could finish speaking, the flame wolf had already turned Yang Dianfeng into a black dot. Jumping onto the back of the blood wolf spider, as the blood wolf spider's eight legs thrashed vigorously, it chased after the direction where the flame wolf had turned into a black dot. At this moment, Lin Shen was leaning against a towering tree, panting heavily. The sprint just now almost made his heart explode. Lin Shen was sure that his speed just now was faster than several bolts combined in his previous life. Before catching his breath, Lin Shen looked ahead and saw Yang Dianfeng riding the flame wolf running towards him. Damn, he's chasing so fast. Cursing under his breath, Lin Chen ran again. Yang Dianfeng also noticed Lin Chen's actions. Lin Chen was running ahead recklessly, with the flame wolf carrying Yang Dianfeng closely behind. The distance between them was getting closer. Flame wolf, use flame bullets. Yang Dianfeng's eyes were fierce as he ordered. When a beast tamer dies, the constructed beast space will dissipate, and the dragon will appear. Similarly, the contract between the beast tamer and the beast will be automatically terminated. Anyway, in his eyes, Lin Chen wouldn't survive no matter what. The flame wolf opened its mouth, and a flame bullet shot towards Lin Chen's position. As soon as Yang Dianfeng spoke, Lin Chen dodged to the side. The scorching flame bullet whizzed past his buttocks, igniting his pants. The flame bullet hit a giant tree not far ahead of Lin Chen, blasting a large hole in the trunk, which then began to burn violently. Lin Chen rolled on the ground, extinguishing the flames on his buttocks. Enduring the burning sensation on his buttocks, Lin Chen got up and continued to run recklessly. 
Keep attacking. With Yang Dianfeng's command, flame bullets continued to spew out from the flame wolf's mouth. Lin Chen kept maneuvering between the trees. Soon, Lin Chen found that there was no way forward. You little rabbit, keep running. Yang Dianfeng jumped off the flame wolf's back and taunted, Aren't you good at running? Why stop now? With the burning pain on his buttocks and the exhaustion from the intense running, Lin Chen gritted his teeth, turned his head to look at the cliff behind him. The rock wall was as sharp as a knife, with no support points at all. Mist lingered below the cliff, making it impossible to see how deep it was. Flame Wolf, use Flame Prison. Yang Dianfeng immediately ordered. He was afraid that under the inertia, he would accidentally knock this kid off the cliff, which would be like a cooked duck flying away. He didn't have a flying beast, so if this kid fell off the cliff, he would have no way to deal with it. He decided to trap the kid first and then proceed with the kill. The scorching fire energy around the explosive flame wolf began to condense in an instant, forming a cage of flames that descended towards Lin Chen's position. Lin Chen clenched his fists, his eyes cold. Adrenaline surged as the cage was about to envelop him. With a roll, Lin Chen leaped directly off the cliff. Damn! Seeing Lin Chen jump off the cliff, Yang Dianfeng's face darkened. Approaching the edge of the cliff, looking at the mistrotted bottom like a giant mouth ready to devour, Yang Dianfeng cursed Lin Chen's ancestors hundreds of times before leaving angrily with the explosive flame wolf. Under the strong sense of weightlessness, Lin Chen's vision darkened, and he passed out. In the beast space, Yuing sensed Lin Chen's abnormality. Anxious, she continuously tried to break free from the constraints of the beast space. After numerous attempts, a silver light flashed, and Yuing appeared above Lin Chen, who was falling rapidly. With weakening sensations from within, Yuing felt the world becoming increasingly blurry, and they both fell together. After some time, the sky gradually darkened. Lin Chen's fingers moved slightly, and he slowly opened his eyes. With a sharp pain in his abdomen, he gasped for breath. Looking down, he saw a branch stuck in his abdomen, blood oozing from the wound. Struggling to stand up, Lin Chen noticed Yuing lying nearby. Why was Yuing here when he had stored her in the beast space? As he walked towards Yuing, calling out to her, there was no response. Lin Chen's heart raced, and he used his inside eye to scan Yu Ying's status. The data showed that Yu Ying was not dead, easing Lin Chen's worries. Sitting beside Yu Ying, Lin Chen surveyed the surroundings. There were no wild beasts, only a giant tree with various fruits and withered grass, giving an eerie and desolate vibe. As he scanned the giant tree with his inside eye, Lin Chen was shocked by the information he received. Name, mysterious tree, gender, none, attribute, ancient, plant, quality, legendary, level, 192 out of 200, legendary tier, experience, 15994-28485467000, talent, nurturing, randomly produces life fruit, strength fruit, agility fruit, constitution fruit, defense fruit, spirit fruit, experience fruit, eternal life, endless lifespan, roots extend infinitely underground, will not die unless destroyed, body cannot move, instinct will not actively attack living beings, but will retaliate if attacked, dealing 500% damage, skills, leaf blade storm, AoE attacks formed by condensed leaves, causing continuous cutting effects destruction branch, single target attacks extended by any tree branch. Lin Shen was surprised to find that the giant tree in front of him was a legendary level wild beast. No wonder all the grass around it was withered, as if drained of nutrients. It was strange how a legendary level tree ended up in this experience realm. How did such a creature go unnoticed by the government after existing for centuries? Clutching his abdomen, Lin Chen once again scanned the panel of fruits on the tree. The effects of each type of fruit were extremely powerful, making him drool with desire. Among them, the effect of the vitality fruit was the most. Incredible any creature below level 100 would be instantly healed from their injuries. This vitality fruit was exactly what he needed at the moment. Despite being able to move, his injuries were severe. The wound on his abdomen kept bleeding, and he couldn't remove the branch from it. The continuous bleeding would lead to shock and death from blood loss, it was only a matter of time. Lin Chen sighed, ah, it's torture that I can only look but not use. Picking the fruits would attract attacks from the mysterious tree and Lin Chen believed that he would be killed instantly by a single strike from the tree. Suddenly, 
A strong wind howled past. A large amount of weeds along with the ground were lifted high into the air. Lin Chen and the mooning were also lifted two meters high by the wind. It came fast and went fast. When the wind stopped, Lin Chen and Mooning fell to the ground. Puff. Lin Chen clutched his abdomen, and a stream of blood sprayed from his mouth. However, the scene in front of him stunned Lin Chen, and a look of joy instantly appeared on his face. He saw that two-thirds of the fruits originally growing on the mysterious tree had been blown down, covering the ground densely. The branch stuck in his abdomen was pulled out by Lin Chen, and a stream of blood followed. Lin Chen quickly crawled towards the pile of fruits on the ground. Ignoring the blood on his hands, he grabbed a vitality fruit and took a bite. The vitality fruit tasted sweet, like eating an apple. After swallowing it, it turned into energy that entered Lin Chen's body, repairing his internal injuries and healing the wound on his abdomen at a visible speed. After eating a vitality fruit, his injuries were completely healed. There was not a single scar left on his abdomen and Lin Chen praised the vitality fruit and the mysterious tree. Picking up another vitality fruit, Lin Chen walked towards Mooning. He picked up the unconscious Mooning with one hand and wiped his clothes. After breaking off a small piece of the vitality fruit, Lin Chen squeezed it, letting the juice flow into Moon Ying's mouth. The burns on Moon Ying's back were visibly healing at a rapid speed, and Lin Chen could feel Moon Ying's body move slightly in his arms. Mooning opened his eyes, seeing his master safe and sound, and excitedly chirped. Good, eat up all of this vitality fruit, and all your injuries will be completely healed. Lin Chen rubbed Moon Ying's head and handed him the vitality fruit. Mooning swallowed the vitality fruit in three bites, and under its effect, Mooning recovered completely. Bringing Mooning to where the fruits from the mysterious tree had fallen, Lin Chen collected all the vitality fruits and stored them in Moon Ying's dimensional gate. Lin Chen had personally experienced the effects of these vitality fruits, which were like miraculous medicine that could turn the tide in critical moments. As for the other fruits, Lin Chen sorted them into different categories. There were a large number of experienced fruits, totaling 219. Mooning, start by eating this pile of experienced fruits. Lin Chen pointed to the pile of experienced fruits. The volume of this pile of experienced fruits was at least 10 times the size of Mooning, and Lin Chen really doubted if Mooning could finish them all. Upon hearing this, Mooning landed in front of the pile of experienced fruits, lifted a paw, and picked up one. After three bites, it was swallowed, and Lin Chen used his inside eye to scan Moon Ying's panel. Experience, 3128-5000, Lin Chen remembered that Moon Ying's remaining experience was only 128 points, but this one experience fruit unexpectedly increased it by 30 hundred points. It was truly a top quality product from a legendary monster. With 218 experience fruits left, if all were consumed, wouldn't that mean gaining 654,000 experience points? Lin Chen wondered how many levels Mooning could gain from this wave. Mooning diligently ate the experience fruits, while Lin Chen's insightful eyes kept turning, always watching Mooning. The silver sheen occasionally shone from Moon Ying's body while her size continued to grow. Level 7 Level 8 Level 9 Level 10 After consuming all the experience fruits, Moon Ying's level settled at 24, just one step away from reaching level 25. Lin Chen noticed that each experience fruit provided a different amount of experience, with the lowest one giving 1,000 points and the highest one providing a whopping 15,000 experience points. Looking at Mooning, whose body now exceeded 5 meters in length, Lin Chen felt that his small house could not accommodate her large body. Before Lin Chen could say anything, Mooning swallowed the remaining fruits. Ian burp Mooning belched after finishing. Her body emitted a silver sheen again, and to Lin Chen's surprise, her size began to shrink until she returned to a length of 1 meter. Flying onto Lin Chen's shoulder, Mooning affectionately rubbed against his face. Patting Moon Ying's head, Lin Chen smiled and said, I didn't expect you could freely change your body size, impressive. Ying Moon Ying, praised by Lin Chen, narrowed her eyes into a crescent shape, showing a human-like smile. Taking out his phone, the screen was cracked from the series of events, but it still worked. Lin Chen glanced at the time, 1928. Mysterious tree, thanks for today. If I have the chance, I will definitely form a contract with you and take you home, Lin Chen said, 
waving towards the mysterious tree. Although he didn't know if the mysterious tree could hear him, he was grateful for the fruits today. Otherwise, he might have been in big trouble. Mooning, it's time to go back, Lin Chen said. Yin Mooning flew off his shoulder and landed, her body slowly growing back to five meters in length. Lin Chen stood on Moon Ying's head, and together they flew towards the cliff. Moon Ying's flying speed was fast, and they soon returned to the cliff where Lin Chen had fallen. Directing Moon Ying to continue deeper, the experience gap to level 25 was not much, only 14,000 more points. So Lin Chen planned to leave with Moon Ying once she reached level 25. Tomorrow, he would exchange the lottery ticket and buy advanced materials for Moon Ying. Passing by some scattered wild monsters, Mooning easily dealt with them using her spatial blades. At level 24, Mooning had learned many new skills, including one called Psychic Wave, which allowed her to control energy crystals to float in front of her, saving Lin Chen from scavenging. Een. Een. Mooning suddenly stopped in midair, pointing her claw towards a spot and making a few sounds. Lin Chen followed her gaze and saw a hint of killing intent in his eyes. He saw Yang Dianfeng and Song Bao who had chased him before and forced him to jump off the cliff. At that moment, Yang Dianfeng and Song Bao were commanding their beasts to battle a group of level 16 to 21 wild monsters, about 7 or 8 in number. After the flame wolves and blood wolf spiders had weakened the monsters, the black striped pythons would finish them off, absorbing the final experience points. Mooning, attack! Lin Chen ordered decisively. Unexpectedly meeting them here, it was truly a narrow escape. Mooning was already at level 24. Although still in the black iron tier, with the boost from the fruits and energy crystals, Lin Chen believed that defeating the bronze tier flame wolf should not be a problem. Following Lin Chen's command, Moon Ying's eyes glowed red. Countless meteors condensed above Yang Dianfeng and Song Bao's heads and rained down violently. It was Moon Ying's star meteor skill. The first to suffer was the black striped python, which was happily absorbing experience points after killing a monster when a meteor smashed its head, splattering red and white all over Yang Dianfeng's face, Yang Dianfeng and Song Bao also reacted at this moment. They commanded the flame wolf and blood wolf spider to continuously knock down the meteorites falling towards them. Damn, who the hell is messing with me, come out! Yang Dianfeng shouted, the black striped python was a new spirit beast he had just contracted not long ago. The talent of this black striped python was extraordinary, and a lot of effort was put into capturing it. Now it died so tragically, with its brain splattered out. Who, who, come out? Song Bao echoed, still stuttering. Yuing, fly in front of them, Lin Chen ordered. Since they wanted to know who it was, Lin Chen naturally had to satisfy their curiosity. At the same time, Lin Chen did not want to let them die so easily. Offending him, Lin Chen, and dying so easily, wouldn't that be too cheap for them? Yuing flew with Lin Chen and stopped 5 meters away from Yang Dianfeng and Song Bao. Within a radius of 5 meters centered on Yang Dianfeng and Song Bao, meteorites were still falling madly. Grandpa Lin Chen is here, how will you treat him? Lin Chen said coldly, looking down at Yang Dianfeng as if he were looking at a dead man. Is it you? You're not dead. Yang Dianfeng's eyes showed disbelief. Falling off that cliff so deeply, with the miserable state the kid was in at the time, it was unbelievable that he didn't die. And this kid's spirit beast seemed even more powerful than before, its aura even overshadowing his flame wolf. What had this kid experienced in just a few hours? I haven't killed you two yet, is it fair for me to die while you're chasing me? Lin Shen said coldly, then gave an order to Yu Ying, Yu Ying, use Psychic Wave to pull him out for me, I want to kill him myself. In an invisible transparent psychic force was released by Yu Ying, and Yang Dianfeng's body suddenly floated up and was quickly brought over. In just two breaths, he had covered the five meter distance. Still in a daze, Yang Dianfeng had already arrived under Lin Chen and Yu Ying. Seeing his master being brought over, the flame wolf howled to the sky, shooting fireballs at the falling meteorites, desperately trying to break out of the meteorites' attack range. Yu Ying, I leave that flame wolf to you, Lin Chen said, then leaped down from Yu Ying's head and landed steadily on the ground. With 50% of Yu Ying's attributes enhanced on Lin Chen, a 7-8 meter free fall was nothing to him. Bound by
Psychic wave, Yang Dianfeng lay on the ground in a shape, unable to move a muscle. Don't come over. Yang Dianfeng shouted in horror, like a bullied woman who couldn't move. He could only watch as Lin Chen walked towards him step by step. With each step Lin Chen took, Yang Dianfeng's heart trembled. When Lin Chen reached in front of Yang Dianfeng, he kicked out with his right foot without hesitation. Crack. Ah. The sound of a scream and cracking eggs almost sounded at the same time, Yang Dianfeng's eyes bulged, large beads of sweat oozing from his forehead. Even with the binding of psychic wave, Yang Dianfeng's trembling could not be stopped. Yang Dianfeng went from a shape to a big shape. Yang Dianfeng, epilepsy. Lin Shen bent down and patted Yang Dianfeng's face, sneering, now your condition matches your name. You damn bastard. Yang Dianfeng gritted his teeth, the seven words coming out intermittently from his mouth. I don't know if I'll die, but you will definitely die first. From the moment you wanted to kill me, it was destined that you would die by my hands. Lin Chen picked up a nearby rock and smashed it hard on Yang Dianfeng's face. With one blow, Yang Dianfeng's nose bled profusely, and his mouth, missing a front tooth, finally looked neat. Yang Dianfeng kept spitting out blood bubbles and teeth, after seeing that the first blow didn't kill him, Lin Chen continued to fiercely strike down until Yang Dianfeng made no sound. Lin Chen stopped his striking motion and threw the bloodstained stone from his hand, then slumped to the ground. In his two lifetimes, this was the first time Lin Chen had killed someone with crystal core in his hand, Yu Ying's eyes revealed a longing gaze. Lin Chen directly fed the crystal core to Yu Ying, who swallowed it, and then a silver light shimmered. Yu Ying leveled up to 25. Glancing at Yu Ying's panel, it indeed indicated the possibility of advancement. However, Lin Chen's mouth twitched slightly when he saw the materials required for advancement. The materials needed for advancement were too many. Some of the material names were completely unfamiliar to Lin Chen, and many materials were of a higher grade, relying solely on his own money to make purchases was clearly not enough, Lin Chen felt that he still needed to continue making money. However, Lin Chen could understand, after all, Yu Ying was the top talent in the entire department and had mythological qualifications. To grow, the sacrifices made would definitely be much greater than those made by ordinary beast tamers. All the gifts of fate had already been marked with a price in secret. Walking up to the black striped python whose head had been smashed open, Lin Chen picked up a crystal core from the red and white mixture on the ground. He wiped it on his clothes and placed it inside Yu Ying's spatial gate. Yu Ying had reached level 25, and before advancing, swallowing crystal cores and killing wild beasts would no longer yield experience points. As for the bodies of Yang Dianfeng and the others, Lin Chen did not deal with them. Dying in the experience realm was a normal occurrence, and no one would inquire about the cause of death. Perhaps before anyone discovered them, these bodies would be devoured by newly formed wild beasts. It was still early, and Lin Chen had no intention of leaving, but instead continued to have Yuing kill wild beasts. Although killing wild beasts did not yield experience points, the energy magic crystals that were dropped had no restrictions, and consuming them would still increase attributes. It was good to have Yuing raise some attributes. After some time passed, a cold mechanical synthesis sound rang in Lin Chen's mind. Ding! Ten lucky points issued today. Automatically loaded. Glancing at the time on his phone, it was already early the next day. Lin Chen sat on top of Yu Ying's head and yawned, looking at the spirited Yu Ying, saying, Yu Ying, I'll take a nap. If you get tired, wake me up, and then we'll go home. Yin Yu Ying responded, using telekinetic waves to fix Lin Chen on her head to prevent him from falling. At the same time, she considerately covered Lin Chen's ears with telekinetic waves, afraid that the sounds of battle would disturb him. Although being fixed by telekinetic waves was somewhat uncomfortable, Lin Chen, who had been busy all day, was too tired. He closed his eyes and quickly fell asleep. Yuing continued to search for and kill wild beasts, then devour energy magic crystals. A night passed quietly. In the morning, Lin Chen woke up. He found that he had slept until dawn. Yuing was still in battle below him. Seeing his master awake, Yuing quickly finished off the remaining two ironclad rampaging bears. After consuming the energy magic crystals, Yuing released the telekinetic wave skill used to fix Lin Chen. Lin Chen stood up, and his insightful eye scanned Yuying's attribute panel. 
The various values on it made him break out in a cold sweat. Constitution, 451, Strength, 525, Defense, 379, Agility, 502, Yu Ying's highest agility attribute was only 175 points before, how many wild beasts did Yu Ying kill last night? Yu Ying worked too hard. With Yu Ying's current overall attributes, she would probably not be inferior to a level 40 bronze tier beast tamer. Yin Yuing chirped, seemingly greeting Lin Chen, but her voice carried a hint of fatigue. You've worked hard, Yu Ying. Sensing the fatigue in Yu Ying's voice, Lin Chen patted her head and said, Let's go home. After Yu Ying responded, the two of them flew towards the exit of the realm. With Yu Ying's agility increased by over 300 points, her flying speed became even more abnormal. In no time, they arrived at the exit of the realm. After storing Yu Ying in the beast space, Lin Chen left the realm. The scene before him changed. Lin Chen, covered in tatters, appeared outside the realm gate. His body was covered in bloodstains, his shirt fluttered like tattered strips in the wind, and the fabric on his buttocks was nowhere to be seen. But no one said anything, as this seemed too normal in their eyes. There were many high-level wild beasts in the realm, and it was quite common to encounter a group of high-level wild beasts if luck was not on one side, even dying in the realm was normal. Lin Chen hailed a taxi and returned to his rental house. He immediately took off his tattered clothes, rushed into the bathroom for a shower. After changing into clean clothes, he summoned Yu Ying, who at that moment seemed groggy, indicating that she had just been resting in the beast space after taking out the scratch card and the divine dragon lottery from the gate of the moon ying's alternate space lin chen put moon ying into the beast space he searched the divine dragon lottery website on the computer comparing the numbers on the lottery ticket with the numbers displayed on the computer one by one all the numbers were exactly the same undoubtedly this 24 times divine dragon lottery ticket had won However, Lin Chen knew that it was all because of lucky points. Without the blessing of lucky points, how could he casually buy a lottery ticket and win? In his previous life, he had bought a lot of double color balls in Dilla 2, and the highest he had won was only 5 yuan. The lottery center was in Qinghe City, in the same province as Luo Bay City, but to get there, he had to take the high-speed rail. After buying a high-speed rail ticket to Qinghe City online, Lin Chen packed all the scratch cards and lottery tickets into a backpack. With the bag on his back, Lin Chen headed to the high-speed rail station. The arrival time of this high-speed rail was 8.45 in the morning, and when Lin Chen arrived at the high-speed rail station, the timing was just right. Sitting on the high-speed rail, Lin Chen took out his phone. When Mooning was fighting monsters yesterday, he had recorded all the materials Mooning needed to advance in the phone's notes. With nothing else to do at the moment, he could check the prices of these materials online. Not checking, not knowing, but checking was shocking. None of the advanced materials Mooning needed were cheap. A bronze quality elite young flower cost 200,000 dragon coins, which was the cheapest among Mooning's advanced materials. Lin Chen silently recorded the prices of the materials he could find in the notes. Time was like a running alpaca on the grassland, two hours passed in the blink of an eye. Walking out of the station, before Lin Chen could hail a taxi, a taxi stopped in front of him. Young man, where to? The middle-aged driver rolled down the window and asked. The lottery center. No problem, get in. Opening the door, Lin Chen just sat in the front passenger seat. The middle-aged driver suddenly stepped on the gas pedal, and the taxi shot out like an arrow, making Lin Chen tightly pressed against the backrest due to inertia. Looking at the dashboard showing over 120 miles per hour and the passing vehicles, Lin Chen's heart was in his throat. Young man, you should be a student at your age, right? The middle-aged driver opened a can of beer, took a sip, and asked, turning his head. Are you going to the lottery center to win a big prize? Watching the middle-aged driver's actions, Lin Chen was speechless. Speeding and drinking, this was playing with his life. Stop quickly. Damn it, I want to get off. Without answering the middle-aged driver's question, Lin Chen spoke directly. Young man, what's the rush? We haven't arrived yet, wait until we get there. Passing a bend, the middle-aged driver seemed indifferent to the traffic lights above, drifting through it. Are you not afraid of being caught by law enforcement driving like this? Lin Chen frowned, gripping the seatbelt tightly. 
What's there to be afraid of, I have connections. The middle-aged driver looked smug, tilting his head back and chugging down a can of beer. He casually threw the can out of the car window, hitting the windshield of a car behind. Watching the owner of that car cursing from the broken window, the middle-aged driver stuck his left hand out of the window, made an international gesture, and accelerated away, leaving the car in the dust. Lin Chen Young man, I used to be a famous racer in Shingha City, winning so many awards that my hands were sore. The middle-aged driver's mouth was like a gatling gun, constantly boasting to Lin Chen about his past glory. Before the middle-aged driver could finish boasting, suddenly sirens blared behind the taxi. Several law enforcement vehicles followed closely, their sirens blaring order the taxi to stop repeatedly. Young man, isn't this scene awesome, law enforcement vehicles escorting us? The middle-aged driver grinned, accelerating once again. Watching the speedometer already reaching 180 miles per hour, Lin Chen silently prayed, hoping to avoid an accident, barely escaping danger, the taxi stopped in front of the lottery center, leaving tire marks on the ground for tens of meters. A burnt rubber smell instantly filled the air. Fortunately, they had arrived before Lin Chen could pay. The taxi was surrounded by more than 10 law enforcement vehicles at the center. A large number of law enforcement officers, along with several individuals in white coats, got out of the vehicles and headed straight for the taxi. The door was pulled open, and the middle-aged driver was dragged out of the car. Young man, we'll meet again. The middle-aged driver being escorted away didn't forget to turn back and bid farewell to Lin Chen. Lin Chen stood in front of the taxi, watching the middle-aged driver being taken away in a car marked with seven clear words, Qingha Mental Hospital. It felt like he had encountered a crazy person, which was absurd. After confirming that Lin Chen was okay, the law enforcement officers dragged the taxi away. Lin Chen entered the lobby of the lottery center. He approached the counter and said, I'd like to claim a prize. Fill out this registration form, then show your ID and the winning lottery ticket, the staff member said, handing Lin Chen a form from a drawer. After filling it out, Lin Chen handed over the form, lottery ticket, scratch card, and ID to the staff member. After making copies of the lottery ticket, scratch card, and ID, the staff member led Lin Chen to the technical department on the third floor. After verifying the information on the lottery ticket and scratch card, everyone present was dumbfounded. The Dragon God lottery ticket had won a whopping 120 million dragon coins. Even though the staff had been working there for a long time, they had never seen a lottery ticket that won 120 million. After completing all the procedures, under the envious gazes of everyone, Lin Chen walked out of the lottery center with two checks. One was for 96 million, and the other was for 1.21 million. For lottery winnings exceeding 10,000, a 20% tax deduction was required, which made Lin Chen wince a bit. But it was just a momentary discomfort, and he quickly regained his composure. After transferring the 97.21 million to his bank account at a nearby bank, Lin Chen took out his phone and searched for the beast shop on the shady map. As the capital city of Qingha province, there were many beast shops in Qingha city, with several near him. Following the directions on the shady map, Lin Chen headed to the nearest beast shop. As soon as he entered, a sweet-looking girl approached him and asked, Sir, what would you like to purchase? Materials for advancement. I've listed everything I need on the memo on my phone, Lin Chen said, opening the memo on his phone and handing it to the girl. After looking through it, the girl's mouth twitched slightly. The list included over 200 types of advanced materials, many of which were rare, and some she had never even heard of. I'm sorry, sir, but we only have about a dozen of the materials listed here, the girl returned the phone to Lin Chen, sounding apologetic. No problem, show me what you have, Lin Chen nodded not expecting to buy everything at once. After all, there were so many beast shops in Qingha City that he should be able to gather half of the materials before leaving. Okay, feel free to browse around. I'll go upstairs to get the materials for you, the girl said, swaying her hips as she walked upstairs. Lin Chen headed to the beast area, planning to take a look at the beasts and beast eggs while waiting. With his insight, he might be able to spot something special among them. In the beast area, many students of similar age to Lin Chen were accompanied by their parents, selecting their desired beasts. Sir, are you looking to choose a beast? A staff member approached Lin Chen and asked, 
Do you need any recommendations? I'm just browsing, Lin Chen shook his head, dismissing the staff member, and started to look around. Activating his insight, he scanned through the cages, one after another, containing various beasts, panel information of one beast after another appeared in front of him. The panel information was almost identical to the information on the tag below the beast cage. The highest qualification of these beasts was silver, and level 75 was the limit for these beasts. Lin Chen naturally looked down on them. Continuing to walk forward, Lin Chen continued to scan the panels of the beasts. Just when Lin Chen was about to lose interest in looking further, a beast in one of the cages caught his eye. Name, Silver Ear Cat, Variant, Gender, Male Sign, Attribute, Wind, Qualification, Bronze, can be advanced, with a maximum of Legendary Qualification, Level, 8 50ths, Black Iron Tier, Experience, 98-1200, Talents, Language Proficiency, can master the language of all species, and communicate with any species without barriers. Brainiac, very high intelligence, extremely fast learning speed, good at research. Gifted, each time the qualification advances, a talent is randomly obtained. Skills, claw strike, attack enemies with sharp claws. Why does this cat look so much like the one from the Rockets team? Lin Chen muttered to himself after reading the panel. He really liked the cat from the Rockets team, not only because it could speak, but also because it was extremely intelligent and could create all sorts of fancy technological products. And the fact that the Silver Ear Cat's qualification could be advanced was surprising. This was not something he remembered, as the school never mentioned that beast qualifications could be advanced. The third talent was the most abnormal aspect of this Silver Ear Cat, as each time the qualification advanced, it could randomly gain a talent. This meant that if the Silver Ear Cat advanced to legendary qualification, it could potentially have up to six talents. Lin Shen couldn't understand why such an amazing silver ear cat was placed here, priced as an ordinary bronze qualification beast. The silver ear cat noticed Lin Shen staring at it, and a look of disdain appeared on its human-like face. After glaring at Lin Shen, it nonchalantly licked its paw and then settled into a more comfortable position. Oh, you're going to glare at me? Let's see if I can't tame you later. Lin Shen thought to himself upon seeing this. This silver ear cat truly lived up to its brainiac talent, being so human-like. Just then, a sweet girl carrying a backpack approached. Sir, these are the materials we have in our store, please take a look. The sweet girl opened the backpack, revealing several wooden boxes inside. Let's hold off on the materials for now, I'll take this cat. Lin Shen pointed at the silver ear cat. The sweet girl looked puzzled, judging by the materials this person needed he was likely a powerful beast tamer. However, his taste seemed lacking. While the silver ear cat looked cute, its combat abilities were much lower compared to other beasts. It was considered an ornamental beast among beasts, and very few people would purchase such a beast. Moreover, the silver ear cat had a peculiar personality and was not very likable. In fact, a girl who wanted to buy it before was directly scratched by the silver ear cat. If it weren't for the timely intervention, the silver ear cat would have escaped. Sir, the strength of this silver ear cat is not outstanding compared to other beasts, and there may be some issues with its personality. The sweet girl, following good professional ethics, reminded him, would you consider other beasts? Upon hearing the sweet girl's words, the corners of the silver ear cat's mouth involuntarily lifted. It detested humans the most, and now as a beast under human control, it had to fight. It was not willing. No need, I like its quirky personality. I prefer strange things. Lin Shen affirmed, if it wasn't quirky, I wouldn't want it. Hearing this, the silver ear cat's expression darkened. It felt like this human might be a bit off, even after being told about its peculiar personality, he still didn't believe it. Well, it wouldn't give in. When this human wanted to form a contract with it, it would show him how powerful it could be, before meeting, this person did not listen to advice, and the sweet little sister did not say more. She had said what she needed to say, and if he didn't listen, there was nothing she could do. Lin Shen took the backpack from the sweet little sister's hand and took out the dozen or so wooden boxes from inside, opening them one by one. Then he took out his phone and opened the notes. Using his insight, he scanned through the materials, and the quality and quantity were all exactly what he needed. 
After writing down these dozen or so materials as purchased on his phone notes, Lin Chen asked, how much in total for these materials plus that silver ear cat? The price for these materials is 765W, and the price for that silver ear cat is 50W, totaling 815W, the sweet little sister replied without hesitation. Lin Chen nodded, carrying the cage with the silver ear cat and the backpack of materials, following the sweet little sister to the front desk to make the payment. After the payment was completed, Lin Chen walked out of the beast shop with the cage and backpack. Finding a secluded corner, Lin Chen set down the cage. Lin Chen squatted on the ground, facing the silver ear cat, you can speak the human language, right? Question mark. Hearing this, the silver ear cat raised its head, its eyes staring at Lin Chen in disbelief. It didn't understand why this human in front of it knew it could speak the human language. It had never shown this talent before, not even to its mother. You don't need to look at me like that. Not only do I know you can speak the human language, but I also know that your potential can be advanced, Lin Chen continued. Who, who are you? Why do you know all my secrets? The silver ear cat, struck as if by lightning, immediately questioned. My name is Lin Chen. As for why I know your secrets, I haven't come up with a reason yet. I'll tell you when I do, Lin Chen said, rubbing his chin. You? I can't believe it. The silver ear cat pointed at Lin Chen for a while, not expecting Lin Chen to be so shameless, and couldn't help but curse directly. Lin Chen didn't say anything, and it made the cat curious. Lin Chen smiled, raised his hand, and a silver magic circle appeared out of thin air, summoning Mooning. Silver as soon as Mooning appeared, it affectionately chirped at Lin Chen. Lin Chen patted Moon Ying's head. TSK TSK TSK, it's pitiful to submit to humans as a beast, looking at Moon Ying, the silver ear cat said disdainfully, hugging its shoulders. Silver. Say that again if you dare. Hearing this, Moon Ying's expression changed, angrily chirping at the silver ear cat, its momentum instantly bursting. It startled the silver ear cat leaning against the cage, causing its fur to stand on end, and its body involuntarily shivering. I say you're pitiful. But the silver ear cat still stubbornly spoke, its eyes staring firmly at Moon Ying. Silver. You're asking for it. Moon Ying's dragon eyes emitted a murderous intent, and the psychic wave was launched in an instant. The silver ear cat's body floated up, showing a pained expression on its face. Seeing Moon Ying really had murderous intent, Lin. Chen quickly intervened. Silver. Humph. After coldly chirping at the silver ear cat, Mooning landed on Lin Chen's shoulder. Mooning was 100% obedient to Lin Chen's commands. Although she found this cat very disgusting, if her master said not to, she would let the cat go this time. Lin Chen looked at the silver ear cat that had landed and asked, From your tone, you seem to dislike humans a lot? Do you need to ask when you already know? The silver ear cat gritted its teeth in response. Why? Lin Chen asked again. It seemed that Lin Chen's question touched on the inner pain of the silver ear cat, and its eyes couldn't help but moisten. Seeing the silver ear cat's appearance, Lin Chen knew that this was definitely a cat with a story. My parents, brothers, and sisters all died at the hands of you humans. Even after they died, you despicable humans didn't spare their bodies, gouging out their crystal cores, stripping off their fur, roasting the remaining flesh and eating it. After wiping away the tears from the corner of his eyes, the silver ear cat said bitterly, our family was living happily together, never causing any trouble to you humans. It's all because you humans suddenly intruded and ruined everything. Then how did you end up in the beast shop? Listening to the silver ear cat's words, Lin Chen felt sorry for the cat and continued to ask. Why do you have so many questions? Are you the why of a hundred thousand questions? The silver ear cat glanced at Lin Chen and impatiently said, If you want to form a contract with me, I advise you to give up on that idea. Even if I die, I won't serve you humans. With that, the silver ear cat closed its eyes. It knew that it might not escape today, as the strength of that dragon was beyond its ability to resist, not even a chance to escape. But if it had to die, it had had enough of being awakened by nightmares every day. Lin Chen looked at the silver ear cat and said, don't be so sure, why don't we make a deal? 
The silver ear cat remained silent, still with its eyes closed, as if resigned to its fate. Lin Chen continued, Don't you want revenge? Don't you want to get rid of those enemies? Hearing this, the silver ear cat opened its eyes and stared at Lin Chen. Of course, it wanted to get rid of those enemies. It dreamed of it. But it was just a level 8 cat, captured and locked up in the beast shop, unable to do anything. To tell you the truth, I just became a true beast master yesterday. When I formed a contract with Yue Ying yesterday, Yue Ying was even lower in level than you are now. And I believe you have already experienced Yue Ying's current strength firsthand. My luck is beyond your imagination. Follow me, and you can not only get revenge but also rise to the top of the world. Lin Chen said seriously, think about it carefully. I won't force you. If you still choose to resign yourself to death, I will grant your wish and let Yue Ying send you to your death. He believed that as long as the silver ear cat wasn't foolish, it would know how to choose. Witnessing one's loved ones being slaughtered, any living being would want revenge. Once the silver ear cat chose to follow him, it would be considered one of his own. For Lin Chen, getting rid of the silver ear cat's enemies didn't bring any guilt, they were just strangers, and life and death didn't matter. Trading their deaths for a partner who would be forever loyal to him was a fair deal. Lin Chen then said to Yue Ying, Yue Ying, replicate its talent. Silver Yue Ying chirped, activating its talent replication. A silver light suddenly rose from Yue Ying's body. Previously, Yue Ying had only replicated skills, but this was the first time Yue Ying replicated a talent. Five minutes later, the silver light on Yue Ying's body disappeared. Master a sweet female voice sounded in Lin Chen's ear, filled with joy. She could finally speak and communicate with her master. Using the insightful eye to scan Yue Ying's panel, Lin Chen discovered that language proficiency and intelligence had been successfully replicated by Yue Ying. Seeing Yue Ying actually speaking, the silver ear cat was shocked. This dragon could replicate others' talents. What kind of freak was she? How could such a monstrous creature exist in the world? This guy named Lin Chen said that this dragon's level was lower than his yesterday. But the strength displayed by this dragon today was not something a thousand of them combined could match. In just one day. If this guy named Lin Chen wasn't bragging, then this Lin Chen really had some skills. Following this guy, maybe she could really get revenge in the future. She decided to take a gamble. Can you really help me get revenge? Those humans are your kind. The silver ear cat asked, needing confirmation. So what if they are my kind? Lin Chen chuckled, with a hint of self-deprecation in his tone. Yesterday, he had almost been killed by so-called kind in the experienced secret realm. If it weren't for his speed and remarkable luck, he wouldn't be standing here today. Lin Chen then said solemnly, If you follow me, you are my partner, and your enemies are my enemies. Partner? Silver Ear Cat muttered, feeling an unfamiliar sensation in his heart. Yes, partner, Lin Chen affirmed, opening the cage door and extending his right hand. As Silver Ear Cat looked at Lin Chen's outstretched hand, his eyes gradually became determined. Stepping out of the cage, he gently touched Lin Chen's right hand with his left paw. With a paw and hand clasped together, Lin Chen knew that he had gained another companion. From now on, you shall be called Meow Meow, Lin Chen patted Meow Meow's head. But Mooning has not advanced to the bronze rank yet, so I cannot contract a second spirit beast. You will temporarily stay by my side. The number of spirit beasts a spirit master can contract is directly related to the advancement of the spirit beast. When the spirit beast reaches level 25 and advances to the bronze rank, the spirit master can contract a second spirit beast. When the spirit beast reaches level 50 and advances to the silver rank, the spirit master can contract a third spirit beast, and so on. The potential of the first spirit beast greatly influences the spirit master's future path. If the first contracted spirit beast has a bronze potential, the spirit master can wait for it to advance to the bronze rank before contracting a second spirit beast with higher potential, continuing on the path of a spirit master. However, if the first spirit beast has iron potential, the spirit master is basically out of luck, and they may pursue other related fields such as alchemist, advancer, or evolutionist. 
The maximum number of spirit beasts a spirit. Chen standing in front of the head teacher's office, the male teacher said, the head teacher is busy today and will be back later. You can go back to your class for now. After thanking the male teacher, Lin Chen walked towards his class, class 8 of the third year. Since Lin Chen had not contracted a spirit beast before, he was not well received in the class. As he entered the classroom, he was met with disdainful glances. Sitting at the back against the wall, Lin Chen ignored the looks from his classmates. Soon, the bell for class rang. The homeroom teacher, Wang Jianxiang, entered the classroom with a book and a thermos cup containing wolfberries. He cleared his throat and began the lesson. Lin Chen activated his insightful eyes and scanned Wang Jianxiang, and the panel information appeared in his eyes instantly. Name, Wang Jianxiang, Occupation, Talented Spirit Beast Master, Talent, See Great Fire Element Amplification, Enhances Affinity with Fire-Type Spirit Beasts, Increases All Attributes by 20 points each time the Fire-Type Spirit Beast advances, and Boosts Skill Power by 5%, Spirit Beasts, 1, Crimson Flame Dark Bird, Level 78, Golden Tear, 2, Dark Flame Leopard, Level 61, Silver Tear, 3, Fiery Armor Rhinoceros, Level 52, Silver Tear, Comparing Wang Jianxiang's panel with the panels of Yang Dianfeng and the other person he had encountered before, Lin Chen felt that they were probably not professional spirit beast hunters but more like amateurs. As Wang Jianxiang continued his lecture on the platform, Lin Chen felt increasingly drowsy and eventually fell asleep on the table. When the bell for the end of class rang, Lin Chen rubbed his eyes, got up, and headed back to the fourth floor. He was informed that the head teacher had returned but had gone to a meeting, so he was asked to come back after the next class. Lin Chen returned to class 8 of the third year with a wry expression. When the bell for the next class rang, Wang Jianxiang entered the classroom, cleared his throat, and said, Students, I have good news for you. We have secured the first batch of opportunities to enter the newly discovered Dragon Element secret realm in our city. All the students were amazed and filled with anticipation. The newly discovered secret realm was full of opportunities everywhere. Moreover, with teachers leading the way, the danger was almost non-existent, like a free ride. But there is a task involved. You need to collect the dragon blood flowers inside and submit them, and each class has only 10 spots. Wang Jianxiang continued, the selected students will be the top 10 in our class based on strength. Any objections? Hearing the words, dragon blood flowers, Lin Chen instantly became alert to eye and the materials for the advancement of Yuing, he clearly remembered having this kind of material, and he needed quite a lot of it, a total of nine plants. When it comes to Yu Ying's advancement, Lin Chen had to strive for it. If he missed this opportunity, he might not have another chance next time. Teacher, I have a suggestion. Lin Chen immediately raised his right hand and said. You, a loser who can't even form a contract with a beast, do you have the right to speak? A student in the front row turned his head and sneered at Lin Chen. This person was Wang Xian, the class monitor of Class 8, the second son of the Wang family, a prestigious family of beast tamers in Luobei City. He ranked first in Class 8 in terms of strength, and could even make it to the top 5 in the entire third year of high school. Exactly, we're in the third year of high school, and a loser who can't even form a contract with a beast is trying to join in the fun. People like him are a disgrace to our Class 8. Apart from being good-looking, he's useless. He'll probably end up being a duck in the future. Those of us who can't form contracts with beasts haven't said anything, why is he jumping out and showing off? With Wang Xian speaking up, the other students began to whisper. Quiet. At this moment, the class teacher, Wang Jianxiang, shouted. Under the authority of the class teacher, the classroom fell silent instantly. However, the students still looked at Lin Chen with disgust. Teacher Wang, I have formed a contract with a beast. If I defeat the 10th ranked student, can I get a chance to enter the secret realm? Lin Chen ignored the other students and asked Wang Jianxiang directly. That's right. Wang Jianxiang nodded, then said solemnly, but Lin Chen, the beast of Songfeng, has the strength of a 31st level bronze rank. Are you sure you want to challenge him? As the teacher of class 8, Wang Jianxian also had a poor impression of Lin Chen. Although there were students in other classes who couldn't form contracts with beasts, the students in his class 8 were among the top students, and Lin Chen was dragging down their overall performance. 
And now, after forming a contract with a beast, he still had the audacity to challenge a student who had been in the experience realm for two years, making Wang Jianxiang's impression of Lin Chen even worse. I'm sure. Lin Chen affirmed, determined to enter the secret realm where the dragon blood flower was located. With only the strength of a 31st level bronze rank, Yu Ying's current attributes theoretically could easily defeat him. Then this class will be changed to a practical combat class. All students, follow me to the playground. With that, Wang Jianxian picked up his thermos and walked out of the classroom. Wang Xian glanced at Lin Chen and led the students to the playground. Just formed a contract with a beast and already want to challenge me. I'll show you the difference later. Song Feng passed by Lin Chen and said in a hostile tone, If your loser beast is maimed by my thunderburst saber tooth, don't cry later. Oh? Then this statement goes for you as well. Lin Chen responded. What was expected to be a normal battle turned out to be unexpected, as Song Feng actually wanted to maim his beast. Those who kill will be killed. Since Song Feng had such thoughts, Lin Chen wouldn't blame him. On the playground, there were 24 arenas specially designed for beast battles. Many students were currently engaged in beast battles on these arenas. Wang Jianxiang was standing in front of an empty arena, waiting. The students of Class 8, led by Wang Xian, arrived at the arena where Wang Jianxiang was. Lin Chen and Song Feng walked onto the arena from the left and right sides, respectively. The other students watched from the sidelines, whispering among themselves. Lin Chen is really overestimating himself, showing off right after forming a contract with a beast. That's right, we've been leveling up with our beasts in the experience realm for two years. Anyone could easily defeat him. Watch, he'll be crying by the end of this. Song Feng's Thunderburst Sabertooth is extremely fierce. What kind of beast do you think Lin Chen can form a contract with? With his poor appearance, he should be grateful if he can form a contract with a black iron aptitude beast. Listening to the whispers below, Lin Chen remained expressionless, the words of these students in his ears were like farting. When you are weak, these people will despise you, look down on you, even oppress and bully you. Once you show absolute strength, these people will turn into bootlickers, complimenting you, wanting to attach themselves to you. Even in Lin Chen's previous peaceful world, such phenomena were not uncommon, and in this world where strength is respected, such phenomena are even more common. I'm sure you all understand the rules of the battle. If there are no issues, then let the battle begin, Wang Jianxiang said as he glanced at Song Feng and Lin Chen on the stage. Song Feng raised his hand and a dark purple magic circle appeared out of thin air, summoning a fierce tiger over three meters long. This fierce tiger was the thunderstorm Fong tiger mentioned by Song Feng, his strongest beast. As soon as the thunderstorm Fong tiger was summoned, it roared towards the sky and glared at Lin Chen with a fierce look. Activating the Eye of Insight, Lin Chen scanned the Thunderstorm Fong Tiger's panel. Name, Thunderstorm Fong Tiger, Gender, Male, Attribute, Thunder, Aptitude, Gold, Level, 31-100, Bronze Tier, Experience, 7754-31000, Constitution, 272, Strength, 280, Defense, 245, Agility, 270, Talent, Rage, When Health is Below 20%, there is a chance to enter a rage state, temporarily increasing all attributes by 20%, not following the commands of the Beast Master, with a small chance of attacking the Beast Master, skills, Thunder Strike, single target gathers thunder energy. To instantly strike, with a chance to paralyze the enemy. Thunder Domain, support fights in the Thunder Domain, temporarily increasing the power of thunder skills by 5%, increasing critical hit rate by 20%, and temporarily increasing all attributes by 20 points. Thunder Claw, single target converges thunder energy in both claws to attack the enemy, with a chance to paralyze the enemy. Intimidation, control has a chance to make the enemy enter a state of fear. Thunderous Fury, group gathers thunder energy throughout the body, attacks enemies on a large scale, with a chance to paralyze the enemy. Compared to the Mooning, this thunderstorm Fong Tiger's overall attributes were far inferior, just a larger cat to Mooning. Although it had a talent, this talent was simply trash in Lin Chen's eyes. When he first saw the talent, Lin Chen thought about having Mooning replicate it, but after reading the description, he changed his mind. This talent was too outrageous, Lin Chen felt it was not worth enjoying, 
as it even had a chance to attack its own beast master in a rage state. Raising his hand, a silver magic circle lit up, summoning Mooning by Lin Chen. As soon as Mooning appeared, the whispers below disappeared, and everyone, including Wang Jinxiang, looked stunned. Even the students near the stage looked towards Lin Chen. In their understanding, even the lowest aptitude of the Asian dragon species had a platinum aptitude. Moreover, Mooning by Lin Chen's side was obviously a real dragon, with aptitude likely above diamond, maybe even reaching epic or legendary. Levels Wang Shen looked at Mooning by Lin Chen's side, his eyes showing a fiery look. This was a real dragon, a mysterious and powerful existence. He couldn't understand how this waste like Lin Chen managed to contract a dragon. Then, a trace of an imperceptible smirk appeared on Wang Xian's face. So what if he contracted it? Without strength, having such a beast was like courting disaster. Carrying a jade but unable to guard it, contracting but unable to keep it, was as good as useless. For a poor loser like Lin Chen, this dragon in his hands would only gather dust. It would be better for Wang Xian to show some kindness and take it over for him. He believed that after obtaining this dragon, he, Wang Xian, would surely shine in the college entrance examination. A plan gradually took shape in Wang Xian's mind. Master the summoned Yuing called out affectionately by Lin Chen's side. As soon as the word master was spoken, everyone below the arena was completely unsettled, whispering to each other. What kind of luck did Lin Chen run into to be able to form a contract with a real dragon? I envy him so much, if I could contract such a mythical beast, I'd gladly live ten years less. Lin Chen just formed the contract not long ago, and this mythical beast can already speak, estimating that its talent must be at least epic level. It seems that Lin Chen is about to rise. Rise my foot, contracting such a powerful mythical beast, he won't even know how he died if someone targets him. Lin Chen, of course, knew the rarity of Yuing, but he couldn't keep hiding her just because she was rare. Yuing needed to grow up at some point. Opportunities often come with risks, but with a stroke of luck on his side, he believed that as long as he was careful, nothing would go wrong. At this moment, on the other side of the arena, Song Feng gave the command, Thunderstorm Sabertoothed Tiger, use the Thunder Domain. Roar! Following the command, the Thunderstorm Sabertoothed Tiger roared to the sky, unleashing a large amount of thunderous power. Dark clouds quickly covered the sky above the arena, with lightning rolling in the clouds. Master, I feel like this big cat's strength is so weak. Yuing whispered softly to Lin Chen. Although she lowered her voice, the thunderstorm saber-toothed tiger's sharp hearing caught it, and anger flashed in its tiger eyes. How dare this dragon call it a cat? And to say it's weak, when has a tiger like itself ever been humiliated like this? The thunderstorm saber-toothed tiger opened its huge mouth, gathering its raging thunder energy, and then fired a thunderbolt cannon towards Yu Ying's position. Lin Chen was still standing by Yu Ying's side. If that thunderbolt cannon hit, Lin Chen might be killed instantly. Yuing flew towards Lin Chen, surrounded by a silver light, and a rainbow-colored barrier suddenly appeared. The thunderbolt cannon struck directly at this rainbow barrier. Boom! An explosion rang out, but it was all sound and no real damage, just a ripple on the rainbow barrier. Yu Ying's eyes flashed with coldness. If that attack had hit her master just now, he would either be dead or crippled. Lin Chen was the first person she saw after she was born, and for her, Lin Chen was everything. Any creature that dared to harm her master would die. Yuing, use 100,000 volts, let this big cat know what real lightning is. Lin Chen ordered directly. If it likes to play with electricity, then let's defeat it with what it's best at. Thunderstorm Sabertoothed Tiger, use Thunderclap Claw for close range attack, don't give her a chance to use skills. Seeing that the first attack failed, Song Feng also gave orders on the other side. The thunderstorm saber-toothed tiger, with its four large claws surrounded by lightning, rushed towards Yu Ying's position. Under the effect of the lightning, its over three-meter-long body moved swiftly. But Yu Ying was faster. Electric currents surrounded her dragon body, countless electric currents gathered together, and a disc-like electric current shot directly towards the charging thunderstorm saber-toothed tiger. Quick, dodge. Seeing this, Song Feng's face changed drastically as he quickly gave orders. The disc-like electric current seemed quite powerful, 
especially after the Thunderbolt cannon was blocked just now. His disdain for Lin Chen was swept away. If he could block the Thunderbolt cannon from the Thunderstorm Sabertoothed Tiger, then this dragon's strength must be no weaker than the Thunderstorm Sabertoothed Tiger. Yuing, use illusionary light screen, block all his retreats. Lin Chen ordered without hesitation. Yuing now had over a dozen skills. When combined, the effects were extremely abnormal. Yu Ying's silver light shone again, and three rainbow light screens appeared behind and on both sides of the Thunderstorm Sabertoothed Tiger. The Thunderstorm Sabertoothed Tiger was directly sandwiched between the three colorful light curtains, with all retreat paths blocked, leaving it with no way out. Following that, the coarse electric rays struck the Thunderstorm Sabertoothed Tiger with a devastating force. Roar. The Thunderstorm Sabertoothed Tiger let out a painful roar and then fainted with its eyes rolling back. Its three meter long body was charred by the hundred thousand volts of electricity, with wisps of white smoke still rising. Even at Lin Chen's position, a scent of meat could be detected. If this thunderstorm saber toothed tiger was not treated promptly, it might not survive, and with such severe injuries, even if saved, recovery would be impossible in the short term. Moon Ying's body was once again surrounded by electric rays, as if she was about to unleash another hundred thousand volts. She felt that her previous strike did not completely finish off the big cat, and she wanted to ensure its demise. Stop. I surrender. Song Feng shouted as he saw Moon Ying preparing to attack again. He had not expected the thunder attribute skill of this dragon to be so powerful. Normal thunder skills did not cause much damage to a thunderstorm saber-toothed tiger, but this strike almost electrocuted it. However, what he did not know was the true gap in attributes between the thunderstorm saber-toothed tiger and Moon Ying. If he knew, it would not be so surprising, but rather fortunate. If it were another elemental beast, it would likely have been electrocuted to death by Moon Ying's strike. Moon Ying, come back, Lin Chen ordered. With Lin Chen's command, the electric rays surrounding Moon Ying's body dissipated. After glaring fiercely at the thunderstorm saber-toothed tiger in Song Feng, Moon Ying flew back to Lin Chen's side. The thunderstorm saber-toothed tiger has lost its combat ability. Lin Chen wins, Wang Jianxiang announced as he stepped onto the stage to declare the outcome of the battle. Song Feng recalled the thunderstorm saber-toothed tiger into the beast space and ran towards the school infirmary, casting a final menacing look back at Lin Chen. After storing Moon Ying in the beast space, Lin Chen stepped down from the stage. His goal had been achieved by defeating the 10th ranked Song Feng, earning him the qualification to enter the Dragon Element Secret Realm. This meant that he had secured the advanced material heavy dragon blood flower. Following the conclusion of the battle between Lin Chen and Song Feng, other students of similar strength took turns to battle on stage. After explaining the reasons to Wang Jianxiang, Lin Chen once again headed to the office of the head teacher on the fourth floor to complete the leave procedures. Wang Xian took a sneaky photo of Lin Chen with his phone before leaving as well. Behind the teaching building, Wang Xian dialed a number on his phone. After two seconds, the call was answered. Young master, what are your orders? A slightly hoarse voice with a respectful tone came through the receiver. Xianbua, I want all the information on our classmate Lin Chen. You have five minutes. I need you to bring me 100,000 yuan in cash right now and also bring along the beast tamer with the thousand transformations talent under your command to up coffee shop, room 301, waiting for you, Wang Xian ordered directly. Yes, young master. After hanging up the phone, Wang Xian walked straight out of the school gate of number 6 middle school and arrived at up coffee shop not far away. Entering room 301, Wang Xian looked at Lin Chen's personal information on his phone. Interesting, Wang Xian murmured as he took a sip of coffee. Lin Chen's information was not extensive, aside from basic details and some part-time work experience, there was only one piece of information about him visiting the Experience Secret Realm last Saturday. However, how could Lin Chen's beast strength improve so rapidly after only one visit to the Experience Secret Realm? Although it was a dragon, it was still unlikely that he could defeat Song Feng's thunderstorm saber-toothed tiger with just one visit to the Experience Secret Realm. Both Lin Chen and that dragon seemed to have secrets. As he pondered, a knock on the door sounded. Come in, Wang Xian said lightly. Xianhua entered the room with a briefcase and a young man with an earring, then locked the door behind them. 
Young master, here is the 100,000 yuan in cash, and this is the person you requested. Xian Bagong respectfully walked forward and placed a briefcase containing 100,000 yuan in cash in front of Wang Xian. Hum. Wang Xian nodded, without even looking at the cash on the table, turned to the young man with an earring, your name is Su Zhang, right? Yes, yes, young master Wang, may I ask what instructions you have for me? Su Zhang's face was full of flattery, I, Su Zhang, will definitely serve you wholeheartedly. Wang Xian was the second son of the Beast King family, and if he could win his favor, his future prospects would be limitless. Let me borrow your beast with the thousand transformations talent. Wang Xian took out a bank card from his pocket, threw it on the table, and said, There are 500,000 dragon coins in this card, consider it as a reward for your hard work. As the second son of the Beast King family, Xian naturally had no shortage of money. Seeing this, Su. Zhang was overjoyed, his flattery even more pronounced on his face. He raised his hand, and a gray magic circle appeared, summoning Su Zhang's beast shadow demon doll. Su Zhang, make your beast transform into the appearance of this person on my phone. Wang Xian opened the photo he had secretly taken of Lin Chen, handed the phone to Su Zhang. No problem. Taking the phone, Su Zhang placed it in front of the shadow demon doll and ordered, activate the talent of a thousand transformations, transform into the appearance of this person. Shadow. After staring at the phone for a moment, the shadow demon doll nodded, and a black mist rose around it, enveloping the entire body of the doll. When the black mist dissipated, Lin Chen appeared before everyone. Looking at the Lin Chen in front of him, Wang Xian nodded in satisfaction. It was exactly like the real Lin Chen. If he hadn't known beforehand, he would have thought this transformed Lin Chen was real. Although it couldn't speak, it was enough for his plan. Next, Wang Xian took the phone and called Song Feng. After a ring, the call was answered. Hello, squad leader, what's up? Song Feng's puzzled voice came through the phone. That kid Lin Chen took your spot to enter the secret realm. Do you want revenge? If so, come to room 301 at Op Coffee House. Wang Xian got straight to the point and hung up the phone. He believed that with Song Feng's character, being defeated by a guy who had just formed a contract with a beast in front of so many people, and losing so badly, Song Feng would definitely want revenge. Watching the call being hung up, Song Feng narrowed his eyes, glanced at the thunderstorm saber-toothed tiger being treated behind him, and walked straight out of the school infirmary. Soon, Song Feng appeared at Op Coffee House. After informing Song Feng of his plan, the two quickly agreed. Song Feng immediately took the briefcase containing 100,000 yuan and headed towards the school, with the shadow demon doll transformed into a pen hanging on Song Feng's coat to guide the way. Lin Chen came out of the headmaster's office and bumped into the hurried Song Feng. Song Feng glanced at Lin Chen and then walked into Class 8's classroom with the briefcase in hand. With a leaf slip in hand, Lin Chen went straight back to his rented house. The time to go to the Dragon Element Secret Realm was on Wednesday so these two days he could continue to search for advanced materials for Yuing. As soon as he entered the bedroom, he saw Miao Miao's two front paws typing quickly on the keyboard. It's only been a while, and you've become a computer expert. Walking closer, Lin Chen couldn't help but exclaim. Rows of code were displayed on the compiler. Although he couldn't understand what these codes represented, they looked impressive. Master, I want to learn hacking techniques so I can hack into the law enforcement headquarters computers and find the location of our enemies based on the information I have. Miao Miao stopped its movements, turned to Lin Chen, and said, Also, I want a computer and a phone. Can you arrange that? No problem, Lin Chen readily agreed. If Miao Miao learned hacking techniques, it would undoubtedly be helpful to him, bringing Miao Miao to the phone store again, Lin Chen bought two Xiaomi 66 phones and used his own ID to get a SIM card for Miao Miao. With his extraordinary luck, he once again won a universe alien computer. Master, your luck is too good, you hit the jackpot with just one draw, Miao Miao said joyfully, carrying the computer bag. Feeling even more convinced of Lin Chen's talk about luck, it seems that his master's luck is really extraordinary. Keep a low profile, don't show off, Lin Chen waved his hand and said with a smile. Just then, Lin Chen's phone suddenly received a text message. After taking a glance, Lin Chen's eyebrows furrowed. 
Your bank card ending in 9527 received 100,000 dragon coins at 10.45 am, a bad feeling rose in his heart, as depositing money requires a name and card number. If it was a mistake, it would be impossible. Master, what's wrong? Miao Miao couldn't help but ask when he saw Lin Chen's expression after looking at his phone. Before Lin Chen could answer, the phone rang. Sliding to answer, Lin Chen heard the voice of his homeroom teacher, Wang Jianxian, Lin Chen, where are you now? Hurry back to school. I'm at the phone store, what's wrong, teacher Wang? You stole Song Feng's money, don't you know it yourself? You can still turn back now, or else your future will be completely ruined when the authorities get involved. When did I steal his money? The surveillance footage is clear, do you still want to argue? I advise you not to dig your own grave. I understand, I'll go to school now. Thinking back to when he saw Song Feng with a briefcase when he came out, coupled with the sudden message on his phone, Lin Chen understood. He was being set up. But he had been in the phone store all along, the innocent are always clear. In addition, there were surveillance cameras in the phone store, enough to prove his innocence. Finding the store owner, Lin Chen. Scanned a thousand dragon coins for the store owner. The owner smiled and pulled up the surveillance video, making a copy for Lin Chen. To be safe, Lin Chen also sent a copy to Miao Miao's phone. Miao Miao, you go home first, here's the key. If you're hungry, order some takeout yourself. I'll go to school to handle something. Lin Chen took out the key from his pocket and linked Miao Miao's green pass to his own bank card. Okay, Miao Miao nodded. Walking out of the phone store, Lin Chen headed straight to school. Miao Miao didn't go home, but quietly followed Lin Chen with the computer bag. From Lin Chen's expression, he must have encountered some trouble, and maybe he could help Lin Chen at a critical moment. Entering the sixth middle school, Lin Chen went straight to the fifth floor and arrived at the principal's office. The door of the principal's office was open, with Song Feng, homeroom teacher Wang Jianxiang, director of discipline, and the principal all inside. Walking into the principal's office, Principal Li Pingyuan's face was gloomy. He pushed a document and a tablet playing surveillance footage forward with a cold tone, as a student, instead of striving for progress, you actually stole a classmate's belongings. Have you learned nothing? A disgrace like you is simply embarrassing for our school. You are expelled. Looking at the surveillance video on the tablet, Lin Chen was shocked. The person in the video was him, with the same appearance and clothes. But he had been in the phone store all along, the person in the video was not him at all. This Lin Chen didn't know what it was impersonating, and he didn't know if the inside eye could see through the information of this Lin Chen on the tablet. Activating the inside eye, the panel appeared in front of Lin Chen. Name, Shadow Demon Doll, Variant, Gender, None, Attribute, Dark, Aptitude, Silver, Level, 29 out of 75, Bronze Tier, Experience, 1285-22000, Physique, 195, Strength, 178, Defense, 201, Agility, 205, Talent, Shapeshifting, Can Transform into the Appearance of Any Creature, The Higher the Level, The Longer the Transformation Lasts. Skills, Shadow Assassination, Single Target can merge into the enemy's shadow and suddenly appear to attack the enemy. Shadow Bullet, Single Target Condensed Dark Power to launch an attack on the enemy. Substitute Doll, Support Condensed 3 Avatars to Confuse the Enemy. Dot. It turns out this thing is called Shadow Demon Doll, using its own versatile talent to transform into its own appearance. The person in the surveillance is not me. I was buying a phone at the phone store at that time. This is evidence, Lin Chen said, taking out his phone and opening the surveillance video he copied at the phone store. Oh? Let me see. Li Pengyuan looked skeptical, reached out and took Lin Chen's phone. He then opened the surveillance video, glanced at it, and deleted it directly. Where is the evidence you mentioned? Are you trying to fool me? Li Pengyuan slammed the phone on the table and sternly demanded. Then he asked the others in the principal's office, did you see any evidence? There is no evidence on this phone. Lin Chen, you really don't know what's good for you. You're still trying to argue at this time. The head teacher shook his head, pointing at Lin Chen. Lin Chen, stop arguing. You had a deal with Song Feng. 
Just return the money to Song Feng and make some compensation, and this matter will be over. Wang Jianxiang also looked at Lin Chen with a kind face and persuaded, Lin Chen, as long as you compensate me with your dragon, I won't pursue your responsibility anymore. Otherwise, you can wait to go to jail. Song Feng smirked slightly and said, for the principal, head teacher, and class teacher Wang Jianxiang, Song Feng had already arranged everything with Wang Xin's signal. Eight million dragon coins were spent to frame and expel a poor student who was insignificant in the school. This deal was definitely profitable no matter how you looked at it. The three of them agreed without hesitation. Very well, birds of a feather flock together, right? Lin Shin took a step back and pointed at the four people in front of him, his eyes cold. Dream on if you think you can get away with it. At this point, he understood that these people were in cahoots. Their goal was to get the moon essence, but Lin Chen would never compromise. With your abilities, that kind of beast in your hands will only gather dust. I'm helping you. Song Feng scratched his ear and said lightly, since you don't know what's good for you, then I'll just send you to jail. This was also part of Wang Xian's plan. He was sure that Lin Chen would not compromise so easily. When they arrived at the enforcement bureau, Lin Chen would have no way out. Song Feng took out his phone, pressed the send button on a pre-edited message, and then two enforcers entered the principal's office, pointing their guns at Lin Chen's waist, one on each side, and lifted Lin Chen up. Obviously, these two enforcers had already been bribed. Lin Chen glared hatefully at the four people. He remembered their faces. Platinum stage, just wait. What are you looking at? You can't escape. Even if you can, you won't have a place in this Luo Bay city, Li Pengyuan said indifferently, as if Lin Chen were just an ant. Outside the window, Miao Miao listened to everything in the principal's office. Miao Miao thought to himself, these humans are truly despicable. After a few flashes, Miao Miao picked up the backpack hidden in the bushes and followed the enforcement vehicle from a distance. After confirming the location of the enforcement bureau, Miao Miao disappeared with a few flashes. Inside the enforcement bureau, Lin Chen was locked in an interrogation room. Kid, I advise you to hand over that dragon to cancel the contract, otherwise you will suffer the consequences, the enforcement team leader, playing with an electric baton in his hand, glanced at Lin Chen and said lightly. Dream on, Lin Chen spat, his neck stiff. Young man, if you don't listen to advice, you will suffer, the team leader's electric baton made a crackling sound, as if he was about to get up. Captain, you don't need to do it. Let me show this kid some color, a standing enforcer behind him quickly stepped forward, flattering. Then, he pulled out the electric baton from his waist, pressed the switch with an evil smile, and walked towards Lin Chen, the crackling sound of the electric baton echoing in the room, Lin Chen stared at the law enforcement officer who was charging towards him. Just as the officer was two meters away from Lin Chen, an unexpected accident occurred. The officer, holding an electric baton, accidentally stepped, Okay, I'll follow your lead. Miao Miao pulled the hood over her head, put away the blowgun and the half pack of drugs. Leaving the law enforcement bureau, Lin Chen took Miao Miao on mooning and flew towards the rental house. Inside the rental house, looking at the living room filled with supplies, Lin Chen was stunned and looked at Miao Miao, Did you buy all these? Miao Miao nodded, Yes, after you come out, we probably won't live in the city anymore so I bought these things in advance. This dragon has spatial talent, so all these things can be taken away. Meow meow. Hearing this, Mooning shouted, her dragon face slightly displeased, my name is Mooning, not this dragon. But you're still a dragon, right? Meow meow glanced at Mooning with her arms crossed, so there's no problem with my address, right? You. Mooning pointed at Meow meow speechless, unable to come up with a retort for a while. All right, you two stop arguing. Lin Shen stopped the two spirit beasts from bickering and ordered Mooning, Mooning, put all these supplies into the spatial dimension. Hoof. Mooning snorted lightly, opened the door to the spatial dimension and stored all the supplies inside. In the bedroom, Lin Shen packed clothes, a computer, and other useful items into a backpack, then put them all into the spatial dimension. He came back this time to pack these things, as there were no clothes outside the wall. If he didn't want to run around in the future, these things would still be needed, and since the law enforcement hadn't discovered his escape yet, there was still time. Once everything was ready, 
he flew outside the wall with mooning. The moon was sparse. Looking down at the city below, Lin Chen felt no nostalgia. Ding! Distribute today's lucky points asterisk 10, already loaded automatically. Hearing the cold mechanical synthesized sound in his mind, he knew it was already early morning of the second day. Moon Ying's speed was not slow, and in a short while, they were out of the range of Luo Bay City. Tall trees stood below, and unknown fierce beasts turned into dark shadows hunting freely. Is this the world outside the wall, it's really dangerous. Watching the continuous flashes of dark shadows below, Lin Chen muttered. With his insightful eye scanning, the levels of these fierce beasts were generally above level 30, with only a few around level 20 mixed in. This was just after leaving the wall, so one could imagine the levels of the fierce beasts further away. Chirp! A sudden eagle cry rang out, followed by a beam of ice energy heading towards Mooning. Sensing the danger, Mooning accelerated and avoided the attack. A crystal blue giant bird with wings over 6 meters long appeared in front of Lin Chen. His insightful eye scanned the crystal blue giant bird, and the panel appeared in front of Lin Chen. Name, Ice Armor Knight Eagle, Gender, Male Sign, Attributes, Ice, Flying, Talent, Gold, Level, 42-100, Bronze Tier, Experience, 8742-143250, Constitution, 351, Strength, 411, Defense, 335, Agility, 448, Talent, Blood Battle, When Health is Below 50%, All Attributes Increase by 5%, When Health is Below 30%, All Attributes Increase by 10%, when health is below 10%, all attributes increase by 15%. Skills, Frost Beam, Single Target Converge Ice Energy into a beam to attack enemies, with a certain probability of freezing the enemy. Extreme Cold Storm, Group Summon a large number of ice storms to continuously attack enemies, with a certain probability of adding Frostbite effect to enemies, causing continuous damage. Air Blade, Single Target Attack formed by Condensed Flying Energy, instantly attacking enemies. High speed movement, auxiliary energy attached wings increase speed. Very good, just out of Luo Bay City and already encountered a fierce beast looking for trouble. Looking at the panel of the Ice Armor Knight Eagle, Lin Chen's eyes were cold. The panel attributes of the Ice Armor Knight Eagle were not as good as the Moon Ying, as he had estimated. At this moment, Moon Ying's overall attributes were only strong and not weak compared to a level 40 fierce beast. However, this Ice Armor Knight Eagle unexpectedly had a blood battle talent, which was quite good. So, let's have some fun with this Ice Armor Knight Eagle, force it to use its talent first, and then finish it off after Mooning is restored. Mooning, use Flame Burst Bomb. Lin Chen immediately ordered, but looking at the full moon in the sky, Lin Chen reminded, be careful, don't kill this Ice Armor Knight Eagle directly, it has a blood battle talent. Mooning had a Moon God talent, which temporarily increased all attributes by 100% on the night of the full moon. Lin Chen was afraid that Mooning would accidentally kill the Ice Armor Knight Eagle without holding back. Okay. Mooning responded, and a fireball instantly condensed in her mouth, shooting towards the position of the Ice Armor Knight Eagle. Chirp. The Ice Armor Knight Eagle screeched, opening its beak. The Ice Beam skill was activated, countering the flame burst bomb. The flame burst bomb and the ice beam collided in the air, and a large amount of white mist suddenly evaporated. Lin Chen only heard a miserable eagle cry. After the white mist dispersed, the ice armor knight eagle had disappeared from its original position. Looking down, the ice armor knight eagle fell to the ground motionless, with a large hole blasted in its chest, looking completely dead. Lin Chen. Master, I didn't even use my full strength for that. Mooning also noticed the sorry state of the Ice Armor Knight Eagle and quickly explained to Lin Chen, it's just that this big bird was too careless, it didn't even know how to dodge. Lin Chen patted Moon Ying's head and didn't blame her. If it's dead, it's dead, talents can be restored later. He commanded Moon Ying to land. Lin Chen approached the corpse of the Ice Armor Knight Eagle and couldn't help but show a pleased expression when he saw three items shimmering with light. Last time, when he killed Yang Dianfeng and the others, the mythical beast didn't drop any items, so he thought that only monsters in the experienced secret realm would drop items. He didn't expect this Ice Armor Knight Eagle to drop items as well. 
He picked up the three items on the ground, and the light automatically dissipated when the items were picked up. There was a 20 centimeter all black dagger and two energy magic crystals. However, compared to the colors of the energy magic crystals dropped in the experience secret realm, these two were darker, and in terms of size, they were as big as a baby's fist. Using his insightful eye, Lin Chen found that these two energy magic crystals had an additional three point bonus. The dagger was a bronze quality weapon named Dawn, with a sharp effect. Dawn easily cut open the ice armor Night Eagle's body, and he took out the crystal core from inside. Lin Chen handed the two energy magic crystals to Moon Ing and the crystal core to Miao Miao. Moon Ing had not advanced to the bronze rank yet, so swallowing the crystal core wouldn't give her experience. Miao Miao was only at level 8, so Lin Chen took this opportunity to let Miao Miao level up. Although they hadn't formed a contract yet, based on Miao Miao's solo rescue today, Lin Chen trusted her. All right, Miao Miao. Mooning took out one of the energy magic crystals that Lin Chen handed her and threw it to Miao Miao, saying, Eat this to enhance your strength as soon as possible, so you can also participate in battles. What is this? Miao Miao caught the energy magic crystal steadily and looked at it curiously. It's an energy magic crystal, a good thing that can enhance your attributes. After Mooning explained, Miao Miao swallowed the baby fist sized energy magic crystal in one gulp a look of ecstasy appearing on her dragon face. Hearing Moon Ying's explanation, Miao Miao was shocked. This fist-sized thing could actually enhance attributes. This was an unheard of existence, and this dragon actually gave it to her to eat. Thank you, dragon sister, Miao Miao said seriously. I'm called Yue Ying, what are all these strange names you're calling me? Yue Ying snorted, looking proud. Yue Ying, thank you, Miao Miao said again. That's more like it, Yue Ying chuckled, finally changing Miao Miao's name. Watching Yue Ying distribute energy magic crystals to Miao Miao, Lin Chen did not stop her. With Yue Ying's strength, combined with tonight's full moon night, there would definitely be no shortage of energy magic crystals exploding later. After forming a contract with Miao Miao, Miao Miao would also inherit talents and luck from Yue Ying, and would be able to produce items as well. Miao Miao swallowed the crystal core of the Ice Armor Night Eagle, and a gleam kept flashing from its body. Lin Chen looked at Miao Miao's panel with insightful eyes, seeing Miao Miao's level skyrocket from level 8 to 15, a full increase of 7 levels, showing the rich experience contained in the level 42 crystal core. The gleam disappeared, and Miao Miao began to eat the energy magic crystals one by one. Due to its size, Miao Miao couldn't swallow them in one go like Yue Ying. When Miao Miao finished eating all the energy magic crystals and felt a slight increase in attributes, Miao Miao's face lit up. Yue Ying was right, these energy magic crystals really could enhance attributes. But in his understanding, beasts dying wouldn't drop anything. It seemed to be Lin Chen's doing again, making Lin Chen even more mysterious in his eyes. Standing on Yue Ying's head, Lin Chen directed Yue Ying to continue forward. However, this time Lin Chen didn't let Yue Ying fly high. There were many fierce beasts in this dense forest, and tonight was a full moon night, an opportunity Lin Chen wouldn't miss. As Yue Ying continued to kill fierce beasts, various items kept dropping. Miao Miao carried a backpack and used Dawn as a scavenger to quickly collect the spoils. The two spirit beasts cooperated more and more tacitly. With Yue Ying's continuous kills, the number of crystal cores and items increased. With the disappearance of the gleam on Miao Miao, Miao Miao's level successfully reached 25. Immediately, Lin Chen's insightful eyes scanned Miao Miao's panel. Name, variant silver ear cat, Miao Miao, gender, male sign, attribute, wind, aptitude, bronze, can be advanced, upper limit legendary aptitude, level, 25 50ths, black iron tier, can be advanced, level advancement materials, for wind elemental crystals, one tingfeng grass, one jingmu flower, one purple phantom chrysanthemum, 100g extreme shadow rabbit blood, experience, 0 slash 13500, Miao Miao only needed 5 types of advancement materials, which was extremely few compared to Yue Ying. Moreover, Lin Chen knew all these materials, except for the somewhat rare Jingwu flower, the rest were quite common. Master, I feel something is attracting me ahead. Just then, Yue Ying suddenly spoke, with a hint of urgency in her tone. Then let's go take a look, Lin Chen said. 
With the bonus of the Moon God talent, plus the energy magic crystals obtained from killing a large number of fierce beasts just now, Yue Ying's current attributes were extremely terrifying. With great skill comes great courage, and Lin Chen was naturally fearless. Whatever could attract Yue Ying, Lin Chen also wanted to see. In front of a cave, Yue Ying stopped. It's in there. Yue Ying pointed her dragon claw at the cave. The cave entrance was not large, only two people wide, pitch black inside with no light, the endless darkness making people shudder. Lin Chen took out a flashlight from his backpack, which was also a product of killing fierce beasts just now. What was even more outrageous was that there were two size 5 batteries in the flashlight. Pressing the switch, light shone out, but it didn't reach far, with visibility only up to 3 meters, beyond which it was still dark. Yue Ying shrank in size, and Lin Chen led the two spirit beasts into the cave. Crash! As soon as they entered, the blood bats illuminated by the light flew towards Lin Chen's position like a tide. Each one's eyes glowed crimson, making them look particularly terrifying. The moon is full, activating the destroy heaven and earth version of 100,000 volts. Lin Chen ordered directly. Blood bats, as a kind of fierce beast, generally have low levels, but they are gregarious and bloodthirsty. A group often consists of hundreds or even thousands of them. Once surrounded by a large number of blood bats, it is not far from becoming a dried corpse. Upon receiving the command, Yuing immediately activated her skills, surrounded by electric light, and dazzling electric light attacked indiscriminately in all directions centered on Yuing. Under the illumination of the electric light, the cave suddenly became bright. Blood bats were continuously hit by the electric light and fell to the ground, bursting out items and energy crystals. However, the blood bats that flew in subsequently were still fierce and rushed towards Lin Chen's position. A blood bat broke through the defense line and rushed towards Lin Chen at lightning speed. Seeking death. Miao Miao, who was standing by Lin Chen's side, immediately shouted. Wind energy surged into its hind legs, leaping high into the air and leaving a shadow. Poochi. The sound of a sharp weapon piercing flesh was heard, and a dark green blood arrow burst out from the blood bat's body. Miao Miao landed perfectly, holding the dawn that had burst out earlier in its claws. The blood bat that landed next also trembled slightly and then stopped moving. Miao Miao, well done. Yu Ying, who was continuously releasing electric light, praised. The blood bat that had just broken through had startled her. She didn't dare to use her skills at such a close distance to Lin Chen, fearing that she might accidentally injure him. Don't worry, no blood bat can approach the master within five steps. Miao Miao wiped the blood stains off the blade with a black cloth, looking confident. There won't be any more surprises. I won't let them break through again. Yuing activated the 100,000 volts to the extreme, knocking down groups of blood bats, leaving them charred. The electric light released by Yuing gradually changed from golden to silver, as if the god of thunder had descended. In fact, even if Miao Miao hadn't acted just now, the blood bat that came rushing towards Lin Chen would not have been able to harm him. Yuing had the talent to return power, with 50% returning to all attributes, plus the activation of the moon god talent. Lin Chen's current strength was equivalent to Yuing without activating the moon god talent, the only difference being that Lin Chen did not use skills. He could only rely on his physical strength, in simpler terms, tearing the bats apart with his hands. Time passed like the blood bats hit by the electric light, life fleeting in an instant. After about 10 minutes, all the attacking blood bats were killed, and Ewing stopped releasing the 100,000 volts. Looking at the numerous drops around him, Lin Chen's face showed a smile. Although this wave was a bit thrilling, the amount of items and energy crystals obtained made it all worthwhile. Lin Chen picked up items, Yuing used telekinesis to collect energy crystals, and Miao Miao kept cutting open the blood bat corpses to extract crystal cores. The items that burst out were diverse, dazzling Lin Chen's eyes. A simple and ancient-looking hand bracelet engraved with patterns piqued Lin Chen's interest. Activating the Eye of Insight, he scanned the panel of the bracelet. Item, Spatial Bracelet, Black Iron Grade, Effect, Contains 1 cubic meter of space inside, items can be stored and accessed at any time, only inorganic items can be stored, usage, drip blood on the pattern of the bracelet, wow, a spatial bracelet. Lin Chen exclaimed, but after reading the effect, 
he was slightly disappointed, the storage space is too small. Shaking his head, Lin Chen still put on the spatial bracelet on his wrist. The average level of these blood bats was only between 20 to 30, so it was good to get something like this. Although Yuing had the talent of an alternate space gate, which was many times more advanced than this bracelet, it was troublesome to retrieve items from Yuing each time. It was better to have this convenient option, and this one cubic meter of space was enough to temporarily store the things he needed. Biting his middle finger, Lin Chen followed the instructions and dripped a drop of blood on the pattern. The fresh blood touched the pattern, flowed along the lines, and spread throughout the pattern. After a few breaths, the blood was absorbed by the pattern, and Lin Chen felt a slight connection with the spatial bracelet. With a thought, the backpack in Lin Chen's hand disappeared instantly, being stored inside the spatial bracelet. With another thought, the backpack reappeared in his hand. So convenient, Lin Chen's mouth curved into a smile. This thing was simply a must-have gadget for home and travel. Continuing to pick up items on the ground, his insightful eye scanned continuously. Bursting handgun. Wind feather bow. Searchlight. Number 7 battery. Wind feather bow arrows, a box of BYT. Most of these items were ordinary, with only 42 items reaching the level of black iron quality. The only one reaching the bronze rank was a set of wind feather bow arrows. However, looking at the box of BYT in his hand, Lin Chen was speechless. He waved his hand and threw it aside. As a single man, being given this thing was simply an insult. Real men didn't need such things. The box of BYT happened to hit the head of a cat digging for crystal cores on the side. Rubbing its head, the cat picked up the box of BYT, looking at the pattern on it with a puzzled expression. It wiped the bloodstains off its paws on the black cloth. Opening the box, it tore open a small square. Sniffing it, a strong strawberry scent wafted out. Master, what is this? The cat called out to Lin Chen, holding up the small square. It smells good, can I eat it? Lin Chen. The cat looked puzzled. Master, what's with that expression? Lin Chen awkwardly replied, that's a containment for descendants, you can't eat it. Quickly throw it away. The cat still didn't understand, but followed Lin Chen's instructions and threw the box of BYT aside. Since it couldn't be eaten and had no use, it was simply trash. Lin Chen stored the items with ranks in the spatial bracelet, selected some useful items without ranks, and left the rest unattended. Holding the wind feather bow in his left hand and a black iron quality arrow in his right hand, Lin Chen pulled back the bowstring, aiming at a wall on the side of the cave. Swish. Boom. Crackle. The arrow shot out straight under the action of the bow and bowstring, fast as a shadow. The arrow hit the wall, creating a large hole in it. The visible white wind blades kept cutting the inside of the hole, causing numerous small stones to fall out. Watching the power of the wind feather bow, Lin Chen was amazed. This was just a black iron quality item, yet it had such power. However, the downside was that the wind feather bow required special arrows, and he had only found four in the pile of bodies. As for the bursting handgun, Lin Chen had only found one bullet. After testing the wind feather bow, Lin Chen took out a dagger and started helping the cat dig for crystal cores. With Lin Chen's help, all the crystal cores were dug out in 10 minutes. Continuing into the cave with Moon Ying and the cat, the space grew larger as they advanced. As they walked, the cat ate energy magic crystals. Moon Ying had eaten half of them when they were collected earlier, leaving the other half for the cat. Seeing the cat carrying a backpack taller than itself, Lin Chen couldn't help but find it amusing. Master, I feel that thing is just around the corner ahead. Moon Ying's dragon face was full of excitement, but a hint of fear flashed in its eyes. But I sense the presence of a powerful beast. No risk, no reward, Lin Chen said, looking at Moon Ying and the cat. Since we're here, we might as well take a look. Master is right, I agree, the cat echoed. With that, Lin Chen and the others stealthily approached the corner, even suppressing their breathing to a minimum. Peeking around the corner, Lin Chen looked at what was behind it and couldn't help but exclaim, isn't this a stroke of luck for me? 
The space behind the corner was extremely vast, hundreds of wooden boxes, some crystal nuclei, and some scattered materials were randomly piled together. Some of the wooden boxes had already been opened, and there were some material residues on the ground. Behind these wooden boxes, a blood bat over 10 meters long was leaning against the wall, barely breathing. One of its bat wings was in a strange position, with the thin membrane covering it riddled with holes. Green blood continued to flow outward from a huge wound on its abdomen. Its fur was charred black, and the combination of green blood and black fur looked extremely disgusting. Activating the inside eye, Lin Chen scanned the panel of this blood bat. Name, blood bat, gender, female sign, attribute, dark, aptitude, platinum, level, 100-125, golden tier, can be advanced, level advancement materials, purple kue asterisk 7, night dark flower asterisk 3, silent grass asterisk 6, misty lotus seed asterisk 10, dark crystal nucleus, golden tier, asterisk 10, experience, 0-8920630. Looking at the panel, Lin Chen judged that this blood bat must have been heavily injured and on the brink of death due to collecting materials to advance to the next stage. However, looking at the hundreds of wooden boxes, Lin Chen knew that this blood bat must have attacked places like the beast store. Only humans would use wooden boxes for storing materials. Unexpectedly, these fierce beasts, so big by eating garbage? Miao Miao gestured with a middle finger, showing disdain in his eyes. Wasting such a big body, might as well go back to the womb and start over. Squeak squeak squeak. Ah ah ah, I'm so angry, I'll kill you. The blood bat roared, and the black light on its intact wing suddenly surged, ghostly black rays continuously shooting out, spiraling and attacking Meow Meow. Do you think a few shabby attacks can punish your grandpa Meow Meow? Meow Meow disappeared from the spot like the wind, running while shouting, let me show you the agility of your grandpa Meow Meow. The spiraling black rays suddenly stopped attacking the ground and began chasing after Meow Meow's position. Oh my god! Seeing the black rays behind him chasing him, Meow Meow exclaimed. He didn't expect this attack to be able to track him, what the hell, first time seeing this. Boom! Just as the blood bat was focusing on beating up Meow Meow, hot fireballs struck the blood bat's back. Large patches of fur fell off, revealing charred skin underneath. Ewing took action, she knew exactly what Meow Meow's actions meant. Squeak! Ah! The blood bat screamed, then turned its head to look at Yu Wing who had ambushed it, anger in its crimson eyes. What are you looking at? How dare you fight with your grandpa Meow Meow and still dare to be distracted? Do you want your grandpa Meow Meow to make you bloom? Meow Meow saw the blood bat's gaze locked on Yu Wing, immediately realizing it was not a good time to continue taunting, and shouted to Yu Wing, Yu Wing, quickly get rid of the black thing behind me. It's so annoying. No problem. Body was falling apart, and stood up. Cough, cough. The smoke filled Lin Chen's nostrils, causing him to cough continuously, with blood and saliva flowing out. Just now, he thought he was about to be harvested by the attack, but unexpectedly, Yuing and Miao Miao rushed towards him like shadows, knocking him out. Yuing, Miao Miao. Puff. Lin Chen shouted, and a large amount of blood spurted out again. Master, I'm here, but Miao Miao is not in good shape. In the smoke, Yu Ying's pleasant voice came, but with a hint of weakness. Following the sound, Lin Chen stumbled towards them. He saw Yu Ying's silver scales stained with blood, and Miao Miao spitting out blood continuously on one side. Although they looked like they were on the verge of collapse, as long as they were not dead, it was fine. There were still many life fruit in Yu Ying's alternate space. Yu Ying, quickly! Take out the life fruit from the alternate space. Lin Chen knelt in front of Yuing and Miao Miao, panting heavily. At his words, three life fruits appeared, floating in front of Lin Chen. He picked one up with effort and finished it in two or three bites. The energy contained in the life fruit continuously repaired the injuries in Lin Chen's body. After a few breaths, Lin Chen moved his wrist a bit and felt that there was no problem. He handed one to Yuing and one to Miao Miao. With the repair of the life fruit, Yu Ying and Miao Miao recovered. Master, this fruit is amazing, I thought I was done for this time. Miao Miao wiped the blood from the corner of his mouth, his eyes shining. This fruit was found by me and the master in the secret realm. 
Just by eating one, as long as you are not already dead, you can recover all your injuries. Yueying released a water-based skill, washing away the bloodstains on her body. Niao Miao, thank you again this time. If it weren't for the rainbow light screen you released to neutralize most of the attacks, I wouldn't even have the chance to eat the fruit. Yueying waved her dragon claw, it's nothing, as the master said, we are partners. As the dust settled, Lin Chen glanced at the blood bat lying on the ground, Yueying Miao Miao, let's finish off this guy once and for all. Okay. The two spirit beasts echoed in unison, following Lin Chen towards the blood bat. At this moment, the blood bat's body was still moving slightly, one eye cautiously staring at Lin Chen, Yueying, and Miao Miao approaching. However, it was helpless, as the attack just now used up all its energy, making it difficult to move now. You dead bat, can't move now, right? Almost got killed by my Miao Miao. Tisk. Miao Miao mocked, holding his shoulder and spitting to the side. Squeak. You traitors who side with humans. You will go to hell. The blood bat snarled fiercely. You know nothing. The master is my faith, and also the most important person in my life. Yue Ying retorted immediately. The master can help me achieve my goals, and now is my partner. I have never followed anyone before, so the term traitor doesn't apply at all. Miao Miao also countered. All right, stop wasting time with it, Yue Ying, deal with it. Although not understanding what the blood bat was saying, Lin Chen could tell from its fierce expression that it was not saying anything good, so he ordered Yue Ying to attack directly. Yue Ying opened her dragon mouth, and a fireball containing huge fire energy shot out instantly. The weakened blood bat was directly taken away by this blow, losing its last trace of life. In its final gaze before death, there was a strong sense of unwillingness. Lin Chen did not expect this severely injured blood bat to still possess such terrifying combat power. After the blood bat died, it dropped six items, a piece of clothing, a long knife, and four energy magic crystals. The four energy magic crystals were divided equally between Yue Ying and Miao Miao. Lin Chen picked up the clothing and the long knife, using his inside eye to scan them. Item, Misty Robe, Tear, Gold, Usage, Recognize the Master by Blood, after recognition, silently activate slash deactivate in your mind to trigger the effect. Effect, all round invisibility, hiding all traces of oneself, can withstand one attack below level 100 of the gold tier once. Item, Shadow Demon Blade, Tear, Silver, Usage, Recognize the Master by Blood, after recognition, can activate the special effect of the Shadow Demon Blade. Effect, can condense a blade carrying dark energy, power randomly between levels 50 to 75 of the silver tier, remaining uses 5, usage count automatically recovers once per day, but. Looking at the panels of these two items, Lin Chen showed a pleased expression. This gold tier level 100 blood bat was truly extraordinary, the items it dropped were incredibly powerful. As for the shadow demon blade, it happened to make up for his lack of skill usage. Although he had spirit beasts, using the blade for self-preservation or support was also a good choice. With this robe, he could be invisible anytime and anywhere, so if he needed materials, he could directly enter the city to purchase them without fear of being discovered by law enforcement. The Dragon Element's secret realm would open on Wednesday, and he could use the misty robe to sneak in. If he encountered Song Feng or Wang Jinshan, then he wouldn't blame himself, Lin Chen, for collecting some interest in advance. Lin Chen did not have such a strong aversion to other people, after all, humans were like that, including himself. But for those who persecuted him, Lin Chen would have to retaliate. If someone doesn't offend me, I won't offend them. If someone offends me, I will repay a hundredfold. Lin Chen pricked his middle finger and dripped a drop of blood on the Misty Robe and Shadow Demon Blade respectively as soon, blood merged into these two items, and Lin Chen felt a connection between his spirit and the two items. What surprised Lin Chen even more was that a Lin character faintly appeared where the Misty Cloak was stained with Lin Chen's blood. However, the blood oath made Lin Chen a little dizzy. Would this constant blood oath one day drain him dry? Holding his still bleeding finger, Lin Chen shook his head helplessly. Putting on the cloak and the hood that came with it, Lin Chen carried the crystal core of the blood bat dug out with the shadow demon blade. Master, there is something in that pile of materials that attracts me. 
Yueying Long Claw pointed to the pile of materials, her eyes showing a longing look. You weren't attracted by the advanced materials, were you? Lin Chen chuckled and patted Yueying's head. Advanced materials do have some attraction to mythical beasts or fierce. Chen swaggered past the soldiers guarding the city gate. These soldiers ignored Lin Chen's passing, showing no reaction, standing straight and guarding the gate. Lin Chen couldn't help but marvel at the power of the mist concealing robe. He walked into Luo Bay City, away from the city walls. Lin Chen deactivated the mist concealing robe's effect, raised his right arm, and hailed a passing taxi. Opening the door, Lin Chen sat in the front passenger seat. Excuse me, do you know? Before he could finish, Lin Chen turned to look at the driver, his face suddenly changing as he exclaimed, Wu Cao, it's you? Hey hey, young man, we meet again. The middle-aged driver chuckled, took a sip of beer, and said, I told you we would meet again. This middle-aged driver was none other than the crazy driver Lin Chen had encountered in Qinghe City. Damn, what fate do I have with you? Saying this, Lin Chen opened the car door to get out. The crazy driver was too frightening to drive, and considering his current identity, he might get caught along with him. Wait, young man. Seeing Lin Chen about to get out of the car, the middle-aged driver put down his beer can and grabbed Lin Chen's arm. The middle-aged driver's grip on Lin Chen's arm was like a pair of iron tongs, unmoved by Lin Chen's struggles. Feeling the immense strength in his arm, Lin Chen was surprised. With the power he had now, enhanced by Moon Ying's full attributes, ordinary people couldn't possibly hold him back. Lin Chen turned his head, staring intently at the middle-aged driver. Who are you? What do you want by following me? The driver's unusual behavior, coupled with their second inexplicable encounter, made Lin Chen suspicious. The first meeting could be considered a coincidence. The second meeting, in a different city, was hard to dismiss as mere chance. With that, he activated his insightful eye and scanned the middle-aged driver's profile. Name, Bailey Gu, Occupation, Talented Beast Tamer, Talents, 1, Strength Control, S20% of the power attribute of the contracted beast will be fed back to oneself, and the power attribute of the contracted beast will permanently increase by 20%. 2, Precognition Dream, S Hidden, Incomplete can foresee the future through dreams, but due to being incomplete, the predictions are not entirely accurate. Beasts, 1, Holy Feather Fiery Eagle Level 115, Platinum Tier, 2. Dark Armor Ghost-Faced Crocodile Level 101, Platinum Tier, 3. Extreme Cold Twin-Headed Python Level 77, Gold Tier, 4. Blazing Fire Horse Level 56, Silver Tier, Lin Chen was stunned by the profile, not expecting the crazy driver to be a talented beast tamer. And he had two S-level talents, one of which was a precognitive talent, albeit incomplete, but still impressive. Moreover, the highest level of his beasts had reached level 115 in the platinum tier. My name is Bailey Gu, and I know you are Lin Chen. Bailey Gu pulled Lin Chen back to the passenger seat with force. Don't worry, I have no ill intentions towards you, let alone harm you. Bailey Gu, with the talent of precognition dreams, knew his name, which didn't surprise Lin Chen. As a talented beast tamer, why were you mistaken for a lunatic and captured? Hearing that Bailey Gu had no ulterior motives, Lin Chen's tense heart finally relaxed. You really know a lot. Bailey Gu laughed and removed the disguise from his face, revealing his handsome features. I come from the Bailey family. I ran away three years ago, pretending to be a lunatic to hide my identity, waiting for your appearance. Waiting for me? Lin Chen furrowed his brows, puzzled. Yes, I can't tell you the reason now but you will know in the future. Bailey Gu nodded and stepped on the gas pedal. Let's go, I'll take you to the black market. Morning news, a criminal suspect in our city escaped from the law enforcement agency in the early morning, named Lin Chen, 18 years old, height 1.82 meters, photo below, if any citizens find him, please contact the law enforcement department in time, phone number, the broadcast in the taxi suddenly sounded, broadcasting the morning news. Lin Chen, ha, huh? just two days of not seeing you and you're already wanted. Bailey Gu chuckled lightly, glanced at Lin Chen and gave him a thumbs up, it had to be you. But it's just someone coveting my spirit beast, deliberately framing me. Lin Chen sneered, his eyes cold, when I have enough strength, I will naturally clear my name, none of those bastards will escape. 
That day is not far. Bailigu casually drank a sip of beer, as if performing a magic trick, he pulled out another can and offered it to Lin Chen, want some? No, thanks. Lin Chen shook his head in refusal. He still had to go to the black market later, and he didn't like drinking. Alcohol is a good thing, but only I can enjoy it. Seeing Lin Chen's refusal, Bai Li Su put down the can of beer, muttering to himself. This time the taxi was driving very steadily, not as fast as last time. 200 meters away from the black market, Bai Li Gu stopped the car. Lin Chen, here is an anonymous bank card, a mobile phone card, 10,000 dragon coins in cash, and this is my business card. Bai Li Gu took out four items from his pocket and handed them to Lin Chen, raising an eyebrow, you may not be able to reach me by phone, because I live in a mental hospital, you know. Then why give me a business card? Lin Chen was speechless, but still accepted the four items. For the sense of ceremony, ha ha. Bai Li Gu laughed. The entrance to the black market is just around the corner 200 meters ahead, I'll drop you off here, maybe we'll meet again. I feel like you're not pretending, you actually seem like a real lunatic. Lin Chen opened the car door and got out without looking back. Spending time with lunatics, isn't that normal, huh? Bang! The taxi door was forcefully shut by Lin Chen, who walked towards the black market without turning back. The place where the dream begins, the starting point, ha ha ha. Bai Li Gu watched Lin Chen's departing figure, laughed a few times in the taxi, readjusted his disguise, and drove away. After walking 200 meters, there was a brothel at the corner. Looking at the women flaunting themselves at the door, Lin Chen's mouth twitched slightly. He was starting to doubt whether Bai Li Gu was setting him up. But he still put down the cat in his arms, and walked towards the brothel with the cat. Since he was already here, it would be a waste not to ask. What if this brothel was just a disguise? Hey, handsome, can't wait so early, huh? A heavily made up, tall woman waved a handkerchief in her hand, taking what she thought were charming steps towards Lin Chen. Master, this woman seems a bit weird. The cat tugged at Lin Chen's pants leg and whispered. Lin Chen. Hey handsome, how about me? 2000 dragon coins, guaranteed to satisfy you. The woman pushed out her ample bosom, her eyes full of allure. Excuse me, is the black market here? Lin Chen felt disgusted, but still asked the woman. Excuse me? I'm only 22. Can't you speak properly, you brat? The woman immediately became displeased at his words, her heavy makeup slightly smudged. But in the next moment, her expression changed completely, now wearing a flattering smile. Is that enough? Lin Chen took out 10,000 dragon coins from his pocket, the cash Bai Li Gu had given him before leaving. For a woman like her, other things might not work, but money always did. Who in their right mind would come to this place to degrade themselves, if not for quick money? Enough, of course, that's more than enough. The woman giggled and took two steps forward, trying to take the cash from Lin Chen's hand. Glancing at the woman, Lin Chen tucked the cash back into his pocket, lead the way, once we arrive, this 10,000 is yours. Little handsome guy, please follow me. The woman awkwardly retracted her outstretched hand, swaying her hips in front to lead the way. It was not difficult at all to earn 10,000 yuan without much effort or false flattery, such opportunities were rare. With the woman leading the way, they turned left and right inside the brothel, until Lin Chen stopped in front of a pitch black door. We're here, behind this door is the entrance to the black market. The woman turned around, her face full of flattery. Little handsome guy, this is your first time at the black market, right? Hmm. Lin Chen furrowed his brows, looking hesitant. People who often enter the black market wear masks, you look like a first-timer. The woman hurriedly explained, while reaching out to Lin Chen. Look, that's 10,000 yuan. Thank you. Lin Chen took out the 10,000 yuan in cash from his pocket and threw it to the woman. The woman's face lit up with joy as she kissed the cash, swaying her hips as she left. Pushing open the pitch black door, Lin Chen entered with Miao Miao. Master, do you want to keep holding me? Miao Miao pinched his chin and asked, If I follow you like this, will it attract attention? Give me your clothes, and also Dawn. Lin Chen instructed as they descended the stairs. 
Don't speak later, as long as you stay quiet, no one will notice you. I understand. Miao Miao tore off the black cloth from his body, along with Dawn tied around his waist. After storing the black cloth and Dawn in the spatial bracelet, Lin Chen walked towards the entrance with Miao Miao following behind. Two guards at the entrance of the black market reached out to stop Lin Chen, scrutinizing him. One of the guards spoke, first time here? Yes. Lin Chen nodded. The guard extended his hand, his expression unchanged. 10,000 in cash. Lin Chen. He seemed to understand the meaning behind Bai Li Gu giving him 10,000 in cash, turns out you had to pay to enter this black market. Damn it, he had just given all that money to the woman. Lin Chen reached into his pocket, his mind racing. A black iron grade crystal nucleus appeared in his hand. Taking it out of his pocket, Lin Chen opened his hand. I don't have cash, so I'll use this black iron grade crystal nucleus as payment. The guard's eyes lit up as he took the crystal nucleus. Feeling the energy fluctuations inside, the guard said, accepted. The value of this black iron grade. Crystal nucleus far exceeded 10,000 dragon coins, buying this black iron crystal nucleus in exchange was an additional income. Another guard casually pulled out a mask from a box beside him and handed it to Lin Chen. Wear the mask when entering the black market, it's the rule. Also, no stealing or fighting inside the black market, violators pay with their lives. Go in. With that, the two guards returned to their original positions. After putting on the mask, Lin Chen entered the black market with Miao Miao. Vendors on both sides were shouting, even though it was daytime, the black market was still bustling with people. Eggs for sale, 200,000 each, all varieties available, buying one is earning. The latest high-tech products from Sunan Pharmaceuticals, don't miss out. Rare materials just harvested from the winter secret realm, come take a look. Looking at the items on the vendor's stalls, Lin Chen used his insightful eyes to scan through. Rows of panels appeared before him, many of which were junk and did not match what the vendors were shouting about. Buying them would be a total loss. Shaking his head, Lin Chen continued walking forward. After passing through the vendor area, Lin Chen entered a shop. Sir, hello, what would you like to purchase? A masked staff member approached Lin Chen. Later, Huang Lao put down his phone and looked at Lin Chen, saying, Consider the extra one million as our sincerity. In his eyes, someone like Lin Chen must have strong backing, otherwise it would not be possible to offer so many crystal nuclei and materials at once. For such a big client who can provide crystal nuclei and materials in bulk, he naturally wanted to keep a good relationship. And for him, a mere one million was nothing. The profit from selling these materials and crystal nuclei could far exceed this mere one million. Lin Chen opened the app on his phone and saw that there were 256 million dragon coins in the anonymous bank card. He smiled and said, no problem. Huang Lao was quite straightforward, generous in order to attract business. Huang Lao stroked his beard and asked, is there anything else you need? Take a look at these materials, do you have them here? Lin Chen took out his phone, opened the memo recording the remaining materials, and handed it to Huang Lao. After taking the phone and looking at it for a while, Huang Lao shook his head, the materials listed here are too rare, some of which I have never even heard of. We only have four types of materials here, turtleback grass, dragon eye crystal, golden armor dragonfish blood, and swift wind shadow leopard blood. Alright, how much for these four materials? Lin Shen was not disappointed with this answer, at least there were four types available. Turtleback grass, one plant, 17 million dragon coins. Dragon Eye Crystal, one piece, 40 million dragon coins. Golden Armor Dragonfish Blood, one gram, 500,000 dragon coins. Swift Wind Shadow Leopard Blood, one gram, 400,000 dragon coins. Lin Chen thought to himself, Golden Armor Dragonfish Blood and Swift Wind Shadow Leopard Blood each require 200 grams, so that adds up to 180 million dragon coins. Adding those two materials, it would be 237 million dragon coins. This money that just came into my hands is about to be spent in an instant. Alright, I'll take all four of these materials. Lin Chen said, gritting his teeth. After swiping the card, under Huang Lao's guidance, Lin Chen arrived at a warehouse. 
Huang Lao inserted a delicate card into a slot, entered a password on the lock, scanned his iris at the recognition point, and the warehouse door opened with a click. After a moment, Huang Lao came out with four wooden boxes. The black market auction house has some good stuff recently, you can go take a look, maybe they have what you need. Handing the wooden boxes to Lin Chen, Huang Lao stroked his beard and said. Okay, thank you. After thanking him, Lin Chen left. Although he was very interested in the auction house, he didn't have much money on hand now. If he wanted to go, he needed to make some money first. This was the black market, and with his insight, he decided to take a look around and see if he could find any good deals. He returned to the area where the vendors were selling. Compared to when he first arrived, there were more people and more vendors setting up stalls. Walking continuously, his insight scanned over various items. Suddenly, the information panel of a bead caught Lin Chen's attention, and he went straight to that stall. Lin Chen squatted down, pretending to look at other items. The stall owner was a fat man with a bulky figure. Seeing Lin Chen squatting down to look, he quickly greeted him, Brother, the items on my stall are all treasures from the secret realm. Boss, how much for this grass? Lin Chen picked up a crystal blue grass and asked. Brother, this grass is called Xian Ice Grass, a rare material for the advancement of ice-type beast tamers in the winter secret realm. The fat stall owner introduced confidently, extending three fingers as thick as rolling pins, only three million dragon coins. It's definitely worth it, in the store, this Xian Ice Grass would cost four million dragon coins. Lin Chen snorted. This was not Xian Ice Grass, it was just cold ice grass, and it was only worth 150,000 coins. These two types of grass looked very similar, and if one was not familiar with them, they would not be able to tell the difference. And how much for this bead? Lin Chen did not expose the fat stall owner. He put down the cold ice grass and picked up the bead lying next to it, emitting a faint silver light. This bead was exactly what caught Lin Chen's attention. This is an extraordinary treasure, the fat stall owner exclaimed, gesturing with fingers as thick as rolling pins. For just 2 million, this bead is also a product of the winter secret realm. What is this bead used for? It's only glowing, not worth this price. Buying it would just be for decoration, Lin Chen asked again, knowing exactly what this bead was. The moonlight bead, one of the rarest materials for advancing in the moonful realm, was one of the few Lin Chen had never heard of. He didn't expect to encounter it at this small stall, and he was sure the fat stall owner had no idea what it was. Well. The fat stall owner hesitated slightly, then rubbed his hands. To be honest, I don't know the purpose of this bead. If you really want it, you can have it for 500,000. He had. Held onto this bead for a long time, unable to sell it, but also unwilling to throw it away. After all, it only glowed, and no one was foolish enough to spend a large sum of money on such a bead. A light bulb that glows costs 5 yuan each. Lin Chen put down the moonlight bead in his hand, as if he was about to leave. The fat stall owner quickly grabbed Lin Chen's arm, wincing, and said, 400,000 dragon coins. 100,000, Lin Chen shook his head, his tone indifferent. If you want to sell, I'll take it. If not, forget it. This bead is just for show, it doesn't have any real value. Well. The fat stall owner struggled for a moment, then gritted his teeth. Fine, 100,000 dragon coins. Selling it for 100,000 dragon coins was better than leaving it on the shelf, as it couldn't create any value there. After scanning the payment, Lin Chen left with the moonlight bead. Including the moonlight bead and the four materials he had just purchased, he still needed 70 more to complete the collection. With 19 million dragon coins left, as for his previous bank card, it was unsurprisingly frozen. He had to create the greatest value with the remaining 19 million, otherwise, even if he went to the auction, he would just be left empty-handed. There were definitely many wealthy people participating in the auction. Lin Chen walked along, buying a lot of materials with his insight and luck. Some advanced materials looked similar to ordinary ones, and if not carefully distinguished, they could not be told apart. Some advanced materials were mixed in with ordinary ones, but for Lin Chen, finding them was not difficult. Although the vendors tried to pass off these ordinary materials as advanced ones, after Lin Chen discreetly pointed it out, 
they looked surprised and begged him not to expose them. Lin Chen naturally didn't want to make enemies for no reason, so he only selected the mixed advanced materials, paid the price of ordinary materials, and left with the vendor's smiling faces bidding him farewell. As for the beast egg, Lin Chen did not buy it, as it took up space and identifying the species inside would be a hassle, with a long wait time. Seeing that he was almost done and his money was running out, Lin Chen went back to the shop where he had sold materials and crystals before. Sir, you're back again. Are you selling items again? The staff, slightly surprised to see Lin Chen return shortly after leaving, asked. Nodding, Lin Chen went to Huang's office as if he knew the way. Young man, you just went out two hours ago, and now you're selling items again? Huang's face twitched slightly, full of disbelief. I wanted to go to the auction, but I'm afraid I won't have enough money, so I'm thinking of selling some advanced materials again, Lin Chen replied calmly, without any fluctuation in his tone. Opening his backpack, he took out various materials. Just as Huan was examining the materials, the office door suddenly swung open. A tall figure wearing a mask strode in and sat on the sofa, sighing, Huan, give me another ten dark inferno fruits. Young master, did your beast fail to advance again? Huang Lao looked up at the masked youth and asked hoarsely, isn't it? Ah. The masked youth shook his head, bitterness in his tone, my alpaca has failed to advance twice. If it weren't for its strong vitality, it might have died long ago. The ratio just isn't right, it's driving me crazy. Your alpaca is quite rare. It's indeed not easy to find the correct ratio, Huang Lao said, continuing to examine Lin Chen's materials. Once I finish calculating the price of these materials for this young man, I'll go get the materials for you. Okay, the masked youth took out a box of cigarettes from his pocket, lit one for himself, took a puff, then glanced at Lin Chen and handed him one, brother, want one? Thank you, Lin Chen took the cigarette, pondered slightly, and said, I have some knowledge about beast advancement. Perhaps I can help you with the ratio of your beast advancement materials. Brother, I'm not hiding it from you, my family has quite a few beast advancement masters, the masked youth chuckled lightly, lighting Lin Chen's cigarette, judging by your voice, you should be around my age. Not looking down on you, but I doubt you can solve it. Skills have nothing to do with age, Lin Chen blew a smoke ring, very confident in his tone, without trying, how do you know I can't solve it? Are you so sure? The masked youth hesitated slightly, with a hint of sternness in his tone, if the advancement fails, my alpaca might lose its life. It has been my companion in battles for a long time. If something happens to it, I won't let you off. Even if your family's beast advancement master advances it, there's still a high risk of failure, Lin Chen said casually, unfazed by the masked youth's stern tone, if the advancement fails, I'll pay with my life. If it succeeds, I only ask for five billion from you. Deal? Deal, the masked youth thought for a moment and nodded. Seeing the confident look on this person, he was intrigued. Who would joke about their own life for no reason? Someone with such courage is. Either truly skilled or just plain foolish. Obviously, anyone selling materials here is not a fool. The price of five billion is not expensive for him. If he can successfully advance his precious alpaca, he would think it's worth even 10 billion. Summon your beast, let me take a look, Lin Chen said. He raised his hand, and a dark purple magic circle appeared, summoning a beast in the form of an alpaca out of thin air. Gil. The alpaca called out weakly to the masked youth, clearly suffering great damage from the previous failed advancements. Approaching, Lin Chen pretended to stroke the alpaca, inspecting it, secretly activating his inside eye to scan the alpaca's status. Name, Thunderfire Camel, Gender, Male, Attributes, Thunder, Fire, Qualification, Diamond, Damaged, Originally Epic, Level, 50-150, Bronze Tier, Can Advance, Advancement Materials, Thundering Fruit Asterisk 8, Purple Lightning Grass Asterisk 4, Cloud Thunder Crystal Asterisk 1, Flame Sunflower Asterisk 10, Fire Spark Seed Asterisk 2, Dark Flame Fruit Asterisk 5, Fire Based Silver Tier Crystal Core Asterisk 1, Red Scale Snake Blood Asterisk 100G, all the advancement materials needed for this alpaca appeared before Lin Chen's eyes. Looking at the alpaca, originally with an epic qualification, now played into a diamond, Lin Chen felt a bit regretful. Half an hour later, Lin Chen felt it was about time, turned to Huang Lao and said, Huang Lao, can I borrow some paper and a pen? 
Huang Lao, who had already sorted out the items, looked at Lin Chen with interest. He also wanted to see how capable this young man was. To dare to boast so confidently, the Yuan family was one of the beast families in Luo Bei City, with extremely strong power. If the advancement really failed, this young man might be in trouble. This is the plan, you can ask the pharmacist to mix and verify it. Lin Chen handed the notebook to the masked youth. Beasts can advance by directly ingesting materials, but it will take a long time, ranging from two to three days if fast, to a week if slow. However, if the pharmacist extracts the essence from the materials and creates an advanced potion, the efficiency will be greatly improved. The time to complete the advancement will only take one to two hours. After carefully reading Lin Chen's plan, the masked youth furrowed his brow. There were many differences between this plan and the advancement plan provided by his family's advancement master. Not only were there two additional materials, but the required quantities were also significantly different. Nevertheless, since he chose to take a gamble, he decided to go through with it. The masked youth took out a bank card from his pocket and handed it to Huang Lao along with the notebook, saying, Huang Lao, follow the instructions on this plan and help me mix the potion directly. No problem. Huang Lao said as he stroked his beard with his right hand and took the notebook and bank card with his left hand. After swiping the card for payment and settling the material costs from Lin Chen, Huang Lao led Lin Chen and the masked youth to a place resembling a laboratory. Brother, are you sure we can successfully advance? The masked youth asked Lin Chen again, if Huang Lao brings the materials, we will have to fulfill our agreement. Since I dare to say so, I am absolutely confident, Lin Chen waved his hand confidently, if I didn't have absolute confidence, I wouldn't be foolish enough to risk my life. After obtaining the materials, Wang Lao began mixing the potion. He purified the essence of each material and then injected it into a specially made test tube. After adding the final ingredient, the blood of the red-scaled snake, the once murky potion in the test tube suddenly changed color. Faint purple electric currents surrounded it, and the light red liquid continuously emitted heat. It's done. Once the structure of the potion stabilizes, the beast can take it, Huang Lao said as he removed his gloves and adjusted his glasses on his nose. The thunderstorm fire camel looked at the potion on the experimental table, its two large eyes shining with anticipation, its face full of desire. Even a single material would attract a beast in the advancement stage, let alone a complete potion. For the beast, this was something that would elevate its level. Ten minutes later, under everyone's gaze, the thunderstorm fire camel happily drank the potion. In an instant, a dark purple electric aura surrounded the thunderstorm fire camel, which roared continuously and ran around the laboratory. Watching the unusually excited thunderstorm fire camel, the masked youth felt a pang of anxiety. He didn't know if this was a success or a failure, everything could only be verified with time. Bang! The thunderstorm fire camel running on the experimental table directly shattered it. Huang Lao. The Masked Youth. Lin Chen. Gil an hour later, the thunderstorm fire camel finally stopped running and let out an excited cry. It approached the masked youth, nuzzling its big head against the youth's leg affectionately. It successfully absorbed the energy contained in the potion, and its previous injuries were also healed. The advancement was successful. The Masked. Youth touched the thunderstorm fire camel's head, dumbfounded. In the previous failed advancement, the thunderstorm fire camel was on the brink of death, but this time it was undoubtedly successful. This person is truly amazing. Damn, the advancement masters of his family are all a bunch of useless people. They are not as good as a kid of his age. Gil Gil the thunderstorm fire camel tilted its head and licked the masked youth's hand with its tongue. With his insightful eyes, Lin Chen clearly saw that the thunderstorm fire camel had advanced from the bronze tier to the silver tier. However, the advancement process was truly explosive, he wondered if Moon Ying's advancement would be as intense as the thunderstorm fire camels. Brother, your advancement plan is awesome. The masked youth looked at Lin Chen and gave a thumbs up, then took off the mask on his face. I'm Yuan Bao, from now on, you are my brother Yuan Bao. If anyone dares to bully you, I'll help you beat them up. Are you saying this just to avoid giving me money under the pretext of being a good brother? Lin Chen joked. Come on, talking about money between good brothers hurts the relationship. 
It's just 500 million dragon coins, I'll give you 1 billion. Yuan Bao waved his hand with the look of a wealthy man, his small eyes kept turning. Brother, what's your name? Lin Chen, Lin Chen replied calmly. Could it be that you are the wanted Lin Chen? Yuan Bao asked with a hint of doubt. Lin Chen nodded, not denying it. He didn't hide his identity as a wanted criminal, after all, this was the black market, where no one was simple, and everyone had some dirty dealings. Moreover, with his skills, if Yuan Bao wasn't a fool, he would know what to do. If Yuan Bao was a fool, Lin Chen was not afraid either, with his misty robe, no one could stop him. Yuan Bao was puzzled, with your skills, and the money from selling those materials earlier, you shouldn't need to steal, right? Some people don't like me and falsely accuse me, Lin Chen said. Goodness, dare to falsely accuse my brother Yuan Bao. Yuan Bao's expression changed immediately. Who is it? I'll take care of him for you. No need, I'll handle this myself, Lin Chen refused. He didn't want others to intervene in this matter for now. Until he had absolute strength, even if someone helped solve it this time, similar incidents would occur in the future. All right, just let me know if you need anything. Give me your account number, I'll transfer the money to you right away. Yuan Bao patted his chest. Seeing the 1 billion dragon coins credited to his account, Lin Chen felt happy, now he had the money for the auction. It seemed that being an advanced master was a lucrative profession. Brother, where are you going later? Do you want to go to the auction house? Yuan Bao recalled his thunderstorm flame camel into the beast space and casually put his arm around Lin Chen's shoulder. There are a lot of good things at the auction house recently. Sure, I don't have any plans later. Lin Chen didn't refuse, as he also needed to go to the auction house, and it seemed that Yuan Bao was a regular there. Following Yuan Bao would save him the trouble of finding out the location of the auction house. That's great. Yuan Bao put his mask back on and said to Huang Lao, Huang Lao, we're leaving now. We'll settle the money for the damaged experimental platform next time. After leaving Huang Lao's shop, Lin Chen and Yuan Bao walked side by side, with Miao Miao following closely behind Lin Chen. Brother, next time when I advance my beast. Yuan Bao walked and grinned, rubbing his hands. Can you help me out? Sure, I think we have a good connection. Dot. Lin Chen didn't refuse and even rubbed his thumb and forefinger together. Yuan Bao immediately understood. Money was just a trivial matter. As the second young master of the Yuan family, would he lack money? Becoming brothers with such a skilled advanced beast master would only bring him endless benefits. If others knew, they would probably be envious. Despite the powerful status of a family young master, the materials and quantities needed for advancing beasts of the same species still varied slightly. A slight difference could make a huge impact. Should I say this or not? When I left home today, my family's kingly magpie was flying above my head and happened to drop a pile of poop on my foot that I stepped on. Yuan Bao grinned and flattered Lin Chen, I came to the black market and unexpectedly met you, my brother, who helped me solve the problem of advancement. Your bird seems quite something. Lin Chen raised an eyebrow at the mention and slightly distanced himself from Yuan Bao with a hint of disdain. Did you clean it? I did, but it seems I didn't clean it well. Yuan Bao shrugged it off, smiling as he moved closer to Lin Chen again. I'll call you brother Chen from now on, always calling each other brothers seems too formal. Yuan Bao chattered on like a gatling gun. Unknowingly, the two of them walked into the auction house. During this time, Lin Chen and Yuan Bao exchanged contact information. Yuan Bao wanted to invite Lin Chen to his house to see the kingfisher magpie poop, but Lin Chen firmly refused. He was in a hurry to enhance Yu Ying's strength and was preparing to go to the Dragon Element Secret Realm tomorrow. He didn't have time to go see birds poop with Yuan Bao. The auction house was spacious enough to accommodate thousands of people. When Lin Chen and Yuan Bao took their seats, the place was already packed. Thanks to Yuan Bao's connections, they were seated in the front rows. Chen Gu, the auction will start in 10 minutes, Yuan Bao said as he took out his phone from his pocket to check the time then took out two cigarettes, lit one for himself, and offered the other to Lin Chen. Smoke less, aren't you afraid of getting lung cancer? 
Lin Chen waved his hand and refused, and are you sure you can smoke here? Lin Chen didn't have a habit of smoking. In his past life, he only smoked a few cigarettes during social gatherings, but not regularly. It's fine, Yuan Bao lit his cigarette, saying nonchalantly, we're not smoking cigarettes, we're smoking loneliness. As the smoke rose around Yuan Bao, he looked intoxicated. Two cigarette butts were stamped out on the ground, and the auction officially began. The lights on the auction stage suddenly lit up, and the host walked up to the platform. Welcome to this auction. There are a total of 12 items up for auction today. The host bowed to the audience below, then clapped his hands. Two workers in black clothes emerged from behind the stage, carrying a fierce beast to the auction platform. The large screen on the platform displayed information about the item. This is a complete level 90 golden tier red-eyed tiger. The blood of this fierce beast is rare and essential for some beast tamers to advance. The crystal core contains a large amount of experience, and its meat can slightly enhance a human's physique. Most importantly, this is a male tiger, and the value of its tiger whip can help an impotent person regain their peak. Starting bid is 100 million dragon coins, with increments of no less than 10 million dragon coins. The host introduced the effects of the red-eyed tiger. Immediately after the starting bid was announced, a hoarse voice of an old man came, I bid 110 million dragon coins. 120 million. 150 million. 160 million. Chen Gu, what do you think of this tiger? Yuan Bao licked his lips, looking eager to try. Are you impotent? Lin Chen glanced at Yuan Bao meaningfully. Chen Gu, you'll have no friends if you talk like that. Yuan Bao's forehead was covered in black lines as he quickly shook his head and explained, I'm considering this red-eyed tiger because it's a fire-type beast. Maybe I can use it for my alpaca's advancement in the future, and its meat can also enhance physique. Is this kind of fierce beast hard to kill? Lin Chen asked. It's not hard to kill, but these tigers usually travel in groups and are elusive. Usually, even three to five beast tamers with golden tier beasts would end up as prey. Yuan Bao raised his bidding paddle, 220 million. 250 million. Damn, dare to compete with me. 300 million. Yuan Bao immediately raised his paddle again, not willing to back down. In the end, Yuan Bao won the red-eyed tiger for 350 million. Lin Chen felt that Yuan Bao was more fierce than the tiger itself, spending 350 million on such a thing. Yuan Bao happily paid for the tiger, which was then placed backstage as they continued with the auction. There was no other item that interested Lin Chen. He watched with little interest, while Yuan Bao kept shouting out prices. Listening to Yuan Bao continuously raising the bids, Lin Chen felt that this guy was not as innocent as he seemed, but rather cunning. By raising the prices, those who followed suit ended up unlucky, after paying the money, he swept fiercely towards Yuan Bao and Lin Chen. Lin Chen suspected that this kid could survive to this age without being beaten to death, which was a miracle. Playing like this, aren't you afraid that one day someone will give you a beating when you go out? Lin Chen spoke up. What's there to be afraid of? Playing is all about excitement, Yuan Bao smirked, pinching his chin. Chen Gu, look at their fierce little eyes, TSK TSK, Lin Chen. The next item appeared, instantly catching Lin Chen's attention. This item was useful. One of the rare materials for Moon Ying's advancement, the Yin Tea Fruit. After the host introduced and quoted the price, Lin Chen raised his sign first, 3.5 billion. 5 billion, a voice from the front came without hesitation. 6 billion. Lin Chen glanced over and directly bid, determined to get the Yin Tea Fruit. 8 billion, the voice from the front came again, glancing sideways towards the back, my Wang family has set their eyes on this tea fruit, please do not mislead yourself. Upon hearing this, Yuan Bao immediately became unhappy, daring to threaten his brother. Chen Gu, let the brother handle it. Consider these as an advance payment for my next beast advancement plan. Yuan Bao looked at Lin Chen and immediately raised his sign, shouting, 20 billion. Are you trying to make an enemy of my Wang family, the? Voice in front sounded dark with a hint of coldness. This person was the second young master of the Wang family, 
here specifically for the Yin tea fruit, a key material needed for his beast's advancement. Joke, what can your Wang family do? My Yuan family is not afraid of you, Yuan Bao's tone was full of disdain, showing no fear of the threat from the second young master of the Wang family. Yuan family, humph, then let's see who's stronger. Wang Defa clenched his fist, making a cracking sound, and coldly said, 22 billion. The Yuan family and the Wang family were never on good terms. Although there were no major conflicts on the surface, there were constant minor frictions behind the scenes. Do you have the strength to compete with my Yuan family financially? Yuan Bao sneered, showing extreme arrogance in his tone, raising his sign again, 30 billion. 35 billion. 50 billion. When Yuan Bao uttered the price of 50 billion, the whole room fell silent, you could hear a pin drop. Everyone was shocked, knowing that the Yuan family in Luo Bay was wealthy, but they didn't expect them to be this wealthy. Wang Defa's eyes seemed to be on fire, but he did not continue to bid. 40 billion was already his limit, and 50 billion was beyond his own capacity unless he used his family's funds. And judging by the Yuan family's attitude, 50 billion was not the end. Wang family old dog, why stop now? Yuan Bao flicked the cigarette ash, mocking in his tone, you toughened up and then softened, this won't do, have some tiger whip to strengthen yourself. Wang Defa was furious, about to slam the table. A follower sitting beside him quickly advised in a low voice, second master, calm down, we'll teach him a lesson outside, we can't afford to fight here. Humph. Wang Defa slightly calmed his anger, snorted, stood up and flicked his sleeve, let's go. His face slapped loudly, continuing to stay would only be embarrassing. Seeing Wang Defa leaving with his two followers, Yuan Bao whistled like a rogue, Wang family old dog, running away with your tail between your legs, TSK TSK. The anger that had just subsided was reignited by Yuan Bao's words, Wang Defa glared fiercely at Yuan Bao, firmly remembering this person from the Yuan family. He would give this kid a bloody lesson later, although he couldn't match the Yuan family in terms of financial resources, his Wang family had a slight edge in terms of combat power. This kid was arrogant, right? He would snatch your treasure in a while and leave you half dead. Yuan Bao hummed a tune and paid 50 billion dragon coins, walking back to his seat with a box containing the Yin tea fruit in a nonchalant manner. Shen Gu, this is for you, Yuan Bao smiled and handed the box to Lin Chen, this thing is of no use to him. One is to build a good relationship with Lin Chen, and the other is to humiliate the Wang family's old dog. Thank you, Lin Chen said solemnly to Yuan Bao. This is a 5 billion yin tea fruit. If Yuan Bao wasn't here today, with the dragon coins he has now, he would have to watch the yin tea fruit being taken away. Although he and Yuan Bao have a transaction for advancing the beast, he really likes Yuan Bao's character, he is a destined person. Don't be polite with me, we are brothers, and you have to help me. Before Yuan Bao could finish, the ringtone from his pocket suddenly rang. Taking out his phone and looking at the caller ID, Yuan Bao's face changed drastically, showing extreme panic. What's wrong with you? Seeing Yuan Bao's abnormality, Lin Chen asked suspiciously, why do you look like you've eaten two pounds of overnight poop? Just now everything was fine, but with one phone call, it became so strange. Could it be that Yuan Bao's loan for the fruit is overdue? It shouldn't be, with his looks, TSK TSK. My sister called. Yuan Bao's face turned pale, took a deep breath, and answered the call. Yuan Bao. Are you fooling around again outside? I see you must be itching for trouble. A cold female voice came from the phone, with a hint of anger in her tone. It's a misunderstanding, sister, I was definitely doing legitimate business today, Yuan Bao said mournfully. You still know how to do legitimate business? Tell me, how did 5 billion suddenly disappear from your card? Isn't it for your beast to advance, sister? Your little brother came out to find a suitable advancement master for you. You're making up stories, keep going. No, sister, this advancement master is amazing. You know my alpaca, he successfully advanced it in one go. Really? You're not lying to me? The cold female voice softened slightly, incredulous. Do I look like I dare to lie to you? Yuan Bao said weakly. I guess you wouldn't dare. Did you spend the 5 billion on the advancement master? 
Hee <laughs> hee, not really, I met someone from the Wang family at the auction, and I used the 5 billion to slap their faces. Yuan Bao became excited when talking about this, looking very pleased with himself. Okay, I got it. After saying that, the call was hung up, and Yuan Bao breathed a sigh of relief as if he had been granted a reprieve. Yuan Bao, you seem really afraid of your sister. Although the phone call was not loud, Lin Chen sitting next to Yuan Bao could hear it clearly. Yuan Bao silently raised a middle finger and continued to look at the auction items. After the auction ended, Lin Chen and Yuan Bao did not continue to browse the black market, but left directly. Stepping out of the customs shop, they saw dozens of beast masters outside commanding beast battles. The location of the customs shop was remote, with few residents around. The abandoned houses were shattered by the aftermath of the beast battles. Sis! What are you doing here? Yuan Bao shouted to a woman in a light blue skirt. This woman was only in her twenties, with delicate skin, standing tall and slender, her almond eyes exuding coldness, and her black hair cascading down her shoulders like a waterfall. At this moment, she was commanding the beasts in battle with raised jade arms, and although her proud peaks were bound, they continued to sway with her movements. You slapped the Wang family's face at the auction, if I didn't come to pick you up, could you make it back? The woman glanced at Yuan Bao and said indifferently, Do you not know what kind of people the Wang family is? Don't just stand there, come over quickly. Is this your sister? From your expression, I thought she was a tigress. Looking at the coal-faced woman, Lin Chen activated his insightful eyes. Name, Yuan Shui, occupation, talented beast master, talent, ice amplification, S enhances affinity with ice type beasts, each time the contracted ice type beast advances, all attributes increase by an additional 100 points, and skill power permanently increases by 20%. Mind perception, S hidden can communicate with beasts, ferocious beasts, through the mind. Imperial Beast, Frost Moon Snow Fox Level 55, Silver Tier, Night Ice Kite Level 50, Bronze Tier, Hey, how do you like it, Jin Gu, isn't it beautiful? Yuan Bao chuckled and pulled Lin Chen, help a brother out and go beat up those one family members? Hmm. Lin Chen made an okay gesture and raised his hand, a silver-white magic array appeared. The reason why the Yuan family will clash with the Wang family is partly because of him, Lin Chen must help out in this situation. Master Yuing affectionately called out, lingering by Lin Chen's side. Looking at the imperial beast summoned by Lin Chen, Yuan Bao's face was full of confusion. Chen Gu, is this your imperial beast? Yuan Bao pointed at Yuing, asking hesitantly. This is a dragon, mysterious and powerful, a destructive existence when grown. Lin Chen, hidden and talented, not only has a knack for advancing imperial beasts, but also has a dragon. Such a person will definitely become a big shot in the future, maybe even become the 11th National Guardian God. It seems like it's time to hold onto his thigh tightly, success is just around the corner. Lin Chen nodded, looking at Yuan Bao as if he were an idiot. It's obvious that Yuing was summoned by him, so Yuan Bao's brainless question was unnecessary. Chen Gu is awesome, I'll follow you from now on. Yuan Bao excitedly grabbed Lin Chen's hand, Chen Gu, what do you think of my sister, how about becoming my brother-in-law? Lin Chen Yuan Bao, I'm serious, Chen Gu, think about it? Lin Chen Yuan Bao, my sister is a school flower, a goddess-level figure, and my family is wealthy now, consider it, Chen Gu. Lin Chen, horrified, your sister seems like she wants to kill you. Yuan Bao's voice was not quiet, although Yuan Shui couldn't hear clearly, she caught the word brother-in-law. Ha! Huh? Yuan Bao looked puzzled, seeing Yuan Shui glaring at him with a murderous look, he shivered in an instant. Think about it, Chen Gu, I'll go fight first. Yuan Bao raised his hand and summoned the thunderstorm fire camel, rushing towards the battlefield in a flash of smoke. Yuing, meow meow, let's join in the fun too. Shaking his head helplessly, Lin Chen led Yuing and meow meow towards the battlefield. Wang Defa looked at Yuing, a hint of greed in his eyes. This imperial beast seems to be the dragon that Wang Xin mentioned, and this person is Lin Chen. Wang Defa knew about Yuing, it was he who arranged for the enforcement bureau. Wang Xian was like a son to him, more accurately, his son. On a dark and stormy night, he and his sister-in-law met. 
Of course, his eldest brother Wang Degui was unaware of these things. You, and you, go deal with that kid, I want that dragon to live no matter what. Wang Death appointed to two subordinates and ordered, then commanded his imperial beast to launch an attack. Yes. The two subordinates immediately withdrew from the battle group upon receiving the order, each leading their own imperial beast towards Lin Chen's position. Oh, two of them are coming at once, quite a face-saving move. Watching the two imperial beast masters rushing towards him, Lin Chen smirked. One of the imperial beasts was a level 51 silver tier tusker elephant, and the other was a level 43 bronze tier exploding tooth rat. Yuang, I'll leave the silver tier one that looks like a ground tank to you, meow meow, you deal with the bronze tier. Rat. Lin Chen quickly gave instructions. Yes, master. Yuang responded decisively. Watch closely, my cat-catching rat is my specialty. Miao Miao nodded, reaching out to Lin Chen, Master, give me Dawn. He was very handy with Dawn, and with it in hand, Miao Miao felt his combat power increase by at least 20%. Soon, Yuing and Miao Miao were locked in battle with the two Imperial Beasts. Although Yuing and Miao Miao were only at level 25 Black Iron tier, their actual overall attributes were no weaker than those of advanced Imperial Beasts, especially in the full moon, Mooning has consumed countless energy crystals and attribute fruits. Mooning is not at all inferior in the battle against the level 51 Silver tier Fangtusker, possessing the ability to fly and maintaining the upper hand. The two Beast Masters exchanged a glance, and two magic arrays appeared once again. Hellhound, you go attack that kid. Stormhound, assist from the side, don't let that kid escape. The two orders were instantly given, and the two beasts that received the command bypassed the battlefield and headed straight for Lin Chen. Watching the two beasts charging towards him, Lin Chen showed no fear in his eyes, using his insightful eyes to scan the panels of the two beasts. The Hellhound is at level 26 bronze tier, and the Stormhound is at level 20 black iron tier. Mooning and Miao Miao wanted to go back to help, but Lin Chen stopped them as he wanted to test his current strength. Although they were looking back, goodbye, see you later. He seemed to understand why Yuan Bao was so scared, it must be tough with such a sister. Standing up, he brushed off the dust on his body. Yuan Shui watched Lin Chen's back, clenched her fists, and thought to herself. Lin Chen carried the shadow demon sword and continued to chase after the stormhound, ending its life with a flurry of sword strikes. The battle between Yuing and Miao Miao continued. Taking out the wind feather bow and two arrows from the spatial bracelet, Lin Chen aimed at the two beast masters. Swish. Swish. After two sounds, the two beast masters fell to the ground. A terrifying hole exploded in their chests from the wind feather bow arrows, clearly beyond survival. Seeing their masters fall, the two beasts became enraged, their attacks losing their precision. Seizing an opportunity, Miao Miao first took down the Rampaging Tooth Rat. With the Rampaging Tooth Rat defeated, Yuing and Miao Miao cooperated to kill the Silver Tear Tusker. As the battle raged on, Lin Chen narrowed his eyes, a plan forming in his mind. He could turn invisible and silently take out these royal beastmasters. With that, the battle would soon come to an end. Thinking this, Lin Chen stored the Wind Feather Bow in the Spatial Bracelet, took out a regular dagger, and then stored Yuing in the beast space. With a thought, he activated invisibility. Lin Chen's figure disappeared in an instant. Yuan Shui, watching Lin Chen disappear, was shocked, her face full of question marks. This disciple, how did he suddenly vanish? Just as a royal beast master was about to command his beast, a cold light appeared out of nowhere. The beast master's eyes widened as he clutched his neck tightly. A large amount of blood flowed from his fingers, and he collapsed to the ground. The beasts, now without their master's command, were quickly dealt with by the Yuan family beast masters. In this way, one by one, the royal beast masters inexplicably died while clutching their necks. A mysterious atmosphere enveloped the entire battlefield. The royal beast masters were filled with fear, while the Yuan family beast masters were full of fighting spirit, despite not knowing what was happening. Wang Defa naturally noticed the situation on the battlefield and ordered everyone to retreat. The Yuan family seemed to have used some kind of sorcery, and continuing like this could lead to their downfall. Although face and reputation were important, they were nothing compared to life. 
With Wang Defa's retreat, the war naturally came to an end. The Yuan family did not pursue further, this skirmish was manageable, but if Wang Defa had been killed, it would have escalated into an all-out war. After Wang Defa's retreat, Lin Chen emerged from behind some ruins and deactivated his invisibility. Chen Gu, if my guess is correct, you're the one who killed those royal beastmasters, right? After storing the thunderstorm fire camel in the beast space, Yuan Bao put his arm around Lin Chen's shoulder and whispered, I saw you suddenly disappear earlier. Yes. Lin Chen nodded. Since he had been discovered, there was no need to hide. Chen Gu, you've been a great help today. Without you, I don't know how many beast masters from our Yuan family would have died or been injured. Yuan Bao's admiration for Lin Chen grew, and he invited him again, Chen Gu, why not come to my Yuan family? I'll introduce you to my sister. Lin Chen. Yuan Bao flattered, you're so talented, I'm sure my dad would be pleased to have you as his son-in-law. Lin Chen waved his hand, I have something to do later. We can talk when I have time. He wasn't interested in that woman. Though she seemed gentle, she was as cold as ice, whoever marries her will have no regrets in this life. All right, Chang, you must come to my house when you have time. Seeing Lin Chen refuse, Yuan Bao smiled flatteringly, we'll keep in touch by phone. Anyway, there's plenty of time in the future, so it doesn't matter now. After leaving, Lin Chen headed straight for the outskirts of the city. With the misty long robe on, passing through the city gate felt as easy as going home. This time, Lin Chen didn't let Yu Ying continue deeper, but instead teamed up with Miao Miao on the outskirts to kill ferocious beasts, obtain crystal cores, and energy magic crystals. The cooperation between Yu Ying and Miao Miao was already quite tacit, so Lin Chen was reassured. After a sleepless day and night, feeling drowsiness creeping in, Lin Chen lay down on Yu Ying's head and entered dreamland. Upon waking up again, Lin Chen found himself lying in a tree hollow. Yu Ying was sleeping soundly by his side, while Miao Miao sat in front of the tree hollow, holding a blade of grass in its mouth and scratching the ground with its claws. Taking out his phone, Lin Chen glanced at the time. It was already early the next day. Good morning, Miao Miao. Lin Chen tiptoed out of the tree hollow, as Yu Ying was still asleep, so he spoke softly. Good morning, master. Miao Miao put the blade of grass back in its waist, raised its paw, and greeted Lin Chen. Seeing Miao Miao looking like it hadn't. Fully woken up, Lin Chen let it continue resting. Since it was still early, being energetic would help in combat. Opening his phone, the signal outside the wall wasn't great. He saw two friend requests on the chat app, one from Yuan Bao. The other Lin Chen didn't know, so he directly clicked reject. Time flew by, and before he knew it, it was 7 in the morning. After breakfast, Lin Chen rode Yuing to a location not far from the wall of Luo Bay City. After storing Yuing in the beast space, he hugged Miao Miao and activated invisibility, entering Luo Bay City. Lin Chen took out his phone, opened the map app, and searched for the location of the Dragon Element Secret Realm. The Dragon Element Secret Realm was located in the West City District, a distance away from his current location. Guided by the map, Lin Chen ran towards the location of the Dragon Element Secret Realm. Half an hour later, Lin Chen arrived at the location of the Dragon Element Secret Realm. A team of armed soldiers was guarding the entrance to the Secret Realm. Below were student teams led by various school principals. Each team had over 300 people, and each class teacher was taking attendance. Looking at the thousands of people, Lin Chen estimated that all the schools in Luo Bay City had come. At 8.30, the entrance to the secret realm opened. Under the command of the officers, the students orderly entered the secret realm. Lin Chen blended in stealthily at the back of class 6, not only to collect dragon blood flowers but also to deal with Song Feng and Wang Jianxiang in advance. These two bastards had caused him trouble, and he felt he owed it to himself to teach them a lesson. Since they liked playing tricks and schemes, let them taste their own medicine. Inside the dragon element secret realm, class teachers and students were summoning their beasts one after another. Colorful magic circles appeared, and various roars filled the air. However, the levels of these summoned beasts were not high. The highest level of the students' beasts was only at the silver rank, and most were recently advanced to that level. The rest were all bronze rank. 
There wasn't a single black iron rank beast, which was understandable. The school would definitely allocate spots to students with higher strength. Strengthening the strong would lead to greater strength. Only by being stronger could they strive for higher rankings in the college entrance examination and enhance the school's reputation. Led by each class teacher, the classes headed in different directions. Lin Shen hung back at the end of class 3, his eyes fixed on Song Feng and Wang Jianxiang, waiting for the right moment. Not long after, three ferocious beasts appeared in sight. The perception of these beasts was extremely keen. They naturally sensed the presence of these students and roared before launching an attack. Three fireballs flew towards the students. Lin Cheng glanced and saw that these three beasts were only at the bronze rank, levels 27 to 32. He shook his head helplessly, feeling that these three beasts weren't very bright. A bunch of mythical beasts across the way, daring to launch an attack, isn't this just giving them three crystal cores for nothing? It made him feel a bit embarrassed. Classmates, there aren't many fierce beasts, surround and kill them. Wang Jianxiang shouted loudly. Wang Jianxiang's golden tier mythical beast took the lead, and the violent flames directly pierced through those three fireballs. Gold against bronze, cannon against mosquito, Wang Jianxiang only ensured the safety of the students and did not lend a hand to help kill. With Wang Jianxiang leading the charge, the students of class 8 quickly commanded their own mythical beasts to attack the three fierce beasts. For a moment, attacks of various colors emerged one after another. Those three fierce beasts were inevitably overwhelmed by these attacks. The bodies were blown to pieces, and Lin Chen clearly saw that even a crystal core was blown out. Lin Chen's mouth curved into a smirk as he dashed towards the bodies of the three fierce beasts like a gust of wind. Bending down, reaching out, the first crystal core was in hand. Bending down, pulling out the dawn from Miao Miao's waist, Digging out the crystal core with their backs to the students, the second crystal core was obtained. Bending down, revealing half of the crystal core protruding from the body, the third crystal core was obtained. Under the cover of the misty robe, there was no movement at all. Song Feng, Chi Lei, Chen Mimi. Wang Jianxian casually called out three names. The three immediately jogged towards the bodies. Digging out crystal cores, they understood. After digging for a while, the three wore bitter expressions. The bodies were already in pieces, brains splattered. Under the torment of these three, it became even more tragic. Song Feng, do you have any crystal cores? Chi Lei shook the blood off his dagger, furrowing his brow. Not a damn thing, I've almost played the body to a pulp, didn't see anything. Song Feng stabbed the body fiercely again. Body. I don't have any either. Are there really no crystal cores in the savage beasts in this secret realm? Chen Mimi stopped her actions, hesitating. Impossible, I clearly saw the crystal cores flying. Song Feng continued to dismember the body without looking up. Could you have been mistaken? Shi Lei doubted. Impossible, I'm not blind. Song Feng retorted. Watching the actions of the three, Lin Chen's mouth curved slightly once again. Walking up behind Song Feng, he kicked his large buttocks directly. Song Feng, who was busy working, had his head plunged into the rotten flesh of the fierce beast. His front teeth hit the handle of the dagger hard. Ah, a piercing scream suddenly rang out, more miserable than losing one's own mother. Song Feng, what's wrong with you? Chi Lei hurried over, pulling Song Feng out of the flesh. Fuck your grandpa. How dare you kick me? Song Feng's mouth was bleeding profusely, his face covered in the rotten flesh of the fierce beast. With his current expression, he looked particularly ferocious, like a vengeful ghost. Bullshit, I've been looking for crystal cores all this time, how is it my fault if I help you? Shi Lei, accused by Song Feng, immediately retorted. Get the hell out of here. Song Feng, with bloodshot eyes, pushed Chi Lei hard and raised the dagger in his hand to stab him, cursing, I only have you beside me, I'll kill you. Seeing Song Feng really coming at him like a madman, Chi Lei rolled on the ground and ran towards class 8, shouting for help. Chen Mimi was so scared that her glasses fell to the ground, trembling on the side. Song Feng stood up, chasing after Chi Lei, but was tripped by Lin Chen's right foot. Lin Chen chuckled and walked towards the class 8 group, not even looking back at the struggling Song Feng. 
Taking advantage of the student's panic, Lin Chen approached the mythical beast thunderstorm saber-toothed tiger belonging to Song Feng. A cold light flashed in his hand, and a large tiger whip fell straight down. Two large tiger eggs were also cut down. Roar! 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 The thunderstorm saber-toothed tiger's eyes bulged, rolling on the ground in extreme pain, constantly howling. Blood sprayed out, even the showerhead during a bath didn't have such a fierce flow of water upon seeing the abnormality of his thunderstorm saber-toothed tiger, Song Feng no longer cared about chasing Chi Lei, and instead ran towards the rolling thunderstorm saber-toothed tiger. Thunderstorm saber-toothed tiger, what's wrong with you? Due to losing both front teeth, Song Feng's speech was extremely unclear. As he approached, he saw the thunderstorm saber-toothed tiger proudly becoming a eunuch tiger. Song Feng roared to the sky, who did this, Aleph asterisk CK your grandma. The thunderstorm saber-toothed tiger, rolling on the ground, gradually turned its eyes from white to blood red. Lin Shen, who had been watching the show, knew that this was the triggered berserk talent of the thunderstorm saber-toothed tiger. This was getting interesting. The thunderstorm saber-toothed tiger, with blood-red eyes, stood up and roared at Song Feng, followed by a claw swipe. Song Feng sat on the ground in fear, watching the claw coming towards him. Ah Ming, use flash flame blade, Wang Xin commanded the beast to attack. The thunderstorm saber-toothed tiger was directly knocked out by this attack, rolling 7 to 8 meters. Song Feng, are you okay? Wang Xian ran to Song Feng and commanded the beast to subdue the thunderstorm saber-toothed tiger. Thank you, Wang Xiao, Song Feng gasped. No need, thanks to you for what happened with Lin Chen, Wang Xian waved his hand. Hearing Wang Xian mentioning his name, Lin Chen was slightly surprised. Then he understood that Wang Xian was the mastermind behind all this. Song Feng was just a pawn he used. Quietly taking out his phone, Lin Chen activated the recording function. Wang Xiao, did you catch Lin Chen? I saw the news that he escaped, Song Feng looked at Wang Xian. Not yet, but my second uncle found him in the black market yesterday. My Wang family has sent out many experts, Wang Xian said firmly, holding a dagger at his waist. He can't escape, I must get that dragon of his. Then congratulations in advance, Wang Xiao, Song Feng flattered, involuntarily sucking in a breath at the wound on his mouth. Lin Chen's eyes turned cold, stopped recording, and walked towards a large tree. Miao Miao, take the phone and record those two bastards for me, Lin Chen ordered. No problem, master, Miao Miao took the phone and started recording. Lin Chen chose a perfect spot that could clearly capture Song Feng and Wang Shen. Then, like a gust of wind, Lin Chen appeared beside the two. He grabbed the hand of Wang Xian holding the dagger. With a swift motion, the dagger was pulled out, and Lin Chen grabbed Wang Xian's hand, stabbing it into Song Feng's heart and twisting it twice. You! Song Feng stared in disbelief, pointing at Wang Xian. With his heart pierced by the dagger, Song Feng uttered you twice before falling backward. Lin Chen smirked, released Wang Xian's. Hand. Since it was confirmed that Wang Xian was the mastermind, Song Feng, as a pawn, had no value alive. It was a perfect opportunity to make Wang Xian taste what it meant to be speechless. Murder. Wang Xian killed someone. A girl screamed in horror. This cry attracted the attention of the students who were watching the beast battle. I. I didn't. It wasn't me, Wang Xin trembled, throwing away the dagger in his hand, looking at his blood-stained hands in horror, denying repeatedly. Wang Xin, what are you doing? Song Feng was your classmate. Wang Jianxiang stepped forward, looking serious. Can the Beast family kill people at will? I took photos, Wang Xin, you wait for legal sanctions. A male student who was usually close to Song Feng took continuous photos with his phone. It really wasn't me. I didn't do it. Wang Xian hysterically shouted. I saw it with my own eyes, you killed Song Feng. The girl who first screamed pointed at Wang Xian. Looking at his accusing classmates, Wang Xian's eyes gradually turned cold. These people, they're dead, if this matter is exposed, even if he is the second son of the Wang family in Luobei, it won't work. Luobei is not only the Wang family, there are also the Yuan family, Ouyang family, and so on. 
There are definitely many people who want to take advantage of the situation. His future is bright, it cannot be ruined here. No. With a firm heart, he immediately picked up the dagger on the ground, Wang Xian was like a wild beast gone mad, all of you go to hell. The knife stabbed into the chest of the screaming girl, then fiercely pulled out. The girl widened her eyes, clutching her chest as she fell backwards, blood splattered on Wang Xian's face. At this moment, Wang Xian looked like a devil from hell. Wang Jinxiang, if you help me kill them, I guarantee you a prosperous future. My Wang family will cover all the materials for your future advancement in beast control. If not, your whole family, including you, will die. You choose. Wang Xian roared. If Wang Jianxiang helped him, none of the people present could escape. After all, Wang Jianxiang's beast control was at the golden level. Dealing with a group of students was like a tiger entering a flock of sheep. Teacher Wang, don't listen to his nonsense. Song Fang's good friend shouted, taking a few steps back. Yes, Teacher Wang, Wang Xian has already killed two classmates. He is a lunatic. A lunatic. A panicked girl said, her face pale. In Wang Jianxiang's mind, a battle was raging. Helping Wang Xian get rid of these students, extinguishing the rumors here, would lead to a bright future for himself and his family. If he didn't help, although these students might survive in this secret realm, his family, including himself, would surely face retaliation from the Wang family. Those students would eventually be slowly killed by the Wang family after leaving the secret realm. Clenching his fists tightly, Wang Jianxiang made his decision. Fine. Wang Jianxiang gritted his teeth, uttering the word through clenched teeth. Very good, Teacher Wang, you made the right decision, Wang Xian said with a sinister smile. I hope you keep your word, Wang Jianxiang took a deep breath. Don't worry, as long as you help me kill them, Wang Xian nodded. Lin Chen, who was watching from the side, did not expect things to escalate to this point. Wasn't Wang Xian seeking his own death? It was unexpected. However, Lin Chen had no intention of intervening, he had no sympathy for these people. They had never treated him well before, so why would he help them now? But in the future, seeking revenge for them might come in handy. Crimson Flame Phoenix, Dark Flame Leopard, Fiery Armor Rhinoceros. Attack! Leave none alive! Wang Jianxiang almost shouted, a tear sliding down his cheek. These students had been with him for three years, and there was some emotional attachment. But for the sake of his family, he had to apologize. The controlled beasts did not hesitate, launching their attacks one after another. The students' beasts were no match for a golden level and two silver level attacks. Screaming, crying, begging, these students and their beasts fell one after another in the sea of fire. Are you satisfied? Wang Jianxiang clenched his fists, his nails deeply embedded in his flesh. Very good, Teacher Wang, this bank card contains 100 million dragon coins for you. I, Wang Xian, keep my promises. As he spoke, Wang Xian walked towards Wang Jianxiang with a smile on his face. He handed the bank card to Wang Jianxiang and embraced him, whispering in his ear, the password is, go to hell. The dagger ruthlessly pierced Wang Jianxiang's heart, and Wang Xian viciously stirred it a few times. You, traitor. Teacher Wang, if you don't die, I won't feel at ease. Rest assured, I will take care of your wife and daughter for you, Wang Xian said with a sinister smile in Wang Jianxiang's ear, but at that moment, Wang Jianxiang was already beyond death. Ah Ming, hold back those three beasts. Wang Xian ordered, and a magic circle appeared in his hand. The beast called Ah Ming fiercely resisted the three beasts controlled by Wang. Jianxiang, Wang Xian was given a chance to escape, and he quickly took the opportunity to ride the summoned beast towards the entrance. What a beast! Lin Qin spat as he watched Wang Xian's departing figure. Wang Xian was not meant to die just yet, Lin Qin wanted him to taste the bitterness of failure first. Death was the easiest thing in this world, but Lin Qin wanted him to beg for survival and not find it. The pitiful always have something despicable about them. Lin Chen approached the body of Wang Jianxiang, closed his eyes with his hand, and said, Be a good person in your next life. He then walked over to where Miao Miao was, patted its shoulder, and signaled to stop filming. 
After putting the phone in his pocket, Lin Chen picked up Miao Miao again, collected the crystal core of the dead beast, and left the place. His main purpose for coming here was still the dragon blood flower. The video was an unexpected gain, and it would surely be enough to make Wang Xian regret his actions. To eliminate all his classmates and even the teacher, he truly lived up to his noble background, showing no mercy. The dragon element secret realm was indeed a newly discovered place with an abundance of materials. You could find several plants within a few hundred meters. However, there were also many fierce beasts guarding these materials. Although their levels were not high, if a student encountered them alone, the outcome would be uncertain. But for Lin Chen, there was no pressure at all. The fierce beasts couldn't see him, nor could they sense his presence. He moved freely among them. Lin Chen confidently approached a fierce beast, bent down, picked up the material at his feet, and stored it in his spatial bracelet with a single thought. The fierce beast widened its eyes in disbelief. It had been guarding the material for so long, only to see it disappear right in front of its eyes. It was baffled. The fierce beast roared, continuously digging at the spot where the material had grown. After digging for a while, what was once a small pit had turned into a three-meter irregular large pit. But it found nothing but soil and stones. Dejected, the fierce beast sat down, sighed deeply, looking as if it had lost its wife. Master, the fierce beast looks so pitiful. Meow meow whispered. Hmm. Lin Chen hesitated. I think, to prevent it from being so pitiful, we should store its crystal core along with that material. Meow meow rubbed its chin, eyes gleaming. Lin Chen, I don't often see such kindness in a cat. Meow Meow sighed, do you have a misunderstanding of the word kindness? Lin Chen, are you misunderstanding the word kindness? Meow Meow, I'm helping the beast for its happiness. Look at its desperate expression. It's better for it to reunite with that material. Makes sense, one minute. No problem. Meow Meow jumped out of Lin Chen's arms and stealthily approached behind the fierce beast. After a piercing scream, the crystal core and the material reunited. They would never be separated again, always together, inseparable, bound by fate, accompanying each other for life, sharing life and death, facing challenges together. Meow meow, you've attracted the fierce beasts. Lin Chen watched the rising dust and trembling ground around him, his face darkening. Meow meow. Lin Chen picked up meow meow again, and they disappeared from the spot. As they moved forward, the number of fierce beasts increased, along with their levels. In this area, silver was common, bronze was worthless, and occasionally, you could encounter a couple of golden tier beasts. After stealing another material in the same manner, Lin Chen asked, Meow Meow, don't you find this fierce beast pitiful? Meow Meow shook its head. This one looks just as pitiful as the previous one. How can you be so indifferent? Lin Chen raised an eyebrow. Helping beasts should be within your capabilities. If it's beyond your abilities, then. Meow Meow explained firmly. Speak in human language. Lin Chen was exasperated. I can't beat it. Meow Meow shrugged. Lin Chen, one person and one cat were idly wandering around, unknowingly. Lin Chen came to a big river, spanning hundreds of meters. The water was very clear. No fish. Many fierce beasts. On the opposite bank of the river was a sea of blood red flowers, and Lin Chen had a hunch that it should be the dragon blood flower. Judging by the quantity, there were at least thousands or tens of thousands of them. However, a problem arose, he couldn't swim. Even dog paddling in shallow water could barely keep him afloat, but he would sink in the center of the river. Lin Chen, meow, I have a question for you. Meow, go ahead. Lin Chen stroked the cat's head, if your mom and I fell into the river, who would you save first? Meow answered without hesitation, you. Lin Chen was surprised, don't you need to consider it? Shouldn't you make a choice? Meow coldly snorted, my mom is gone, no choice. Lin Chen nodded, I understand. With that, Lin Chen jumped into the river. Instantly, water splashed, and Lin Chen began to drown. Gurgle, gurgle, gurgle. Gurgle, gurgle. Gurgle. 
With the buoyancy of the river, Lin Chen managed to stay afloat. However, his situation was not good, he felt the river was deep and he could sink at any moment, relying only on Miao. There were too many fierce beasts nearby, and summoning Yuing would definitely expose him, likely leading to being surrounded and attacked. Lin Chen urged, Miao, push me to swim faster, our goal is the opposite bank. Cough. Miao grabbed Lin Chen's robe and climbed onto his face, coughed a few times, and said, I can't swim. I'm not a dog. It's not natural for me. Lin Chen frowned, then why did you say you would save me if we fell into the river? I thought you could swim. I would call an ambulance for you. Get lost. You might as well call a hearse for me. Well, that works too, a car is a car, they all have four wheels. Lin Chen took a deep breath, then jumped into the river, with Miao still on his face. Lin Chen felt like 10,000 grass mud horses were galloping in his heart. Fortunately, the misty robe was waterproof, and the water beast swimming around him ignored Miao on his face. Lin Chen grabbed the tail of a water beast. The water beast felt itchy at the acupoint and kicked its hind legs. Then it swam forward as if nothing had happened. Lin Chen felt that the direction the water beast was swimming was towards the opposite bank of the river. Dangerous Aura The Miao Miao tugged at Lin Chen's pants leg, looking serious. It's quite dangerous, we can't beat any of them. Lin Chen shrugged and said frankly. In that case, the Miao Miao looked at Lin Chen. Well, they can't see me anyway, let's go. Lin Chen picked up the Miao Miao and activated invisibility with a thought. Earlier, Lin Chen had fainted, causing the invisibility effect to automatically disappear, otherwise the Miao Miao might have grown old and lonely in that place. That's the plan. The Miao Miao agreed. Nonsense, you just want to run away with me. Lin Chen patted the cat's head. Miao Miao, it's to prevent you from getting into trouble, master. Lin Chen. Passing by these young dragons, they paid no attention to Lin Chen's passing, but when they passed a platinum tier young dragon, it slightly raised its head and looked towards Lin Chen's position. Seeing the movement of the platinum tier young dragon, Lin Chen frowned slightly. The appearance of this platinum tier young dragon clearly indicated that it sensed something. However, Lin Chen just passed by without any other action, and the platinum tier young dragon looked at him for a moment before turning away. It seems that the misty robe only works on golden tier and below fierce beasts. Lin Chen thought to himself. But this was reasonable, after all, the quality of the misty robe was only golden tier. It was not surprising that beings above the golden tier could sense it, and if it could shield all senses, then the quality of the misty robe would not be limited to just gold tier. In any case, for now, it was enough for him. Platinum tier fierce beasts were not so common, entering this realm was just an accident, once the strength of the moon is increased, it might be possible to produce an even higher quality misty cloak. Walking along the way, Lin Chen secretly collected some materials. As for the place where the platinum tier exists, Lin Chen directly passed by quickly without stopping at all. Time passed quickly, and before he knew it, the sky had darkened. However, Lin Chen's vision was not affected, not to mention Miao Miao, whose eyesight was very strong. A majestic palace appeared in front of Lin Chen. After scanning the surroundings, Lin Chen did not find any ferocious beasts. Master, I feel a sense of rejection from this palace, Miao Miao's body trembled slightly. Feeling the trembling of Miao Miao in his arms, Lin Chen frowned. Why didn't he feel anything? Could it be that this palace repels ferocious beasts from approaching? No wonder there were no ferocious beasts around here, it seemed like this palace was up to something. Lin Chen walked another 50 meters forward, and Miao Miao's body trembled even more violently. The trembling was even more intense than shaking. Lin Chen became more and more curious about what was inside the palace that could make ferocious beasts so fearful. Master, I... Miao Miao stuttered. I know, you go rest in the moon's alternate space first, Lin Chen patted the cat's head and summoned the moon. Master Moon, when summoned, affectionately called out, appearing very pleased. Ha! Huh? The current state of moon was completely different from Miao Miao's, what was going on? Lin Chen was puzzled. Moon was actually considered a ferocious beast, 
So why did Moon seem so indifferent to everything? Moon, you first enter the alternate space door, Lin Chen ordered. After considering for a while, it seemed like Miao Miao couldn't be left outside in this state. The child was all ruffled up. Okay. As soon as the words fell, a silver-white circular door appeared out of thin air, and a strong suction force appeared, sucking Miao Miao into the alternate space door. After Miao Miao entered, the alternate space door disappeared. Master, I have a very familiar feeling about this palace, and I feel like I know this place very well. Moon said with a tilted head. Familiar? Lin Chen was confused. He had personally witnessed Moon hatch from an egg, and Moon's beast egg was different from ordinary ones. In other words, it was the product of hundreds of beast eggs fused together. How could Moon be familiar with this place? It was really strange. Yes, a very familiar feeling. Moon nodded, looking quite serious. Lin Chen, did you dream about it? Moon shook its head, no, my dreams are all about you, master. Lin Chen, did you eat all the honey I hid? Moon looked puzzled. Eat more. Lin Chen generously conjured a half-human-sized bucket of honey from the spatial bracelet and pointed, don't be shy, it's all yours, go ahead and eat. Looking at the honey that appeared, Moon looked puzzled. Although not understanding, it still drank like a dragon. The sticky honey turned into columns and was sucked into Moon's mouth. This suction power is amazing. Lin Chen nodded repeatedly while stroking his chin. Burp when the bucket of honey was empty, Moon burped, feeling dizzy and fell on Lin Chen's shoulder. Patting Moon's head, Lin Chen carried Moon towards the palace. Arriving in front of the palace, Lin Chen looked at the towering gate and pushed hard, but the gate didn't budge. Could it be that the opening method is wrong? Lin Chen frowned, his fingers hooked onto the door seam and pulled to the sides. Despite using all his strength, the gate remained motionless. Can't get in. Lin Chen sat on the ground, rubbing his chin, trying to figure out how to get in. With his current strength, he could easily break through a security door, so although this gate looked tall and heavy, it should show some sign of movement. It seemed that there was a method to open the door, and it couldn't be forced open. Burp Burp do you want to go in? Burp Yueying shook her head, the honey was too sweet, making her dizzy. Just as she was starting to recover, she saw Lin Chen pondering and couldn't help but ask, hmm. Lin Chen nodded. I have a burp way burp. Yueying said as she burped, then staggered towards the door. Lin Chen watched as Yueying flew to the center of the door. She extended a dragon claw and pressed it above. The door then emitted a dazzling silver light, and Yueying also emitted a silver light. Compared to the door, Yueying appeared brighter, extremely dazzling in the dim night. Click, click, click. The door retracted to the sides, Yueying retracted her dragon claw, flew towards Lin Chen, and landed steadily on his shoulder. Burp burp we can burp go and now Lin Chen. Yueying, have some water first. Listening to Yueying's words, Lin Chen felt a headache. It sounded awkward no matter how he heard it. He took out a bucket of farmer's punch from his spatial bracelet. With a clink 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 sound, Yueying finished the farmer's punch in one gulp. Master, I don't feel like burping anymore. After drinking the water, turned her head and blinked her big eyes. You can unlock the seal? Lin Chen was astonished. Yes, Yueying nodded, I can unlock the seal of this thing with my blood. That voice told me so. A voice? Lin Chen could be sure that there were only him and Yueying here, no other creatures. So where did this voice come from? Thinking this, Lin Chen's gaze suddenly fell on the small platform. Could it be? Is it this? Staring at the scroll on the small platform, Lin Chen's brain raced. What was the purpose of letting Yueying unlock the seal of the Dragon Domain Sacred Scroll? He was considering whether to let Yueying open it. Would it bring destruction or opportunity after opening it? Forget it, let's take a gamble. Lin Chen made up his mind, his eyes gradually firm. Yueying, being a Dragon Clan member, had a greater chance of opportunity compared to destruction. Plus, with his luck, theoretically nothing should go wrong. Yueying, unlock the seal of the scroll, Lin Chen ordered. 
Yue Ying nodded, and with a wind blade cutting through her dragon claw, drops of crimson dragon blood continuously dripped onto the scroll. The scroll absorbed the dripping dragon blood, emitting bursts of bright red light. The golden rope binding on it broke, and the scroll slowly unfolded. Yue Ying retracted her dragon claw, and a phantom image appeared on the unfolded scroll out of thin air. It was a dragon, a dragon that looked similar to Yue Ying. Its whole body was a bright silver color, with eyes exuding a dominating aura, but when looking at Yue Ying, its eyes softened. Activating the insightful eye, Lin Chen scanned this phantom, and the panel information instantly appeared. Name, Silver Frost Shimmering Moon Dragon, Remnant Soul, Gender, Female Sign, Attribute, All, Aptitude, Mythical, Level, 300-300, Mythical, Talent, Replication, Skill, Stellar Brilliance, Lin Chen's mind was a bit overwhelmed. He remembered that Zhui Ying was not the only Silver Frost Shimmering Moon Dragon. But then he understood that this Silver Frost Shimmering Moon Dragon was just a remnant soul and not a complete entity. Looking at her loving eyes, could it be that she was Yue Ying's mother? The more Lin Shen thought about it, the more possible it seemed. The remnant soul of the Silver Frost Shimmering Moon Dragon transformed into a woman. The woman had a cold face, bright eyes, and white teeth. A silver dragon-shaped hairpin was on her forehead, and 3,000 silver threads draped behind her. Against the backdrop of a pure white long dress, she looked immaculate and holy, like a fairy descending to the mortal world. My daughter, it's been a long time. The woman floated down and gently touched Yue Ying's cheek with her jade-like hand. Unexpectedly, this was indeed Yue Ying's mother. Hearing the woman's address, Lin Chen confirmed his guess. So this woman was the ruler of the dragon domain, making Yue Ying the princess of the dragon domain. Lin Chen never expected Yue Ying to have such a background. Yue Ying tilted her head, looking puzzled, and stared at the woman dumbfoundedly. Why were you sealed in this scroll? Lin Chen asked. The woman turned around, looked Lin Chen up and down, and asked back, Are you my daughter's beast tamer? That's right, Lin Chen nodded. Thank you. The woman placed her right hand on her chest and bowed to Lin Chen, if it weren't for you, my daughter wouldn't know how long she would have to stay in that sealed place. It's nothing, tell me your story? Lin Chen waved his hand. My name is Yu Eli. I was the ruler of the dragon domain. A thousand years ago, there was a rebellion on the planet where I was, and the leader of the dark dragon clan attacked and severely injured me. They joined forces with other rebel leaders and launched a massive attack. The army I controlled was almost completely wiped out in that war. With the sacrifice of several leaders, we managed to break through the encirclement and arrive here, but the Dark Dragon Clan was determined to eradicate us. In desperation, I had to seal away my daughter and a strand of my soul, and then engage in a bloody battle with the leaders and the Dark Dragon Clan until my demise, the woman recounted the past with a tone of sorrow. What about these stone statues, what's the story behind them? Lin Chen pointed to the group of stone statues surrounding the circular platform with bowed heads. These are the descendants of those leaders, the last hope, she replied. Descendants? The last hope? Lin Chen was puzzled. How could these piles of stones be considered hope? Could these stones even fight? Was it possible that the remnant soul left by Moon Ying's mother was not quite right in the head? Yes, the woman nodded. With a wave of her hand, a vast power spread out, causing the standing stone statues to tremble slightly, and even the ground beneath them to shake. The intact stone statues began to crack and then burst open, releasing dragons of various colors. Lin Chen rubbed his eyes as he watched the scene, finding it all too unreal. Dragons were actually coming out of the stones. It was simply unbelievable. With trillions of dragons, they possessed such formidable strength. Radiant Dragon Clan Xingyang, leading 3,621 clan members, pay respects to the Holy Lord. Snow Dragon Clan Ningfrost, leading 2,142 clan members, pay respects to the Holy Lord. Celestial Dragon Clan Karloki Yao, leading 2,625 clan members, pay respects to the Holy Lord. Charm Dragon Clan Sigril Chin, leading 1,159 clan members, pay respects to the Holy Lord. Barbaric Dragon Clan Huang Lei, leading 912 clan members, pay respects to the Holy Lord. 
Sky Dragon Clan The dragons that emerged from the broken stone statues transformed into human forms and lined up in neat formations, their eyes burning as they looked towards the circular platform. Each formation had a commander at the forefront, with their right hand across their chest, reporting to Moonly Lin Chen's insightful eyes scanned these dragon clans, noting that apart from the front commanders being at the platinum level, the rest were at the gold and silver levels. These dragons seemed to have relatively low ranks, he had thought that at least each one would be at the diamond level. Why are their ranks so low? Lin Chen asked Moon Li with a puzzled expression. Hmm. Mooning looked puzzled. Can you see what ranks they are? It's my talent, Lin Chen replied casually. You are quite extraordinary, Moon Li nodded thoughtfully. They are still in their youth, so their ranks are not high, but their potential is extremely high, offering hope for the future. Are you suggesting that Mooning will lead them back to the dragon domain in the future? Lin Chen asked, rubbing his chin. If possible, of course, I do not insist on it, Moon Li first nodded and then shook her head. I just hope that my daughter and these children can live peacefully. You are becoming more faint, Lin Chen reminded as he watched Moon Li's fading figure. Since Moon Li waved her hand earlier, Lin Chen had noticed, but now the speed was increasing. I know, my time is running out, Moon Li lightly laughed, two shallow dimples appearing. Next, I will impart some of my abilities to my daughter, and my mission will be complete. I entrust my daughter and these children to you, you seem like a good person, Moon Li said, bowing to Lin Chen once again. Turning to face Moon Ying, Moon Li raised her jade hand and placed it on Moon Ying's head. A stream of bright energy continuously flowed from Moon Li's hand into Moon Ying, causing Moon Li to fade even faster. Looks like I have a future ahead of me, Lin Chen sighed inwardly. Perhaps today's encounter was destined. Unable to escape, unable to hide. One day, he must go and see the dragon domain. After the transfer of the bright energy was complete, Moon Li's jade hand was removed from Moon Ying's head. Mother! Moon Ying's dragon eyes were teary, and two clear tears rolled down her cheeks. Moon Li had imparted not only her innate abilities but also some memories of the past, memory constantly flashed in the mind of Moon Ying, and she remembered that the person in front of her was her mother. Goodbye, my daughter. Moon Li lovingly touched Moon Ying's cheek, turned around and announced, from now on, Moon Ying is the ruler of the dragon domain. With that, Moon Li's figure turned into scattered stars, completely dissipating from the world. Mother! Moon Ying cried out in sorrow. Holy Lord! The thousands of dragon clan members under the round platform all knelt down. Moon Ying cannot be resurrected, but we will definitely go to the dragon domain. That whatever dark dragon clan will be destroyed. Lin Chen stepped forward and hugged Moon Ying, comforting her softly. Master! Moon Ying choked up. Silver light shone on the dragon's body, and Moon Ying transformed into human form. Lin Chen? Looking at the human form of Moon Ying, Lin Chen was completely puzzled. Wow, black iron tear transformation, this would scare people if it got out. What abilities did Moon Li instill in Moon Ying? Activating the inside eye, Lin Chen scanned Moon Ying's panel. Name, Silver Frostbright Moon Dragon, Moon Ying, Gender, Female Sign, Attribute, All, Aptitude, Mythical, Level, 25-300, Black Iron Tear, Experience, 0-250000, Talents, Replication, Can perfectly replicate the skills and talents of any creature for personal use nourishment, 80% of own attributes will nourish the Master Moon Goddess. Under the moonlit night, all attributes temporarily increase by 100% portal of another space, can store items, regardless of whether they have life all. Attribute God, all attribute skills power increases by 100% inheritance, inherits the host's luck value, exclusive additional talent of the host, language proficiency, can master the languages of all star domains, and communicate with any species without barriers intelligent brain, extremely high intelligence, fast learning speed, adept at research perfect transformation, disregarding level, all attributes temporarily increase by 20% after. Transformation versatile tactics, can condense weapons using attribute energy, quality equals own tier plus one blessing of the gods, during battle, there is a probability of amplifying all attributes, triggering protection when facing fatal attacks, three times remaining, mythical tier, the three new talents added have greatly boosted combat power, which is simply unbelievable. Even the previous talents have been elevated by several levels. 
Not to mention the skills, Moon Lee's skills, Mooning has basically mastered them. But whether she can use them is unclear, but overall, this is a big gain. Mastering transformation, she no longer has to worry about exposing that Mooning is a dragon. Master, my mother left me a lot of materials. Seeing Lin Shen staring at her, Mooning wiped away the tears on her face. Crying won't solve any problems, enhancing strength is the right solution. The master also said he would lead them back to the dragon domain to destroy the dark dragon clan. Revenge is a matter of time, she believes in the master. Ha! Huh? Lin Shen was surprised. Not only instilling talents, but also sending a wave of materials. Moon Li is not only beautiful but also kind-hearted. A good person, a very good person. Here. Mooning pricked her finger and drew cryptic and incomprehensible runes on the small platform. After drawing the last stroke, a bright red light shone on the entire small platform. The small platform slowly descended, revealing a passage. Master, let's go down. Mooning adjusted her mindset and smiled. Holy Lord, it's not allowed. Below is the Dragon Clan's treasure trove, how can outsiders enter? Ching Yang leaped onto the round platform and bowed to Mooning. Impudent, he is my master, not an outsider. Mooning turned around, her eyes cold, my master is more important than my life. If you treat me as the Holy Lord, you must obey my master's orders. My master's orders are my orders. This. Ching Yang lowered his head, yes, Master Ching Yang greets the master. And you. Moon Ying's gaze swept over the audience, her tone stern. Greetings, Master, Holy Lord. The crowd of Dragon Clan members under the round platform immediately knelt down, holding their right fists in front of their chests. Lin Chen's mouth twitched slightly, he felt that Moon Ying's momentum had changed. She was no longer as naive and cute as before, but rather determined and resolute, the current Moon Ying exudes a kind of heroic spirit, to be precise, a kind of domineering spirit. He had just seen this kind of gaze in Moon Li's eyes. Let's go, master, I'll carry you down. Mooning looked at Lin Chen, a smile appearing on her pretty face once again. Hmm. Lin Chen nodded. There was no light in this passage, pitch black all around, he really didn't know how deep it was, Mooning could fly. With Mooning around, at least he wouldn't inexplicably fall to his death. Mooning carried Lin Chen and leaped into the passage. Lin Chen couldn't see anything in this dark passage, only feeling the softness behind him and the heartbeat. After the time it takes for an incense stick to burn, light appeared in front of them, dazzling beads embedded on the walls on both sides. Just the descent alone took the time of an incense stick, Lin Chen dared not imagine how deep this passage was. Even with his physique, if he fell, he might end up disabled even if he didn't die. Master, follow me closely, there are traps ahead of the treasure chamber. Setting Lin Chen down, Moon Ying's cherry lips parted lightly. No problem. Following Moon Ying's footsteps, the two continued forward, finally stopping in front of a large door. This door is really nice, the Dragon Clan is so rich. Lin Chen looked at the two smooth and delicate doors in front of him, like Jade, couldn't help but praise, reaching out to touch them. Master, don't. Moon Ying saw Lin Chen about to touch them, hurriedly exclaimed to stop him. But Lin Chen's hand had already touched the door. Boom! A powerful energy instantly pushed Lin Chen out, heavily hitting the wall on one side, smoke filled the air, debris continuously falling. Cough, cough. Lin Chen, embedded in the wall, coughed a few times, his two arms hanging irregularly at his side, feeling like all his ribs were broken, and one even pierced into his lung. This dragon clan is poisonous, setting traps on the door. Lin Chen was at his wit's end. Seeing Lin Chen's miserable state, Mooning stood frozen in place. She didn't expect the defense on this door to be so terrifying. Master. Moon Ying's eyes reddened again, a light fruit suddenly appeared in her hand, running towards Lin Chen as if crazy. Mooning, I can't move now, first help me get it out. Sweat beads dripped down Lin Chen's forehead, his voice extremely hoarse. Okay, master, don't speak for now. Mooning quickly activated her telekinetic waves, enveloping Lin Chen within. After being extracted from the wall, he was gently placed on the ground. Seeing his master's two arms, 
Obviously unable to move, Mooning helped Lin Chen up, holding him in her arms. She plucked a life fruit, put it into Lin Chen's mouth. Chewing. Swallowing. Another chew, another swallow. With a life fruit in his stomach, the surging energy continuously repaired Lin Chen's injuries, his bones crackling all over his body. After a moment, Lin Chen moved his arms a bit, stood up again. I'm fine now. Lin Chen patted Moon Ying's head, wiped away the tears on her cheeks, don't cry anymore, or you'll turn into a meow meow. Meow meow? Okay. Mooning smiled lightly, the anxiety on her face completely disappeared. Following Mooning, Lin Chen once again arrived in front of the large door. But this time there was a distance from the door. Although he had the life fruit, the pain was unbearable. Mooning pushed slightly, and the jade-like door opened with a sound. Master? Why aren't you coming in? Mooning looked at Lin Chen still standing in place, her face full of confusion. Could there be traps inside? Lin Chen pointed to the treasure chamber. No, there aren't any more, the door was the last one. Mooning shook her head. Hearing this, Lin Chen breathed a sigh of relief and entered the treasure chamber. Looking at the various materials piled up in the treasure chamber, Lin Chen's face showed joy. Advanced materials. Lin Chen walked in and checked each of the materials in the pile. Those materials he hadn't heard of before, they were all here, even those he had already purchased. It seemed that Moon Ying's mother had prepared them for Mooning a long time ago. Well, he had been busy for nothing. However, it seems that there is no blood of fierce beasts here, only materials. Lin Chen searched for a long time but did not find the blood of fierce beasts, muttering to himself. But that was enough, he could ask Yuan Bao if there was a way to get the blood of fierce beasts. Yuan Shui was also about to advance to the level of beast tamer, so he would contact Yuan Bao once he got out of the secret realm. Lin Chen stored all these materials in the gate of the alternate space. Maybe next time, or the time after next, the materials for advancement could be found here as well. Let's go, Yuan Xing, let's go back. Master, this is for you. Yuan Xing handed Lin Chen a thumb-sized dragon-shaped jade pendant. What is this? Lin Chen took the jade pendant and examined it, but couldn't figure out what it was. A military token, it can summon those people outside. Yuan Xing said solemnly, but they cannot stay in this secret realm for too long before reaching the epic stage. Did your mother tell you this? Lin Chen asked. Yuan Xing nodded, it suddenly appeared in my memory, the military token was obtained from a small box in the treasure house. Hanging the jade pendant around his neck, Yuan Xing led Lin Chen out of the treasure house and back to the circular platform. With the escort of these dragon clan members, Lin Chen easily returned to the dragon element's secret realm. Master, Saint Lord, we can only send you here, we cannot easily leave this secret realm. Qing Yang bowed respectfully and said. They had fully accepted Lin Chen and the other dragon clan members. They were loyal followers of the Saint Lord, and their ancestors had been greatly favored by the Saint Lord. Since they were the covenanters of the Saint Lord, they were also considered their covenanters. Hmm. Lin Chen nodded, recalling Yuan Xing back into the beast taming space. With a thought, he activated invisibility and walked out of the secret realm. In the vast night, the stars twinkled. Lin Chen walked on the road and took out his phone from his pocket. He opened the messaging app and sent a message to Yuan Bao. In a moment, a reply came back. Yuan Bao, Chen Ge, what's up? Lin Chen, where are you? I need to talk to you. Yuan Bao, I'm at home, I'll call the driver, forget it, I'll come pick you up directly. Yuan Bao, Chen Ge, where are you? Send me your location. After sending his location, Lin Chen sat on the roadside waiting. In less than 10 minutes, a Rolls Royce stopped in front of Lin Chen. Yuan Bao got out of the car and looked around but didn't see Lin Chen. He scratched his head, took out his phone, and sent a message to Lin Chen. Yuan Bao, Chen Ji. I'm here, where are you? Why don't I see you? Lin Chen. With a thought, he disappeared from sight. Lin Chen appeared behind Yuan Bao and patted his shoulder. 
Oh my goodness, my chin ge, you scared me. Yuan Bao patted his chest. He opened the car door, and Lin Chen sat in the front passenger seat. Chen Ge, what's up so late? Yuan Bao asked as he drove. I want you to help me find some blood of fierce beasts, I'll pay you the original price. Lin Chen said. No need to pay, it's on me. Yuan Bao shook his head, took a deep breath, and exhaled a puff of smoke, Chen Ge, my sister added you yesterday and you rejected her. That was your sister? Lin Chen remembered the friend request he had rejected that morning, feeling a chill for some reason. Yes, she wants to advance to the level of beast tamer. Yuan Bao grinned, Xin Ji, you're so cool at advancing to the level of beast tamer, so I gave her your contact. And my dream is to have you as my brother-in-law. Lin Chen. Yuan Bao, I have a video here, can you use your family's connections to get it online? Lin Chen shook his head, took out his phone, and opened the video recorded by Miao Miao. The Yuan family was also a prestigious family, so their connections should be strong. Although he could upload the video online himself, the Wang family would try to make the video disappear and cover it up. Oh? Yuan Bao's interest was piqued by Lin Chen's words, with a mischievous smile on his face, Shen Ji Yi, is it some band content? Yes, a collection of young models, all kinds. Lin Chen glanced at Yuan Bao. Woohoo Yuan Bao slammed on the brakes, leaving a long tire mark on the ground as the Rolls Royce sped away. He quickly took Lin Chen's phone and opened a video. Yuan Bao watched the video intently, his face growing darker as he watched. Damn, this Wang Xian is truly a beast. Yuan Bao slapped the steering wheel in anger. Chen Gu, where did you get this video from? Yuan Bao asked as he handed the phone back. From the Dragon Element Secret Realm, Lin Chen replied. This Wang Xian is the scum who framed me in the first place. Chen Gu, Wang Xian is as good as dead now. Yuan Bao stepped on the gas, starting the car again. Wang Xian claimed before that the homeroom teacher and classmates were killed by ferocious beasts, and he was the only one who escaped. I never expected the truth to be like this. With this video circulating online, not even the Wang family can protect Wang Xian. He is doomed. Well then, thanks. I'll take care of your sister's advancement in controlling beasts, Lin Chen nodded. No need to thank me, brothers don't need to say thank you to each other, Yuan Bao blew a smoke ring. And the Wang family has always been at odds with our Yuan family. If something happens to the Wang family, I'd be delighted. The car soon arrived at the Yuan family estate. Tossing the car keys to a servant, Yuan Bao led Lin Chen through the gates. You're living quite luxuriously here, Lin Chen remarked. Chen Gu, why don't you move in and live with your brother? That's not a good idea, Lin Chen waved his hand. What's wrong with that? Chen Gu, don't you need the blood of ferocious beasts? Yuan Bao put his arm around Lin Chen, grinning. And you're always traveling around, while my house has many skilled masseuses, each with exceptional skills. Am I that kind of person? Lin Chen pushed away Yuan Bao's arm, pinching his fingers. You're right, I do need the blood of ferocious beasts. I'll stay for a few days then. Hee <laughs> hee, I've been waiting for you to say that. Yuan Bao beamed, waving his hand. Someone, prepare the best guest room for my brother, where he can see the sun and moon as soon as he opens his eyes. Yes, young master, several servants entered the villa to prepare a room for Lin Chen. Chen Gu, follow me, Yuan Bao led Lin Chen towards another villa. Once inside, Yuan Bao led Lin Chen through twists and turns until they stopped in front of a door. My sister is inside, Chen Gu, help her advance in controlling beasts. I'll go upload that video online. Yuan Bao chuckled and was about to leave. Why do I feel like you're acting strange? Lin Chen looked suspiciously at Yuan Bao's smile. Nonsense, I'm just thinking of uploading the video sooner so that Wang Xian's brat can meet his end sooner, Yuan Bao raised three fingers to the sky, as if making a vow. I am sincere, you can trust me. The door lock clicked, and the door opened. Chen Gu, I'm out, see you later. Yuan Bao saw Yuan Shui standing at the door and quickly ran off without looking back. Lin Chen.
Come in, Yuan Shui glanced at Lin Chen, her expression as cold as ever. Walking into the room, Lin Chen looked around at the pale pink decor emitting a faint orchid fragrance in the air. Would you like something to drink? Yuan Shui asked. No thanks, I'm afraid you'll poison me, Lin Chen shook his head and sat down on the sofa. Yuan Shui? Fine, suit yourself, Yuan Shui said impatiently. Summon the beast you want to control, let me see, Lin Chen said. Yuan Shui waved her hand, and a summoning formation appeared. The night ice kite was summoned. Little bird, come here, Lin Chen beckoned to the night ice kite, using his insightful eye to scan its panel. The night ice kite looked at Yuan Shui, who nodded. It flew to Lin Chen's feet, and Lin Chen pretended to inspect it to flip the night ice kite's eyelids for a while, then pry open its beak and pull out a few tail feathers from its butt. After some tossing around, the night ice kite almost passed out, Lin Chen clapped his hands, ink and paper are ready. As if granted amnesty, the night ice kite panicked and fled behind Yuan Shui, looking at Lin Chen in horror. It felt like the feathers on its but were almost plucked bare by the bastard in front of it. Yuan Shui looked at the miserable night ice kite, her mouth twitched slightly. She had never seen an advanced beast tamer handle the advancement of a beast like this. Nevertheless, she handed the pen and notebook that had been prepared long ago to Lin Chen. Lin Chen swiftly wrote down the advancement plan on the notebook. Yuan Shui took the notebook, browsed slightly. Furrowed. Are you sure this plan will work for advancement? Yuan Shui hesitated. If you don't believe it, just tear it up. Lin Chen shrugged. The advancement plans he provided were always the most accurate, and his insight was beyond doubt. Every time he was questioned like this, did Lin Chen have no face? It seems like you have a lot of hostility towards me. Yuan Shui put away the notebook and looked at Lin Chen. No, I just don't like being questioned by others. Lin Chen shook his head. Since I dare to write it for you, then I dare to guarantee a 100% success rate. Yuan Shui frowned, are you that confident? Even the top advanced beast tamers wouldn't dare say that, right? Have you heard of two words? Lin Chen played with his fingers. What? Yuan Shui was puzzled. Lin Chen pointed to himself, genius, that's me. Yuan Shui. How about we make a bet? Lin Chen crossed his legs. What do you want to bet on? Yuan Shui asked. If I win, you have to greet me with a smile and call me Lin Chen brother in a sweet voice whenever you see me. Lin Chen's mouth curled up. Hearing this, Yuan Shui's face immediately darkened, looking coldly at Lin Chen. If you lose, I'll kill you. Yuan Shui gritted her teeth. Deal. Lin Chen snapped his fingers. Losing was impossible, he would never lose in this lifetime. Lin Chen really wanted to see Yuan Shui's smile. Yuan Shui picked up her phone, took a picture of the notebook, and sent it to the Yuan family pharmacist on the green messenger. Yuan Shui, this advancement plan, immediately prepare a potion for me and deliver it to my room. Yuan family pharmacist, yes, miss, it will be delivered within half an hour. Closing her phone, Yuan Shui sat sullenly on the sofa opposite Lin Chen. This apprentice actually wanted her to call him brother. Wishful thinking. She hadn't settled the matter of rejecting his friend request yet, and he even touched her. Ah! Bastard! Waiting was always long, Lin Chen ignored Yuan Shui sitting across from him and took out his phone to play Happy Elimination. A notification swiped across the top of his phone, Lin Chen opened it and smirked. This notification was none other than the video taken by Miao Miao. Yuan Bao's efficiency was indeed remarkable. In just a short while, it had already become a hot search on the news. Wang Xian, oh Wang Xian, let's see how you handle this. Wang family in Luo Bay, Beast King's mansion. Wang Xian lay on the bed looking at the ceiling. Suddenly, the phone next to the pillow rang, he picked it up and saw the name displayed, immediately answered. Damn, get your ass over here right now. On the other end of the phone, Wang Degui roared like thunder. Dad, what's wrong? Wang Xian frowned, a bad feeling rising in his heart. His father had never used this tone before. 
How dare you ask me what's wrong, look at the news yourself. Killing someone and getting caught on camera, you're really a fool. How could I have such a stupid son like you? Wang Degue continued to roar, wishing he could come out of the phone and bite Wang Xian to death. Hearing this, Wang Xian's brain instantly froze. What on earth was going on? He had clearly killed everyone at that time, why would anyone know about it? I got it, I'm coming right away. Wang Xian took a deep breath and hung up the phone, opening the push notification on his phone, the video on it left Wang Xian's mind blank. The video showed the process of him taking down everyone, clearly and without missing a single detail. From Song Feng to Wang Jianxiang, including what he said, everything was recorded clearly. Who the hell is it? I left asterisk CK your uncle. Wang Xian's eyes were bloodshot, and he fiercely smashed his phone to the ground, shattering it. Breathing heavily, Wang Xian looked around the room in a mess. After venting his anger, Wang Xian straightened his clothes and headed towards Wang Degue's residence. Upon entering the room, Wang Xian found three people standing inside, his father Wang Degue, the Wang family's bodyguard Wang Yu, and an unfamiliar old man with white beard. Xian, this is Master Ji Wenchang Ji, famous for his disguise skills, Wang Degue introduced, looking at the white-bearded old man with great respect. Greetings, Master Ji. Dad, what is this about? Wang Xian bowed to Ji Wenchang, looking puzzled at Wang Degui. It's all because of you, you idiot. You and Wang Yu will switch identities, understand? Wang Degui raised his right foot and kicked Wang Xian hard, reigniting the anger that had just subsided. Wang Xian was kicked to the ground but dared not utter a word of complaint. Master Ji, forgive me for the inconvenience. I will trouble you to take action next, Wang Degui turned around, his tone respectful again. No problem, you may leave, Ji Wenchang waved his hand, pointing towards the door. Very well. After bowing to Ji Wenchang, Wang Degui left the room and closed the door. Ji Wenchang turned around, picked up a box, and began to change the appearances of Wang Xian and Wang Yu. Within ten minutes, their appearances were swapped. Ji Wenchang nodded in approval, a slight smile appearing on his lips. In Yuan Xue's room, Yi. Bing Yuan was drinking the potion just delivered by the pharmacist. Yuan Xue squatted beside Yi Bing Yuan, observing the changes, occasionally glaring at Lin Chen. Lin Chen lay on the sofa, playing happily on his phone. The atmosphere in the room was extremely eerie. Lin Chen, if little Bing fails to advance, you're in big trouble. Yuan Xue's anger kept rising as she watched Lin Chen treating the sofa as his own. You should be more worried about where you'll stay tonight. Lin Chen scratched his ear casually, his eyes still fixed on the phone screen. What do you mean? Yuan Shui was puzzled by this inexplicable statement, this was her room, so what did he mean by having nowhere to stay? Nothing, just the literal meaning. Lin Chen stood up and silently walked towards the corner of the wall. The scene of the last time the thunderstorm fire camel advanced was still vivid in his mind. The level of destruction was no less than that of a husky that had been holding it in for a month. Before Yuan Shui could speak, Yi Bing Yuan's body was surrounded by a blue light, and the bird suddenly flapped its wings and flew towards a load-bearing wall on one side like an arrow leaving the bow. Boom! The load-bearing wall was directly smashed into a large hole, and smoke rose continuously. Boom! Boom boom! Boom boom boom! Yi Bingyuan kept crashing around the room, and in a matter of moments, the once pink-themed room was riddled with holes. Yuan Shui stood there dumbfounded, watching the scene. Lin Chen! What did you do to little Bing? How did it end up like this? Yuan Shui glared at Lin Chen, who was squatting in the corner. It was the potion Lin Chen gave to Yi Bingyuan that caused this change. The effect is too awesome, it needs time to adapt and absorb, and I did remind you just now. Lin Chen shrugged, looking innocent. You! Yuan Shui stomped her foot, pointing at Lin Chen. Damn, what's this? Smells good. Lin Chen was about to play another round of the game on his phone when something fell on his head. He reached out to grab the thing that fell on his head and took a closer look. Oh my, this was serious. He looked up at Yuan Shui, then back at the bra in his hand, lost in thought. 
Seeing Lin Chen holding the bra, Yuan Shue blushed. Rushing to Lin Chen, Yuan Shue snatched her bra back. You pervert! Yuan Shue scolded. The little bird heard it, she said you're a pervert, causing trouble by knocking out people's underwear. Lin Chen pointed at Yi Bing Yuan and cursed. I say you're a pervert. Yuan Shue shouted again. Little bird, why are you causing trouble by knocking out people's underwear, see, you're being called a pervert. Lin Chen said solemnly. You? Yuan Shue's voice fluctuated, her fingers pointing at Lin Chen were trembling slightly. No need to thank me, I'm just a nameless hero passing by. Lin Chen lightly brushed his non-existent bangs, a mischievous smile curling up at the corner of his mouth. Pervert. I'll kill you. Yuan Shue threw the underwear and raised her fist to strike at Lin Chen. Before the fist reached him, Lin Chen only felt a soft fragrance in his arms. There's a stone under your foot, why don't you try again? Lin Chen's mouth twitched slightly. He clearly saw the stone rolling to Yuan Shue's feet. Let go. Yuan Shue struggled to get up, but the intense pain in her ankle made her gasp for breath. Oh. Lin Chen nodded, releasing Yuan Shue's hand. Smack. Yuan Shue slipped, making the situation even more awkward between her and Lin Chen. Yuan Shue now wished she could jump off the building immediately. Eighteen years of purity, ruined in an instant. Your posture makes me suspect you have ulterior motives against me. Lin Chen rubbed his chin earnestly. Get lost. Yuan Shue cursed angrily, enduring the sharp pain in her ankle as she sat on the side. Ah, good deeds go unrewarded. Lin Chen shook his head helplessly. I saved you, otherwise you would have hit the wall. I'd rather hit the wall. Yuan Shui gritted her teeth. Speaking harshly again, woman. Lin Chen assessed Yuan Shui's ankle, it seemed to be dislocated. Well, a good deed should be seen through to the end, let's fix it. Lin Chen was moved by his own kindness. Rolling up his sleeves, with a click, he helped Yuan Shui reset her dislocated ankle. Ah! A piercing scream echoed from Yuan Shui's mouth, reverberating through the quiet night. In another villa, Yuan Bao instantly recognized his sister's voice. He couldn't help but admire Lin Chen, who seemed to have subdued his sister. Running out of the villa, he looked towards his sister's building, only to see one big hole after another on the villa wall. Chen Gu, you're my idol, people do it in cars, but you've made the house collapse. Yuan Bao pointed towards the villa, showing deep respect on his face. All of you, get lost, don't disturb my sister in Chen Gu. Yuan Bao drove away the servants who had come running. Confused, the servants dispersed. Yuan Shui looked at Lin Chen with resentment, tears welling up in her eyes. Two lines of clear tears fell down as she cried uncontrollably, hugging her knees. She hated it, why did she have to call Lin Chen to? Advance her beast taming. This Lin Chen was simply a devil, didn't he understand how to cherish a girl? Night Bing Yuan stopped attacking, standing in the center of the room with a puzzled expression, looking at Yuan Shui and Lin Chen. You've successfully advanced in beast taming. Lin Chen poked Yuan Shui. Stop crying, I'll be gentler next time. Get lost. I don't want to see you. Yuan Shui choked pointing her finger towards the door. Fine. Lin Chen stood up, dusted off his pants. Don't forget our bet, I believe Miss Yuan is not someone who goes back on her word. With that, Lin Chen swiftly left. Hearing the door close, Yuan Shui raised her head, her eyes filled with complexity. Hoof. She wiped away her tears, stood up, and walked towards Night Bing Yuan. That annoying Lin Chen, she must get her revenge. Inside the Yuan family estate, Lin Chen strolled around. He took out his phone, opened WeChat, and sent a message to Yuan Bao. Soon, Yuan Bao appeared in front of Lin Chen, Yuan Bao flew the cigarette but, with a mischievous smile, Chen Gu, you're really amazing, you even shook my sister's villa. That was done by your sister's beast, it has nothing to do with me. Lin Chen stood with his hands in his pockets, looking up at the stars. Yuan Bao exclaimed, Fan. Chen Gu, you even went after my sister's beast, you, you're too much of a beast. Damn. 
Lin Chen slapped Yuan Bao on the back of his head, your sister's beast advanced and knocked down the house, what are you complaining about? Then what about my sister's screams? Yuan Bao asked again. Your sister dislocated her ankle, I fixed it for her. Lin Chen shrugged, looking Yuan Bao up and down, what? Do you want to try it too? No, no need. I'm afraid you'll get tired. Yuan Bao looked at Lin Chen's sharp eyes and shivered, shaking his head like a rattle drum. It's okay, how can I be called human if I'm not tired? Lin Chen chuckled and reached out towards Yuan Bao. Yuan Bao agilely dodged, and the two of them chased each other under the moonlight. After taking a bath and lying on the big bed, Lin Chen fell asleep. A night of silence. The next day, the sun was shining brightly. The sunlight shone on Lin Chen's face through the panoramic skylight. Opening his sleepy eyes, Lin Chen kicked the blanket away. Since his escape, he hadn't slept in a bed for a long time. This sleep was refreshing. After washing up and getting dressed, Lin Chen opened the door. Young Master Lin, Young Master Yuan Bao said to take you to the restaurant for breakfast when you wake up. The quiet girl in a suit bowed, revealing her snowy white cleavage. Lin Chen, it's early in the morning, what a torment. Lin Chen looked away, lead the way. Led by the girl in a suit, Lin Chen arrived at the restaurant. Yuan Bao and Yu Shue were sitting at the table. You can go down first. Yuan Bao waved off the girl in the suit and smiled at Lin Chen, Chen Gu, come sit, breakfast has just arrived, we've been waiting for you. Yu Shua blushed slightly, biting her silver teeth. After sitting down, Lin Chen rhythmically tapped the table with his fingers. The tapping sound was very soft, but it sounded like a heavy hammer on a drum to Yu Shua's ears. She did lose the bet yesterday, but how could she bring herself to say it? Especially to that annoying Lin Chen. But a loss is a loss, and Yu Shua always keeps her word. Damn Lin Chen. Lin. Lin. Lin Chen Gidge. Yu Shua couldn't bear it any longer and left the table as if fleeing. Yuan Bao, underscore. Let's eat. Lin Chen picked up the glass of milk on the table and drank it down. Chen Gu, what did my sister call you just now? Yuan Bao rubbed his ear in disbelief, I suspect my sister has been possessed. She's still your sister. Lin Shen shook his head and took a bite of sausage, it's just that she lost the bet yesterday. Wow, it had to be you, Chen Gu, cheers to this glass of milk, brother. Yuan Bao looked up to Lin Chen with admiration, raised the glass and drank it down, but my sister must hate you now, you have to be careful, Chen Gu. No big deal. Lin Chen waved his hand. After breakfast, Yuan Bao went to school. Lin Chen returned to his room and summoned Yueying. Master, where is this? Yueying looked around, curious like a baby. We're staying here for now. Lin Chen sat with his legs crossed on the chair, let Miao Miao out of the portal from the other space. Okay. Yueying nodded and opened the portal from the other space slowly. Miao Miao floated out of the portal. You? Yueying? Miao Miao was shocked when she appeared, pointing at Yueying stuttering. He couldn't be sure, but the aura emanating from Yueying was indeed that of a dragon. That's right. Yueying nodded. Aren't we both at the black iron level? How did you transform? Miao Miao questioned. It's a special talent. Yueying chuckled, walking to Lin Chen's side, Master and I had an opportunity in the secret realm yesterday, which made you all scared. Miao Miao was speechless. He expressed his envy of Yu Ying's strong abilities. Not only did she have the opportunity to transform, but her aura also seemed to have become stronger than before. All right, today is a day off, Lin Chen said. After days of consecutive battles, you all should relax and balance work with rest. Master, can I watch Pokemon? Yuing blinked her big eyes and looked at Lin Chen. No problem. And Miao Miao, do you need a computer? Miao Miao nodded. Lin Chen took out the two alien computers from the space bracelet and handed them to Yuing and Miao Miao. Yu Ying's talent for replication could replicate skills, so watching cartoons during rest could also help her learn some skills. 
It was like killing two birds with one stone. As for Miao Miao, who had been wanting to learn new skills but never had the time, now that he had some free time, he could finally study. Lin Chen leaned back in his chair, scrolling through Douyin, when a friend request notification popped up. Looking at the profile picture, he knew it was Yuan Shui. This time, he clicked accept, wondering what business the ice block had with him. Yuan Shui, Lin Chen. I want to battle you with our beasts. Seeing the message from Yuan Shui, Lin Chen rubbed his chin and typed a reply. Lin Chen, your beast is at the silver rank, while mine is only at the black iron rank. Aren't you bullying me? How did you come up with such an unfair battle? Lin Chen, I thought, big chest, no brain was just an exaggeration, but turns out it's true. Yuan Shui, get lost. You're the one with a big chest and no brain. Lin Chen, but if you provide me with some advanced materials, I might consider it. Yuan Shui, if you need materials, ask the steward. Lin Chen, oh, I didn't expect Miss Yuan to be so generous. In that case, I won't be polite. Yuan Shui, so, does that mean you agree to battle with me? And if you lose, yesterday's bet will be cancelled. How about that? Lin Chen, no problem. But what if you lose? Yuan Shui, lose? I've never lost in a beast battle. If I lose, you can ask for anything. Lin Chen, looks like you'll have to give in to me this time. Yuan Shui, get lost. You pervert. Lin Chen, thank you for the compliment, I'm honored. Lin Chen turned off his phone and got up from his chair. Yuing, meow meow, I'm going out for a while. If you're hungry, there's food in the fridge. Yuing had some advanced materials left, which Yuan Bao helped to purchase and inquire about. It was time to advance Miao Miao from black iron to bronze. Compared to Yuing, finding advanced materials for Miao Miao was not difficult. Lin Chen stopped a servant and, following the servant's lead, found the steward. The steward was a middle-aged man in his forties, wearing gold-rimmed glasses and exuding a scholarly aura. With Yuan Shui's instructions, Lin Chen easily obtained the advanced materials. After the pharmacist at the Yuan family prepared the potion, Lin Chen returned to his room with the potion. Miao Miao, come drink the advanced potion, Lin Chen beckoned to Miao Miao, shaking the potion in his hand. Miao Miao, who was typing on the computer, happily ran over to Lin Chen upon hearing the invitation. He didn't expect that his master had gone out to get him an advanced potion. This gesture touched the cat deeply. Although his overall strength now far exceeded the normal black iron rank, with his agility and weapons, he could even defeat bronze rank opponents. But who would complain about having stronger abilities? Indeed, following his master made him more and more powerful. He felt that his initial choice was absolutely correct. Recalling the situations during the previous two advancements, Lin Chen felt it would be better to take Miao Miao outdoors this time. After all, he would be staying here for a few more days, and it wouldn't be good to tear down the house directly. The advancement plan he saw through his insight I might differ from the one given by a normal advancement master. His plan aimed to maximize the potential of the beast after advancement, so the advancement process might make the beast more violent. This is normal, with gains there must be losses. Meow, let's go outside to advance, the effect of this potion is quite strong. Lin Chen handed the potion to Miao, then turned to look at Yu Ying. Yu Ying, come along as well, let's witness the advancement process together. Yes, master. Yu Ying stood up and gracefully moved to Lin Chen's side. The two humans and one cat entered the manor. Miao couldn't wait to open the bottle and gulped down the potion. As the potion entered his body, a surge of energy erupted within Miao, impacting every part of his body. Miao's body emitted a bright light, exuding a powerful aura. Master, I feel like I'm going to burst from the energy in this advanced potion. Miao gasped, waving his claws frantically. Go run a few laps around the manor so the potion can be fully absorbed and complete the advancement, Lin Chen instructed based on his previous experience. Miao nodded and disappeared like a gust of wind in front of Lin Chen. Master, I felt the powerful aura the moment Miao drank the potion. I think Miao's strength after advancing a few levels might not be weaker than mine now, Yuing said, covering her mouth in surprise. As the top combat power among. 
Lin Chen's beast companions, she felt her position might be at risk. Soon, you will advance too, Lin Chen smiled. Yu Ying's advancement was still lacking some fierce beast blood, but all the materials were already gathered. With over 200 types of advancement materials, Lin Chen was eager to see how strong Yu Ying would become after advancing. Currently, Yu Ying's overall strength could already compete with some newly advanced silver tier beasts, and after advancing, she might even be able to challenge those at the golden tier. Hmm, Yu Ying nodded heavily, believing in her master's words. An hour later, Miao appeared in front of Lin Chen, looking radiant. Lin Chen used his insightful eyes to scan Miao's status. He gained two new wind attribute skills and a significant increase in all attributes after advancing. With Miao's current attributes, he could easily defeat ordinary bronze tier beasts. Attributes were important, but victory often depended on skillful use and combination of skills. Master, I want to battle Yu Ying. Miao waved his paw, full of fighting spirit, wanting to test his true strength after advancing. Are you sure? Lin Chen's mouth twitched slightly. Miao's strength after advancing was not weak, but Yu Ying could hold her own against silver tier beasts and now with a 20% increase in all attributes in her humanoid form. Miao was still only at the 25th bronze tier, but if he reached level 40 or above, he might have a chance at winning. I'm sure. Miao nodded. Miao, I won't go easy on you, Yu Ying flexed her wrist, taking a step forward. Bring it on. Miao leaped back a few steps, creating some distance between him and Yu Ying. Yu Ying looked at Lin Chen, who nodded. Having his two beast companions battle was not a bad thing, it would help them progress faster in real combat. Yu Ying's body shimmered with silver light, transforming into a dragon form. Feeling it would be unfair to Miao in her humanoid form, she chose to fight in dragon form. Lin Chen sat on the ground, took out a can of cola from his spatial bracelet, and watched the two beasts ready to battle. Miao drew his dawn from his waist, his eyes alert. Yu Ying hovered in the air, also on guard. Begin, with Lin Chen's command, Miao made the first move, rushing towards Yu Ying's position with dawn in hand. Silver white lightning bolts struck down around Yu Ying. Miao smirked, swiftly changing direction to the left to dodge the lightning bolt aimed at him. A loud explosion followed where the lightning struck, dust flying into the air. Miao moved in an S-shaped pattern towards Yu Ying, continuously attacking with lightning speed flashes of silver-white lightning continuously struck beside Miao Miao, creating large craters one after another. Swish! Miao Miao's figure disappeared, only to reappear leaping high with dawn in hand, aiming towards the moon. The dragon body of dawn shattered in an instant. Miao Miao, you've lost this battle. Moon Ying's voice sounded from behind Miao Miao. Startled, Miao Miao was puzzled. He had clearly struck Moon Ying just now, so why was Moon Ying's voice behind him? Oh no! Miao Miao thought to himself, realizing that Moon Ying must have used some strange skill, and he hadn't actually hit Moon Ying. A burst of flame erupted from Moon Ying's mouth. Feeling the heat behind him, Miao Miao quickly descended, trying to avoid it. However, he was grazed by the flame bomb on his tail, causing a burning sensation. The next moment, Miao Miao froze in place, almost scared to death by what he saw in front of him. Myriad transformations. Silver light shimmered around Moon Ying as dozens of Moon Yings appeared out of thin air, surrounding Miao Miao in the center. I surrender. I give up. Miao Miao sheathed Dawn back at his waist and shrugged. Moon Ying's skills were too insane, he couldn't fight back. His speed advantage was useless against Moon Ying, who was even faster. Miao Miao had never fought Moon Ying before, and now he knew he had no chance. However, Miao Miao wasn't angry, not all spirit beasts were as formidable as Moon Ying. Besides, Moon Ying was an ally, not an opponent. Miao Miao, Moon Ying learned a lot of new skills yesterday, you were just unlucky. Lin Chen took a sip of cola and smiled, no worries, there's another battle tonight, we'll see how you do then. This battle referred to the spirit beast battle with Yuan Shui. Although Miao Miao couldn't beat Moon Ying, he was still formidable compared to other spirit beasts. No problem, master, you can always trust me, Miao Miao. Miao Miao patted his chest. Master, what about me? Moon Ying reverted to human form, her big watery eyes looking at Lin Chen. 
If Miao Miao loses, then you'll go next. Lin Shen stood up, dusting off his shoulders, of course, if it's a 2v2, you'll have to go directly, it's not certain yet. Master, don't worry, I'll take care of it directly. Miao Miao waved his hand arrogantly, mooning, although I can't beat you, I'm confident in dealing with other spirit beasts, so you can just watch. So confident? Lin Shen raised an eyebrow, looking at Miao Miao skeptically, the opponents are all silver tier spirit beasts. Just silver tier, in my eyes, they're nothing. Miao Miao looked up at the sky with a heroic expression, then his face suddenly twitched, but, master, you need to help me heal my tail first, it's really torturing me. Ha, huh, mooning, give him a life fruit and some bronze tier crystals. Lin Chen said. Mooning complied. Miao Miao took the life fruit and took a bite, swallowing it. The burns on his tail were restored to normal under the healing effects of the life fruit. Miao Miao, you only need a bite of that injury, no need to eat at all. Seeing Miao Miao about to continue eating, Lin Chen stopped him. Although there were plenty of life fruits left, wasting them was not the way to go. Hee <laughs> hee, master, look, I've already bitten it, not finishing it would be a waste, right? Miao Miao scratched his head. No, I'll just squeeze it into juice. Lin Chen shook his head, taking the life fruit from Miao Miao's hand, Miao Miao, absorb the crystals to level up and control the discomfort caused by the attribute enhancements. No problem, master, you can rest assured. Miao Miao nodded and began to swallow the bronze tier crystals. There weren't many bronze tier crystals, only over 300, all piled to one side. Lin Chen glanced at the Miao Miao panel after swallowing the crystal core, and the experience amplified by a crystal core was not much, only less than one tenth of the Miao Miao experience bar. Lin Chen didn't know if it was because of the low level of the crystal core or if this was the effect of swallowing crystal cores later on. After asking the servant for a juicer, Lin Chen returned to the room. Yuing also followed Lin Chen back. He cut the vitality fruit in his hand into small pieces and stuffed them all into the juicer. As the juicer operated, light green juice was continuously squeezed out from the small pieces. When it was almost done, Lin Chen took out a small test tube and poured all the light green liquid into it. Looking at the remaining residue at the bottom, Lin Chen didn't know how much effect it still had. He picked up a small knife, made a cut on his wrist, and blood gushed out instantly. Grabbing the residue, Lin Chen put it into his mouth. It works. Seeing that the blood was no longer gushing out of his wrist and the injury was slowly healing, Lin Chen's face lit up. These residues could be used as healing medicine, while the juice could be used as life-saving medicine. This way, nothing would be wasted. And the effect of this juice would definitely be faster than that of the fruit and the speed of use would also be faster. It takes a while to eat, but only a sip or two to drink. Lin Chen took out all the residues and stored them in a transparent small box. He asked Yuing to take out 10 vitality fruits and followed the same procedure. Soon, 10 tubes of vitality juice and 10 boxes of residue were produced. Lin Chen was satisfied and kept 5 portions for himself, giving the remaining 5 portions to Yuing. He had a space bracelet, while Yuing had a portal to another dimension. It seemed like there was a chance to get a space bracelet for Miao Miao as well. Time passed quickly like water, and the afternoon flew by. Lin Chen walked out of the room, feeling the breeze blowing towards him, looking at Miao Miao who was still diligently eating crystal cores. Miao Miao was eating crystal cores while waving the dawn. Something was still playing on the phone on the side. Curious, Lin Chen walked up and asked, Miao Miao, what kind of martial arts are you practicing here? Hee hee, master, I'll give you a surprise later. Miao Miao smiled mysteriously and stopped his movements. Lin Chen's inside eye scanned Miao Miao's panel, and after a whole afternoon of swallowing crystal cores, Miao Miao had successfully reached level 35. Lin Chen estimated that there were still 30 to 40 crystal cores left. It seemed that more than 200 crystal cores only raised Miao Miao by 10 levels. This speed was not as fast as Lin Chen had imagined. It seemed that the upgrade from bronze tier to black iron tier was different. Just as Lin Chen was thinking, his phone suddenly beeped with a message notification. Lin Chen took out his phone and saw that it was a message from Yuan Shui. It seemed that this ice block couldn't wait to challenge him to a beast battle after school. 
Let's go, meow meow, let's go to the beast battle. Lin Chen collected the remaining crystal cores on the ground into his space bracelet and said to meow meow. No problem. Meow meow was full of confidence. Take it easy, I didn't bring you in with me. If you lose, you'll really lose. Although he believed in Meow Meow, Lin Chen still reminded him. I'm not fooling around this afternoon. I'm going to amaze everyone later. Meow Meow smirked. The two of them headed towards the Yuan family's beast battle arena. Yuan Shui had been waiting on the beast battle arena for a long time. Lin Chen and Miao Miao jumped onto the stage, and Lin Chen asked, Miss Yuan, what's the plan for the battle, tell me. The mode of the battle is 2v2, so let's follow the rules of the battle and you happen to have two beasts as well. Yuan Shui summoned her two beasts. No problem, go for it, Miao Miao. Lin Chen nodded in agreement. Where's your dragon? I don't want to win unfairly in a 2v1 battle. Yuan Shui frowned when she saw that Lin Chen had only sent one beast into the battle. Hey, lady, do you look down on this Meow Meow? Meow Meow looked displeased. This was a blatant suspicion of his combat power. Ha! Huh? Yuan Shui was stunned and looked at Meow Meow in disbelief, Silver Ear Cat? Can it talk? Don't be surprised, come on, I'll take on two by myself. Meow Meow snorted pointing at Frost Moon Snow Fox and Night Ice Kite. Frost Moon Snow Fox, you, a bronze tier, want to fight us two silver tiers, are you not awake yet? Night Ice Kite, exactly. Do you have no common sense? Meow Meow pinched her waist, I, Meow Meow, am here to fight silver tiers. No use talking, let's battle. Lin Chen, are you sure you're only sending one beast spirit? Yuan Shui asked again. Although Silver Ear Cat's ability to speak human language was shocking, strength couldn't be changed just by speaking human language. I believe in Meow Meow, Lin Chen said, hands in his pockets, scanning the panels of Yuan Shui's two beast spirits. With the bonus of Yuan Shui's talent, these two beast spirits were very strong, each having its own advantages in all attributes, with one being an epic and the other a diamond. No wonder Yuan Shui said her beast spirits never lost in battles, her beast spirits at this level really couldn't be defeated by her. However, Lin Chen still had confidence in Miao Miao. Despite usually acting silly, he never dropped the ball in crucial moments. All right, if you lose, yesterday's bet is off. Yuan Shui no longer hesitated, immediately ordering, Frost Moon Snow Fox, use Frosty Blizzard, Night Ice Kite, use Ice Crystal Arrow. Her goal was victory, to cancel that embarrassing bet. Since Lin Chen was so arrogant, she wouldn't hold back. Meow meow, show your skills. Lin Chen absentmindedly took out a can of cola and said. Got it. Meow meow turned back and gave Lin Chen a confident look. Frost Moon Snow Fox emitted a faint blue light, and silver white snowflakes began to fall in the air above the arena, causing the temperature to drop suddenly. Starting with this skill, you'll have to pay for a cold, Miss Yuan. Lin Chen sneezed and quickly took out a piece of clothing from his spatial bracelet to put on. The temperature on the arena now felt below zero to Lin Chen, the sudden changes between hot and cold were strange. Yuan Shui glanced at Lin Chen and said coldly, you deserve to freeze to death. Night Ice Kai formed an ice arrow in its mouth and shot it towards Miao Miao's position. Miao Miao was on high alert, suddenly leaping to the left to dodge the ice arrow perfectly. Although the low temperature on the arena limited its speed to some extent, the impact was not significant and still within an acceptable range. Frost Moon Snow Fox, Night Ice Kite, alternate attacks, don't give it a chance to breathe, defeated in one go. Seeing the attack miss, Yuan Shui ordered again. With the advantage of two against one and the environmental conditions, Yuan Shui believed that the Silver Ear Cat was not far from defeat. Frost Moon Snow Fox and Night Ice Kite exchanged glances, one attacking on the ground and the other providing aerial support. Ice attacks exploded continuously around Meow Meow, forming ice blocks. Meow Meow dodged left and right, evading the incoming attacks. Occasionally, it raised its paws to create two wind attacks for counterattacks. Lin Shen took a sip of cola, but his face was full of frustration. Damn it, the cola froze, and he couldn't drink it. Kicking the cola can away, Lin Chen shivered, hugging his shoulders. 
Meow meow, hurry up, what are you playing at? Lin Chen urged. Although Meow Meow kept dodging, looking like it was being chased by a dog, Lin Chen could see that Meow Meow was not using its full strength yet, continuously maneuvering around the two beast spirits, not even drawing out the dawn hanging from his waist. He he, master, watch this. This move will be cool. Meow Meow jumped back a few steps, avoiding another attack coming towards it. Lifting its head, it grabbed the dawn hanging from its waist with its right paw, infused energy into its hind legs, propelled itself forward like a shadow, and rushed towards Frost Moon Snow Fox. Boom! 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 Countless ice attacks came crashing down, but Meow Meow advanced like a ghost, these skills exploding on the ground continuously. Oh no, Frost Moon Snow Fox, use ice shield! Seeing this, Yuan Shue quickly ordered. Frost Moon Snow Fox received the command, and an ice shield instantly formed in front of it, attempting to block the attack. Meow Meow had a wicked smile on its face, just like Lin Chen. Stepping on the ice shield head-on, he leaped up. Hasaki! Meow shouted loudly, and suddenly swung out at dawn. A tornado instantly condensed and formed, carrying a destructive force towards Night Ice Kite. What the heck? Yasuo? Lin Chen stared in astonishment, could it be? That this was the surprise Meow mentioned. What did he do this afternoon after all? Everyone thought Meow's target was Frost Moon Snow Fox, but Meow's real target was actually the Night Ice Kite in the air. In his view, as long as the Night Ice Kite lost its combat capability first, then dealing with a fox that couldn't fly would be much simpler. Night Ice Kite didn't expect that Meow's target was actually her, before she could react, the tornado engulfed her. Meow took advantage of the situation, blades flashing everywhere. Using Night Ice Kite's body as a foothold, his figure kept shuttling, and the dawn in his hand continuously caused damage. Each strike was not fatal, but it was very painful. Night Ice Kite screamed a few times, directly falling to the ground losing combat capability. Xiao Yuan Yuan Shui exclaimed and quickly stored Night Ice Kite in the beast space, ordering towards Frost Moon Snow Fox, defeated while it's in the air. Frost Moon Snow Fox directly launched an attack towards Meow in the air. Naive. Meow sneered, throwing out a brick, stepping on it and leaping forward vigorously. When he was fighting against Yuang, he found that there was no focal point in the air. If he couldn't incapacitate the opponent with one blow, he might end up at a disadvantage. In order to solve this problem, he spent half an afternoon stepping on bricks in the air. Now it came in handy. This is impossible. Impossible. Yuan Shui looked at the scene in the air, her pretty face full of disbelief. Stepping on a brick underfoot, is this something a normal person can do? It must be fake. Can beast battles be fought like this? The attack hit the brick, and Meow landed steadily holding the dawn. In a flash, Meow suddenly sprinted, the sharp dawn placed on Frost Moon Snow Fox's neck. At this moment, the hit brick fell with a bang, the sound waking up Yuan Shui who was still in shock. I... I lost. Yuan Shui's small mouth opened slightly, her expression full of desolation. One against two, she actually lost. What kind of monsters are Lin Chen and his beast after all? This is beast battle, in a life and death fight, at that moment her frost moon snow fox would definitely be separated from its body, dead beyond death. Miss Yuan, the outcome is decided. As for the bet you lost to me, I haven't figured it out yet. I'll let you know when I do. Lin Chen spoke, Meow did well, let's go back. Watching the backs of the man and the cat leaving, Yuan Shui rubbed her clothes nervously, Lin Chen, wait. Miss Yuan, you're not trying to back out are you? Lin Chen turned around, a playful look on his face. No. I'm not. Seeing Lin Chen's annoying expression, Yuan Shui stomped her foot in anger. She always kept her word, how could she possibly back out? Then what else? Will you compensate me for the medicine expenses for my cold? Lin Chen hesitated, rubbing his chin, I always have recurring colds, so the medical expenses should be at least a million, I'll give you a 50% discount as a favor, 2 million. You. Get lost. Yuan Shui clenched her fists. 
Why was Lin Chen so annoying? She really wanted to beat this guy to death. Okay, bye. Lin Chen waved his hand, turned around, and walked away. You. Stop right there. Yuan Shui calmed down her anger and spoke again. Lin Chen. No, are you walking your dog here? Lin Chen turned back with a dissatisfied look. Master, it seems like you just scolded yourself. Miao tugged at Lin Chen's pants to remind him. If you don't say it, I won't say it, she's probably too stupid to figure it out. Lin Chen patted Miao on the back of his head with a big slap, pointing at Yuan Shui. Miao. Yuan Shui? Lin Chen looked at Yuan Shui, what are you up to? What's the matter? You're not secretly in love with me, are you? Pa, who would secretly love you? Yuan Shui gritted her teeth, but still suppressed her anger, the secret realm newly discovered by the Qinghe city government, I want to invite you to go together. I am a wanted criminal, I can't go in. Lin Chen shook his head and refused. You can enter with the Yuan family's team, they won't check your identity. Yuan Shui spoke again, her tone slightly calmer. Why are so many Yuan family beast tamers looking for me? What's your conspiracy? Lin Chen raised an eyebrow. The Yuan family's beast tamers were numerous, and last time outside the black market, Lin Chen even saw a golden tier one. Being invited to the secret realm, there must be something fishy going on. This secret realm has rules and restrictions, only silver tier and below beast tamers and beasts are allowed to enter. Yuan Shui explained. What happens if you don't follow the rules? Lin Chen asked, he had never heard of such outrageous restrictions before. Beast tamers and beasts die violently in the secret realm. Yuan Shui said seriously. It's too dangerous, I'm not going. Lin Chen pretended to be frightened, shaking his head quickly, I still have to level up with Miao Miao during this time. That's right, I have to level up with my master, leveling up is a top priority. Leveling up requires a large number of crystal cores, time is of the essence. Miao Miao quickly agreed. Lin Chen, Miao Miao, how many crystal cores do you think it takes to reach level 50? Miao Miao rubbed his chin, it must be at least a thousand, after all, the higher you go, the slower the speed. Lin Chen, well, it looks like I'll have to grind monsters for a long time. Yuan Shui. If you want crystal cores, just say so. Yuan Shui gritted her teeth. Miao Miao, do you think I look like I mean that? Lin Chen pointed to himself. Miao Miao nodded, then quickly shook his head, feeling something was off. Yuan Shui, you're just a step away from writing it on your face. I'll give you a thousand bronze tier crystal cores, but you have to go to the secret realm with us. How about two thousand? Lin Chen tested. Lin Chen, don't push it too far. Yuan Shui pointed at Lin Chen, her chest heaving up and down. Just kidding, tell me what you want me to do after entering the secret realm? Lin Chen said with a smile. With the contribution of a thousand bronze tier crystal cores from Yuan's wealth, Miao Miao said it might be possible to reach level 50 directly, and by then, his combat power might be comparable to mooning. Inside the secret realm, there is a material called Nine Leaf Soul Grass, which can increase the mental power of beast tamers and allow them to contract one more beast. Yuan Shui took out her phone from her pocket, opened a photo, and handed the phone to Lin Chen. Here, this is it, you just need to bring me a stock of this nine leaf soul grass. Lin Chen took the phone, activated his insightful eye, scanned the image on the phone, and the panel information appeared before his eyes. Item, nine leaf soul grass, effect, probability of increasing mental power when consumed, with a certain chance of failure. Success can permanently add one contract slot for the beast tamer. Note, can only be used once, using it a second time will result in explosion and death, ineffective for golden tier and above. This is a good thing, it can actually add a contract slot for a beast tamer. Lin Chen was shocked, he didn't expect such a thing. Although it can only be consumed once and success is probabilistic, with his lucky point bonus, wouldn't it be a 100% success? With this and Moon Ying's mythical talent, he might be able to contract 10 beasts in the future. After entering this secret realm, you will be randomly teleported, so there is still a risk. Everything else you obtain in the secret realm belongs to you, 
I only need one stalk of nine leaf sole grass. Seeing Lin Chen's stunned expression, Yuan Shui spoke again, as for the crystal cores, I will have the steward send them to you later. The time to go to the secret realm is next Monday, I will inform you then. Lin Chen's mouth curled up, what if I can't get it? If you can't get it, forget it, consider those crystal cores as a reward for your hard work, the secret realm is still quite dangerous. Yuan Shui took back her phone, retracted the beasts into the beast space, and turned to leave. Lin Chen's beast power was very strong, he might go further in this secret realm, maybe he would encounter something. But she didn't hold too much hope, this time's journey to the secret realm was not only attended by all the prominent families in Qinghe City, but also by families from other cities, including even those from the capital. Compared to the fierce beasts in the secret realm, humans were even more terrifying. Quite generous, Lin Chen mused, watching Yuan Shui's departing figure. Since Yuan Shui was so generous, Lin Chen was not stingy either. If there were extra nine leaf soul grass, Lin Chen would definitely give one to Yuan Shui. They returned to the room in silence. Yuan looked at Lin Chen and Miao Miao, how was the beast battle? Did you win? Of course, Miao Miao took the lead. Unstoppable. Miao Miao boasted, don't envy me, you can't learn my skills. Stop showing off, let's eat quickly. Yuing pointed to the table. Wow. Lin Chen looked at the dishes on the table in amazement. Yuing, did you make these? Yes, I learned online. Yuing smiled sweetly. Seated, Lin Chen picked up his chopsticks, picked up a piece of braised pork, and put it in his mouth. It was tender, not greasy, and left a lingering fragrance. Well done, Yuing, Lin Chen praised. If he didn't know that Yuing had never cooked before, Lin Chen would have suspected that Yuing was a chef. As long as the master likes it. Really good, Yuing, you will be in charge of cooking from now on. Lin Chen and Miao Miao enjoyed the meal, with Lin Chen mumbling unclearly. Halfway through the meal, there was a knock on the door. The steward handed Lin Chen a backpack containing a thousand pieces of Qing Bronze Stage Crystal Nuclei. After thanking the steward, Lin Chen returned to the table and found Miao Miao patting his belly, burping. Miao Miao, where's the meat in my bowl? Looking at the empty plate, Lin Chen glanced at Miao Miao with his arms crossed, did you eat it? Burp Miao Miao patted his belly, looking serious, Master, I'm just helping you out. I was afraid you couldn't finish all that meat, so I reluctantly ate it in the spirit of not wasting. I appreciate it. Lin Chen gave Miao Miao a big pat on the back of his head, in order not to let you gain weight and affect your speed, go wash the dishes as exercise, it's for your own good. Yuing. Miao Miao staggered from the pat, almost spitting out the meat in his throat. Under Lin Chen's smiling and friendly gaze, Miao Miao carried a stack of plates to the built-in kitchen. Lin Chen lay back in the chair, took out his phone, and searched for nine-leaf soul grass in the secret realm of Qinghe City. The new secret realm in Qinghe City was discovered a month ago, but it has not yet been opened. There was little information available, and Lin Chen did not find anything useful. There was no information about the Nine Leaf Soul Grass either. The information he found online was even less than what Yuan Shui had told him. Just as Lin Chen was contemplating, Yuan Bao sent him a message. Yuan Bao, Chen Gu, I have some information on the beast blood you wanted, found eight kinds. Lin Chen, so fast? Shocking slash, Yuan Bao, of course, you can trust me, Chen Gu. Although this beast blood is in another city, I have sent my men to purchase it, and we will be able to bring it back soon. Lin Chen, thanks, are you going to the new secret realm in Qinghe City? Yuan Bao, yes, Chen Gu, I was just about to tell you about it, didn't expect you already knew. You are well informed. Lin Chen, your sister told me. Yuan Bao, I was wondering why my sister disappeared right after school, turns out she went to meet her lover. Hilarious slash, Lin Chen, Bao, is your ankle still hurting? Cute slash cute slash, Yuan Bao, doghead save life jpg, Yuan Bao, Chen Gu, since you already know about the Qinghe secret realm, I don't need to tell you. Let's meet on Monday. Flying kiss slash, Lin Chen, after washing the dishes, Miao Miao began to swallow the crystal nuclei for upgrades. Lin Chen lay on the big bed, looking at the moon outside the skylight, lost in thought. 
Time passed like water, and three days flew by in the blink of an eye. These three days, Lin Chen took Moon Ying and Miao Mi out of the wilderness during the day to level up, and returned to the Yuan family villa to rest at night. The 1000 bronze crystal cores plus the crystal cores obtained from killing beasts these three days did not elevate Miao Mi out to level 50, but instead raised it to level 44. The further you go, the more experience is needed, while the experience provided by crystal cores is gradually decreasing. Lin Chen finally understood why those young masters and misses from prestigious families, even with the family's beast taming, were still at the silver level. In a certain stage, the experience provided by crystal cores to tamed beasts decreases as you progress. Most high-level beasts are in groups, with very few solitary ones, so killing them to obtain crystal cores comes at a great cost. The upgrading of tamed beasts is not as simple as he thought. However, although they did not reach the maximum level in these three days, Mooning and Miao Miao's attributes have significantly improved, at least by 30% compared to three days ago. With the help of Yuan Bao's search, most of the blood needed for Moon Ying's advancement has been gathered. Only the last four types are missing, and Moon Ying's advancement items will be complete. In the morning, Lin Chen's room door was not done. Lin Chen yawned, unlocked the door, and opened it. Survival supplies, for you, Yuan Shui stood at the door with a cold expression, holding a light pink backpack. I didn't expect Miss Yuan to care about me so much, I am truly grateful, Lin Chen raised an eyebrow as he took the backpack from Yuan Shui. But are you serious about this color? Take it or leave it, meet at the 8-point manor gate at 8, Yuan Shui gave Lin Chen a cold look and left on her own. Lin Chen shrugged, closed the door again, and unzipped the light pink backpack. A scent of orchids wafted out. Inside the backpack were 10 packs of compressed biscuits, 5 bottles of water, a sleeping bag, a first aid kit, and a handgun. Wow, this is quite comprehensive, Lin Chen's mouth twitched slightly. Even a handgun, this is unexpected. He picked up the handgun and examined it. It was no different from the one in his previous life, and although he had never used one before, after fiddling with it, Lin Chen understood how to use it. However, while the handgun looked intimidating, it was useless against beasts. Lin Chen was puzzled as to why Yuan Shui included it in the backpack. At the bottom of the backpack, Lin Chen found a note. The elegant handwriting was pleasing to the eye, and it read, Many beast tamers from various prestigious families are heading to the secret realm, so the handgun is for unexpected situations. Lin Chen understood. It seemed that this time, not only the Yuan family but also other beast tamers from prestigious families were heading to the Qinghe secret realm. The allure of the nine-leaf soul grass for beast. Tamers was indeed significant, as it allowed them to form contracts with more beasts. While the handgun could injure or kill in the absence of prepared beast tamers, it was not very effective against them. Nevertheless, it was better to have it than not. With everything ready, Lin Chen checked the time on his phone. 7.45, he put Miao Miao into Moon Ying's dimensional space, then returned Moon Ying to the tamed beast space, put on a hood, and carried the light pink backpack as he walked towards the manor gate. The Yuan family beast tamers were already lined up at the gate. Lin Chen glanced roughly and counted a total of 19 people, including Yuan Shui and Yuan Bao, all of them silver-tier beast tamers. Let's go, Yuan Shui ordered when Lin Chen arrived, her voice cold and devoid of emotion. Everyone boarded a bus which then set off toward in front of him turned into a vast expanse of whiteness. An invisible force supported him, constantly moving him, a force that seemed substantial but invisible and intangible. After a moment, the scene in front of Lin Chen changed again. Looking at the scene in front of him, Lin Chen's mouth twitched slightly. He had been transported to a tree. Fortunately, the tree was not very high, only about 5 meters tall. Lin Chen was not in a hurry to get down, as he saw someone else in a predicament, the poor guy is much worse off compared to Lin Chen, who is currently sitting on top of a fierce beast's head trembling, with eight fierce beasts around him staring at him intently. This luck is simply unbelievable, it would have been easier if you were directly teleported into the mouth of a fierce beast. Lin Chen sighed in his heart. With his insightful eye, he scanned the beasts and saw that they all had the strength of the silver tear. Without any surprise, this unlucky guy, whose name is unknown, was torn apart and devoured by the fierce beasts before he could even summon his beast. Blood and organs splattered all over the ground, a tragic sight. 
Lin Chen snapped his fingers, and a silver-white magic array appeared by his side, summoning Mooning. Master, why did you climb up the tree? Mooning squatted beside Lin Chen, her face full of curiosity. The view is better from the tree, with a wide field of vision, Lin Chen shrugged, pointing to the group of fierce beasts. Mooning, there are nine silver-tier fierce beasts, go take them down. Okay, Mooning nodded. She flew towards the nine silver-tier fierce beasts. With a slight raise of her jade hand, a silver thunderbolt whistled towards one of the fierce beasts. Before the fierce beast could react, it was struck in the head by the silver thunderbolt. Boom! The fierce beast's head exploded into a mist of blood under the violent thunderbolt, twitched a few times, and then slowly fell to the ground. The remaining eight fierce beasts, witnessing their companion's tragic death, roared and looked around vigilantly. Another silver-white thunderbolt struck, shattering the head of one of the fierce beasts. This time, the fierce beasts realized that the attacks were coming from the sky, and the one attacking them was the woman in a white dress. You found me, Mooning chuckled lightly, showing no sign of panic. The seven fierce beasts snarled, spewing flames towards Mooning in the air. Mirror image reversal. Mooning calmly drew a circle in front of her with her verdant fingers. A silver-white circular gate appeared out of nowhere and kept expanding, blocking Mooning in front of her. The flames spewed by the seven fierce beasts were all absorbed by this circular gate, causing no ripples. The fourteen eyes were filled with disbelief. Before they could react, a red light suddenly rose within the circular gate, and a large amount of flames spewed towards the seven fierce beasts. Caught off guard, the seven fierce beasts were burned, howling in pain. Although not fatal with a single blow, each of them suffered serious injuries. A hundred changes and a thousand strategies. The silver-white circular gate disappeared, and a bright white long bow, formed of energy, appeared in Moon Ying's left hand. She pulled the bowstring with her right hand, and seven arrows materialized. Swish! Seven arrows shot out with a piercing sound, each targeting one of the seven fierce beasts. Boom! Explosions rang out continuously, but Mooning shook her head in the air. She drew her bow again and shot another round of arrows. After three rounds of arrows, Mooning stopped shooting. As the smoke cleared, she saw that all seven fierce beasts on the ground were dead. The silver-white long bow in Moon Ying's hand dissipated. Although area attacks can target multiple enemies, the power is ultimately lower compared to single-target attacks. Lin Chen leaped down from the tree and walked towards the bodies of the fierce beasts. Outside the wall, most of the fierce beasts they encountered were of the bronze tier. They had not ventured deeper, so these skills were the first time Lin Chen had seen Mooning use them. He did not expect Moon Ying's strength to have reached such a terrifying level. Bang! At that moment, a gunshot rang out. A rainbow-colored light curtain suddenly appeared behind Lin Chen, rippling slightly. The bullet hit the gravel on the ground, making a crisp impact sound. Mooning raised her hand, and a silver thunderbolt struck, hitting a large tree. Boom! The tree was blasted into two sections, and Mooning flew towards its location. Lin Chen furrowed his brows, picking up the bullet from the ground. The bullet was as big as a fingertip, and if it hit someone, they would be done for. Even if it hit a black iron tear fierce beast, it would be injured. I in a moment, Yue Ying returned with a man in hand. Master, this is the man who attacked you, Yue Ying threw the man at Lin Chen's feet, a murderous look in her eyes. Hey! Let me go and work! The man struggled to get up, babbling. Oh, a cherry blossom ghost? Lin Chen squinted, his foot on the cherry blossom's head. He was very familiar with this accent, a common one in the series of ghost hand tearing. However, this was a secret place in the Dragon Kingdom, far from the cherry blossom, and he was curious how this cherry blossom ghost got in. Hey! I am the young master of the Nihikoa family of the great cherry blossom country. Dragon pig, get your stinky feet off me, or my country won't spare you. The cherry blossom ghost struggled. But Lin Chen's strength was not something he could resist. With a little more force, the cherry blossom ghost's head would be crushed by him. Bah! How dare you call yourself great in such a small place, I bet you grew up drinking nuclear waste. Lin Chen spat in the cherry blossom ghost's face. 
In a place as small as a fart, one person in the dragon kingdom could drown him with a mouthful of spit. What was he pretending for? Dragon pig. How dare you insult the great cherry blossom cunt? Produced a bottle of vitality potion and dripped two drops into Ri Chuan Da Di's open mouth. Ri Chuan Da Di woke up again, his eyes full of hatred and a hint of fear. To talk or not? Lin Chen smiled. Ri Chuan Da Di clenched his teeth and remained silent. It seems you want to continue resisting. No wonder you grew up drinking nuclear waste, you idiot, Lin Chen shook his head. I heard your name is Ri Chuan Da Di. So let me see if you can reach one or not, he. Lin Chen tied Ri Chuan Da Di to a tree trunk, knives flying in his hands, and soon Ri Chuan Da Di was like a pig with its hair plucked. You think you can reach Chuan Da Di like this? Lin Chen shook his head, looking at the hair, you can barely pass through a needle with this. No wonder you mixed breeds are short, pathetic, and ugly, all looking like despicable animals, Lin Chen sneered. With that, Lin Chen took out a bottle of wind oil from the spatial bracelet, then thought and threw it away. He grabbed a bucket of chili oil directly from the seasoning pile. Splash, splash, he poured it directly on Ri Chuan Da Di. The chili oil dripped continuously from top to bottom, passing through all the wounds and hair strands. Ah! Ri Chuan Da Di was in extreme pain, the burning sensation piercing through his body. Under the intense stimulation of the chili oil, the hair strands turned into blood-red worms. Lin Chen picked up a stone, weighing it in his hand. We don't need the earth, let's try with this stone. Lin Chen gestured, a smirk on his face. Ah! Kill me! Kill me, you devil! Ri Chuan Da Di wailed, his voice hoarse. It's useless. If I don't want you dead, even the king of hell wouldn't dare take you, Lin Chen grinned, and the stone in his hand came down directly. A piercing scream echoed through the sky, even causing a few dry leaves to fall from the trees. Watching the burst blood red worm under the stone, Lin Chen pursed his lips, just boasting, exaggerating. Lin Chen took off his shoes, pulled down his socks, poured half a tube of vitality potion on them, and stuffed them into Ri Chuan Da Di's mouth. MMM. The taste of the socks mixed with the vitality potion was absorbed by Ri Chuan Da Di. Lin Chen threw the stone aside and waited patiently. One tube of vitality potion was enough for him to play twice, and he had plenty more in his hands. Feeling the injuries inside and outside his body healing, Ri Chuan Da Di opened his eyes wide, looking completely incredulous. Seeing that Ri Chuan Da Di was almost recovered, even the burst blood red worm had regrown Lin Chen picked up the stone again and came in front of Nichikawa Daichi. Mm -hmm -hmm. Nichikawa Daichi, with his mouth blocked by socks, kept struggling. Lin Chen glanced at Nichikawa Daichi and pulled out the socks. I'll talk. I'll talk. Nichikawa Daichi quickly changed his tune. The person in front of him was like a demon, the pain he endured just now was already at its limit. He didn't expect this person to be able to heal injuries. If this happened a few more times, even gods wouldn't be able to bear it. How did you enter this secret realm? The Shao family in Kyoto is our inside connection in the Dragon Kingdom. We followed them in. How many of you entered? Including me, a total of 18 people. Purpose. To kill the young elites of various noble families in the Dragon Kingdom and to seize the Nine Leaf Soul Grass. How many people have you killed? Seven, I don't know about the others. You scoundrels are truly damned. Lin Chen's forehead veins bulged, and he slammed the stone down again. If things went as expected, a large part of these elite nobles would become the next high-end combat force in the Dragon Kingdom. Although he had a grudge with the Wang family in Luo Bay, not all people were bad. Families like the Yuan family were considered good to him. The Xiao family's plan was well thought out, but when they encountered Lin Chen, they would all stay in this secret realm. And that traitorous Xiao family in Kyoto seeking glory, Lin Chen, as a true Dragon Kingdom person, would eventually eliminate him. One day, Lin Chen would wipe out these Sakura invaders, exterminate their clan, slaughter all the men, and bring the women back as slaves. Let the Sakura Kingdom be filled with Dragon Kingdom flags. Lin Chen never believed in anything, he only knew he was a Dragon Kingdom person. Whether in his past life or this life, that never changed. Do you have any means of communication? 
Lin Chen glanced at Nichikawa Daichi, whose nose was bleeding profusely, and asked. There's a miniature locator specially made for this operation. As long as someone holding this type of locator is within a 5 km radius, it will display and vibrate. Where is it? In the lining of my clothes. Lin Chen bent down to search through the clothes he had cut into strips, and indeed found a coin-sized locator. There was a small red dot in the center of the locator. Very well, you can go die now. Lin Chen's shadow demon blade appeared in his hand, and he beheaded Nichikawa Daichi with one stroke. After collecting the items and energy crystals that the nine fierce beasts had burst out, Lin Chen left the place. Standing on the head of Mooning, Lin Chen held the locator in his hand. Perhaps it was luck, but after Mooning flew for half an hour, the locator suddenly vibrated twice. Two red dots overlapped, showing at the two o'clock position. It seems the two Sakura invaders are acting together. Lin Chen sneered, then ordered, Mooning, fly at full speed in the two o'clock direction, and watch out for humans below. Yes, master. After Mooning responded, its flying speed suddenly increased. The wind blew Lin Chen's robe, but it couldn't dispel the killing intent in his heart. Master, I've found them. Should I attack? Moon Ying's voice suddenly sounded. Looking at the three overlapping red dots on the locator, Lin Chen directly ordered Moon Ying to attack. With the locator, it was easy to determine if they were Sakura invaders and avoid friendly fire. Under Moon Ying's attack, the two Sakura invaders were directly dismembered, and their beast space automatic direction, Lin Chen ordered as he glanced at the locator. Ewing streaked through the night sky, and soon Lin Chen and Ewing appeared in front of Ishida gangmen. Answer a few questions for me obediently, and I may let you go without chasing you, Lin Chen looked down at Ishida gangmen with his arms crossed. Really? You'll let me go? Ishida gangmen asked cautiously. Of course. Lin Chen nodded. He didn't expect the Sakura ghost to be so cowardly, much easier to deal with compared to that Rikawa Daichi. He only knew that the Xiao family in Kyoto was an insider, but he had no evidence. Just relying on his words wouldn't be convincing to anyone, so he wanted to keep the Sakura ghost's words as evidence. Lin Chen took out his phone and opened the video recording function. After questioning, Lin Chen waved his hand and said, Go away. Ishida Okamon felt as if he had been granted a reprieve, quickly directing his mythical beasts to flee. Yueying, kill them, Lin Chen said lightly. Make sure to cut them evenly since he's being so obedient. As soon as Ishida Okamon's mythical beasts took a few steps, they turned back in anger and pointed at Lin Chen, you're not a man of your word. Despicable. There's no need to keep promises with beasts, and I only said I wouldn't chase you, not spare you, Lin Chen replied. Before Ishida Okamon could respond, he and his mythical beasts turned into pieces at Lin Chen's command, and Yueying cut them meticulously. Each piece was about 0.5 centimeters in size, with a deviation of no more than 5 millimeters. It's better to be reborn as a dog in the dragon kingdom in the next life than to be in your desolate place, Lin Chen said, commanding Yueying to continue searching for the Sakura ghost. Nine had already been eliminated, leaving nine more to go. The realm was so vast, making it difficult to find them. The moon was sparse. Lin Chen lay on Yueying's head, gazing up at the sky. This realm was not connected to the outside world, yet it had a sun, a moon, and even stars. The day and night alternated, just like the world outside. There was no mention of this in textbooks, memories, or on the internet. It was as if everyone had accepted it without question. This made Lin Chen think of his past life on Earth. Could these realms come from another space or parallel dimension? Did they coincide with the mythical beast continent for some reason? causing dimensional walls to rupture and these realms to appear out of thin air? Would he one day find his past life on Earth through these realms? Various chaotic thoughts flooded his mind. I wonder how I am in my past life on Earth, whether I'm still alive or dead, Lin Chen sighed, feeling nostalgic. Master, do you have something on your mind? Yue Ying asked softly, seeing Lin Chen sigh. No, just reminiscing about some past events, Lin Chen shook his head. Past events? Yueying was puzzled. Yueying, I actually come from another world, do you believe me? Yes. Why? 
I believe everything master says, even if it's not true. Silly girl. Time passed like a clear spring through the fingers, and the night passed in an instant. In the morning, birds chirped and beasts roared. Lin Chen washed his face with spring water, the cold water dispelling his drowsiness. Throughout the night, Yueying flew Lin Chen continuously. One man and one dragon chatted all night. In the meantime, they eliminated three more Sakura ghosts. After a brief rest and breakfast, they set off again. Master, these biscuits are really choking me, Yueying said as they flew. After eating compressed biscuits twice, she choked four times. Yueying was very disdainful of compressed biscuits, and the dry taste wasn't very good. Indeed, but these are more filling and convenient. How about we barbecue for lunch? Most of the supplies Miao Miao bought last time were rice, flour, and some raw meats, with the rest being puffed snacks. It was quite troublesome to deal with, so Lin Chen just ate biscuits to save time. Great! Master is the best! Yue Ying was delighted. But I don't know how to cook. Lin Chen was embarrassed. Do you? Yue Ying. While the two were talking, Lin Chen felt the locator in his pocket vibrate. He quickly took it out and saw five red dots on the locator. He immediately directed Yue Ying to fly towards the location of the red dots. A girl leaned against a big tree, blood constantly overflowing from her mouth, her pretty face extremely pale, her white clothes soaked in bright red blood. In front of her lay a dying mythical beast, covered in wounds all over its body, still struggling to stand up and protect its owner, but the injuries were too severe, and the struggle was in vain. Five arrogant cherry blossom demons stood not far away, leering at the girl. You guys wait for me to have some fun here, Miss Flower. I'll have some fun first. One of the cherry blossom demons said to the other four demons, rubbing his hands and leering as he walked towards the girl. Turtle Tion, you're still so charming. After Turtle Tion has his fun, I'll have my fun too. How long do you think Turtle Tion will take? Three minutes? That's the longest. For us cherry blossom people. Yano, do you want to try later? I'm not interested in women. I just want to get that ninely soul grass from this dragon kingdom woman. The girl saw the cherry blossom demon approaching her, gritted her teeth and stood up with a dagger drawn from her waist. She had a look of determination in her eyes, knowing that if she could kill one cherry blossom demon, it would be worth it, and if not, she would take her own life. Even in death, she refused to fall into the hands of these beasts. Before the cherry blossom demon could finish speaking, he suddenly turned into pieces of flesh, splattering everywhere. The girl looked puzzled, not understanding how the demon had suddenly turned into pieces of flesh when she hadn't done anything. This dragon kingdom woman is using magic. Quick, kill her. Attack. Attack. The other four cherry blossom demons, terrified, no longer cared about the girl and ordered their mythical beasts to attack the girl's position. Along with the three mythical beasts that died, a total of fifteen attacks came crashing towards the girl. The girl closed her eyes, waiting for death to come. With fifteen attacks coming, she would surely be obliterated, but that was fine, as she and the nine-leaf soul grass would both disappear. Mooning, reverse the mirror image. A silver circular gate suddenly appeared in front of the girl, absorbing all fifteen attacks. The gate then emitted a bright light, redirecting the attacks towards the four cherry blossom demons. Two of the demons were directly turned into blood missed by the attacks, while the remaining two were also seriously injured and screamed in pain. The girl opened her eyes and looked in the direction of the voice. She saw a young man standing on top of a silver dragon, his silver aura making him look like a god. His eyes were cold and commanding. In that moment, the girl felt her heart racing, a blush appearing on her pale face. She had never felt this way before and didn't know what was happening to her. Moonlight Dance Lin Chen continued giving orders. One by one, the white curved blades kept falling, cutting the struggling cherry blossom demons and mythical beasts into pieces. I? I am Ouyang Chenmu from the Ouyang family in Kyoto. Thank you for saving me. Ouyang Chenmu held her clothes, her face slightly red. What, what is your name? I? I will repay you. I'm just a passerby. 
Lin Shin glanced at the girl and then at the dying mythical beast on the ground, flipping a small box and tossing it to her. Feed this to your mythical beast, or it will die. With that, Lin Shin directed Mu Ning to leave, leaving only his back. Ouyang Qian Mu caught the small box and stared blankly at Lin Shen's departing figure. It wasn't until Lin Shen and Mu Ning had completely disappeared that Ouyang Qian Mu snapped out of her daze. She bent down, opened the small box in her hand, and fed its contents to her mythical beast. In no time, the wounds on her mythical beast began to scab over. Ouyang Qian Mu covered her mouth in disbelief. The contents of this small box were so effective. Who was this man, after all, powerful and mysterious, most importantly, very handsome? Lin Chen's figure kept appearing in her mind. Ouyang Chen Mu took out a small notebook and a pen from her bosom. The notebook was already stained red with blood, and relying on her memory, she quickly sketched Lin Chen's portrait. After carefully storing the notebook and small box, Ouyang Chen Mu left with most of her spirit beasts restored. She was determined to find that person. After leaving, Lin Chen and Yuing stopped at the top of a mountain. The two of them stealthily hid behind a tree. The reason was simple, Lin Chen had spotted the nine-leaf soul grass. There were quite a few of them, hundreds of plants, but there were many golden-tier ferocious beasts nearby. It was impossible to just pass by, as Yu Ying's strength could handle a group of silver-tier ferocious beasts, but facing a group of golden-tier ones was a definite defeat. Yuing was only at the black iron tier now, and being able to fight across two tiers was already a miracle. Sending Yuing into the spirit beast space, Lin Chen activated the invisibility effect of the misty robe and disappeared from sight. Stepping out from behind the tree, Lin Chen walked towards the patch of nine leaf soul grass. Under the watchful eyes of the golden tier ferocious beasts, each nine leaf soul grass disappeared into thin air, all collected into the space ring by Lin Chen. The golden tier beasts were stunned, looking at each other in confusion. Lin Chen grinned and continued harvesting the nine leaf soul grass. The nine leaf soul grass was a valuable item, with a chance of failure, but if successful, it meant an additional spirit beast slot compared to others. The benefits were more apparent in the later stages, and he believed that selling this item would fetch a high price and attract frenzied bidding. He, Yuan Bao, and Yuan Shui needed a total of three plants and the rest would be sold by the Yuan family. After harvesting the last plant, Lin Chen kicked the butt of a golden tear. Ferocious Beast The kicked beast roared, looking around at its kind with hostility. Hee hee, can I provoke them to fight each other? Lin Chen pondered, a slight smile on his lips. Moving among the golden tear beasts, Lin Chen wielded his dagger, targeting the vital points of these beasts. The dagger didn't cause much harm to the golden tier beasts, but the insults were strong, easily enraging them. Soon, the group of golden tier beasts began to attack each other in chaos. Lin Chen held the dagger in reverse, quietly watching the beasts' melee. The more they fought, the fiercer it became. These golden tier beasts seemed to be playing for their lives, launching fierce attacks. Lin Chen noticed that many beasts were heavily injured and lying on the ground. This was a good sign. When they were all severely injured, he would summon Yuing to harvest them, not only obtaining a bunch of golden tier crystal cores but also likely some other valuable items. Waiting was always tedious. Lin Shen sat cross-legged on a rock, dozing off. Two hours later, the war among the golden tier beasts finally ended. Lin Shen yawned and surveyed the battlefield. The scene was bloody, with beasts lying on the ground, some with their brains spilled out. Only one was still standing, barely alive but heavily injured. Finally done. Dealing with these remnants should not be difficult for Yu Ying. Lin Shen stood up, a silver-white magic array appearing in his hand, summoning Yu Ying. With a thought, he deactivated the invisibility effect of the misty robe and jumped onto Yu Ying's head. Yu Ying, ascend first, Lin Shen ordered. Then kill these beasts. Yu Ying nodded and quickly ascended distancing herself from the remaining beasts. Although these golden tier beasts were injured, Lin Chen remembered the blood bats in the cave, they were still fierce and could make a final desperate attack. In the sky above a hundred meters, curved blades flew towards the ground, continuously cutting down the golden tier beasts below, the screams continued one after another, and a few remaining golden tier savage beasts with some strength left began to counterattack, 
launching attacks one after another. Mooning dodged left and right in the air, effortlessly avoiding the attacks from these savage beasts, which were already half wounded and in Moon Ying's territory. With the help of the moonlight, several Moon Yings appeared out of thin air. Combined with the moonlight's dance, those golden tier savage beasts fell to the ground in pieces with resentment. As they died, they finally realized. They had been manipulated. Tear weapons. The rest were some ordinary items, like a barbecue grill, iron pot, television, flashlight, and a box of. Master. A barbecue grill. We can have a barbecue. Mooning fumbled with the barbecue grill, her face full of excitement. Finally, they didn't have to eat those dry biscuits anymore. Can you grill? Lin Chen asked. Yes. Mooning nodded, I learned a bit about it on the computer. Okay, release Meow Meow first, I'll make a contract with Meow Meow. Lin Chen said. With the Nine Leaf Soul Grass already in hand, it was time to make a contract with Meow Meow first, otherwise, it would be troublesome to keep it in the gate of the other space. No problem. Mooning gently raised her jade hand, and the gate of the other space appeared, sending Meow Meow out. Master, you finally remembered to let me out. Meow Meow said with a mournful face. All right, your expression is like a grudgeful woman. Lin Chen patted the cat's head to comfort it, took out a spatial bracelet, and handed it to Meow Meow. This is a spatial bracelet, drip your blood on this pattern. Meow Meow's mournful face instantly brightened, as this spatial bracelet was a good thing. With this, there was no need to carry a bag, and even weapons didn't need to be hung at the waist anymore, even it can carry a bunch of bricks, releasing the aerial somersault technique of bricks. Master, I love you so much. Meow leaped up and hugged Lin Chen's face. Lin Chen. Okay, you come down first. Yuing pinched the soft flesh on Meow's neck and lifted Meow up, Master will contract with you later. Yuing. Let me down. Meow struggled, then looked surprised after hearing the second half of the sentence, what? You've also reached the bronze tier? Yuing shook her head, Master found the nine-leaf soul grass, which can increase a contract slot. Great, Master, come on. I've been waiting for this day for a long time. Meow opened his arms. Lin Chen. I haven't eaten the nine-leaf soul grass yet. You and Yuing clean up these meat chunks on the ground and string them up for barbecue later. Lin Chen pointed to the ground. After Miao set up the spatial bracelet, he started stringing the meat chunks on the ground with the branches Yuing picked up. Lin Chen took out a nine-leaf soul grass from the spatial bracelet, stuffed it into his mouth. Lin Chen's face turned constipated, the taste of the nine-leaf soul grass was too strong, damn it. However, he still endured the urge to vomit and swallowed the clump of nine-leaf soul grass. As the nine-leaf soul grass entered his stomach, Lin Chen felt a warm flow rushing through his body, which was quite comfortable. As expected, Lin Chen succeeded. He now had an additional slot in his beast space. Standing up and walking to Miao who was stringing the meat, Lin Chen bit his recently scabbed middle finger, then drew a contract array on Miao's head. After completing the contract array, a dazzling red light merged into Miao's body. Lin Chen felt a connection with Miao, the contract was successful. Lin Chen glanced at Miao's attributes panel and indeed, after the contract, Miao successfully inherited talents and Lin Chen's luck points. With Lin Chen's participation, the stringing process became faster. Smelling the aroma of barbecue in the air, Lin Chen's appetite was aroused. It had to be said that Yu Ying was very talented in cooking. The meat of a golden tear beast was delicate and a rare ingredient. At the last auction, a golden tear scarlet sun tiger was auctioned for 3.5 billion. Although these were all level 70 to 80 golden tear beasts, auctioning any one of them would not be less than 1 billion. After the two of them and the cat were full, they left the mountaintop. The teleportation gates in the secret realm would randomly refresh every three days. These gates would exist for two days, and after three people used them, the gate would automatically disappear. If missed, one would have to wait for the next refresh. Today was the second day, and the gates would start appearing early in the morning of the third day. Feeling full made him drowsy. Combined with not having slept, Lin Chen sat on Yu Ying's head yawning repeatedly. Yu Ying and Miao continued to kill the beasts that appeared. 
The crystal nuclei and items dropped were continuously stored in the spatial bracelet by Miao. The energy magic crystals were directly consumed by Yuing and Miao. As they killed and moved forward, Lin Chen unknowingly fell asleep. Time passed quickly, and the sky gradually darkened. Lin Chen was awakened from his sleep by the vibration of the locator in his pocket. Rubbing his sleepy eyes, Lin Chen took out the locator. A small red dot appeared at his one o'clock position. As expected, this was the last remaining Sakura ghost. Disturbing my sleep, damn it. Lin Chen stretched lazily and stored Miao in the beast space. He directed Yu Wing to fly towards the location of the red dot. Looking down, Lin Chen saw a figure riding a beast rushing towards him. Upon closer inspection, the person was covered in blood, his clothes almost torn to shreds, and thick bandages wrapped around his arms and head. The beast was also in a bad state, with burnt marks all over its body, skin torn in many places, and blood spurting as it ran. This person was none other than Yuan Bao. Yuan Bao! Lin Chen shouted. Hearing the voice from ahead, Yuan Bao looked up when Lin Chen saw him, he hurriedly shouted, Chen Gu, run quickly. There are cherry blossom ghosts behind us. Lin Chen waved his hand, signaling for Yuing to land. Jumping down from Yu Ying's head, he walked to Yuan Bao and two small boxes appeared in his hands, which he threw to Yuan Bao. It's just a cherry blossom ghost, why run? Lin Chen sneered. Chen Gu, this cherry blossom ghost is very strong. My alpaca was beaten within three rounds. If it weren't for the amazing medicine in the small box you gave me, I might have been done for by now. Yuan Bao opened the small box and swallowed the contents unclearly. I estimate that the Cherry Blossom Ghost Summoned Beast is probably already level 60 or 70. Let's run first, we can always come back later, Chen Gu. Just as the two were talking, the Cherry Blossom Ghost appeared behind them. Yuan Bao's face changed, he gritted his teeth and poured the vitality fruit from the other small box into the alpaca's mouth. Chen Gu, you go. I'll hold him off. Yuan Bao shouted as he summoned his other summoned beast. Yuan Bao, the alpaca, and a flying summoned beast stood in front of Lin Chen. Yuan Bao returned to the entrance of the secret realm. At the entrance of the secret realm, there were many people at this time. Apart from the soldiers maintaining order with real guns, all were beast tamers who had entered the secret realm. Almost everyone was injured, some missing arms and legs, being carried away on stretchers. It was evident how dangerous the secret realm was. The entrance to the secret realm continued to send out beast tamers in small groups. Lin Chen and Yuan Bao waited inside the bus they had arrived in. At the same time, inside the bus of the Luo Bei Ouyang family, Ouyang Chenmu sat quietly in the last row, took out a small notebook from her arms, opened the page with Lin Chen's portrait, and her beautiful eyes wandered as if intoxicated. Ha! Huh? Chenmu's sister, what are you looking at? The girl with bandages on her arms bounced over to Ouyang Chenmu's side. Nothing. Ouyang Chenmu was startled and quickly put the notebook back in her arms. Yao Yao, how's your injury? It's fine, just a little scratch. Ouyang Yao Yao waved her hand, sat down, and whispered in Ouyang Chenmu's ear, Chenmu's sister, were you just looking at a man? I saw it. Yao Yao. Ouyang Chenmu blushed instantly. Oh Yang Yao Yao smirked, Chen Mu sister, are you feeling amorous? And no, don't talk nonsense. Oh Yang Chen Mu blushed even more, her eyes dodging, he, he's my savior. A hero saving a beauty, so Chen Mu's sister is going to offer herself? Oh Yang Yao Yao blinked her eyes mischievously, then changed the subject, I feel like I've seen that man somewhere before. What? Oh Yang Chen Mu was stunned. Really? Ouyang Yao Yao played with her fingers, I remember now, that man seems to be called Lin Chen, a wanted criminal in our city. Don't be silly, that's impossible. Ouyang Chen Mu denied in disbelief. Is it him? Ouyang Yao Yao took out her phone, opened the news about Lin Chen being wanted, and there was a picture of him. Ouyang Chen Mu furrowed her brows slightly. The person in this photo was the man who had saved her before, but how could he be a wanted criminal? Yao Yao, do you know why he's wanted? Ouyang Chenmu asked anxiously. Ouyang Yao Yao thought for a moment and said, it seems, 
It seems like he stole a hundred thousand dragon coins from a classmate and then escaped from the enforcement bureau. Oh Yang Chen Mu? Stole a hundred thousand dragon coins from a classmate? That's a joke. The value of the small box of medicine she gave herself far exceeded a hundred thousand dragon coins. With that kind of strength, would he lack a bit of money? That silver dragon alone couldn't be measured in money. There must be something fishy going on. Ouyang Chenmu said, Yao Yao, I've decided not to return to Kyoto. Ha? Huh? Ouyang Yao Yao was puzzled. Aren't you studying in Kyoto? You're in your senior year, about to take the college entrance exam. Can uncle allow you not to go back? I can go study in Luo Bay City. Ouyang Chenmu lightly tugged at the hair by her ear, her eyes firm, my dad will agree. Chenmu, are you doing this for Lin Chen? Ouyang Yao looked at Ouyang Chenmu suspiciously. Mm. Ouyang Chenmu nodded slightly. Since Ouyang Yao already knew, there was nothing to hide. The man Ouyang Chenmu believed in couldn't be falsely accused like this. Since the moment she was rescued, she felt that Lin Chen's figure was lingering in her mind. A moment, eternal. This must be love at first sight. All right. Ouyang Yao shrugged, women in love are really scary. Ouyang Chenmu took out her phone and dialed a number. The phone rang twice before being answered. Hello, good daughter, have you come out of the Qinghe secret realm? Are you okay? The voice of a middle-aged man came from the other end of the phone, with a caring tone. I'm fine, dad, I. I want to study in Luo Bay City. Why do you suddenly want to study in Luo Bay City? The college entrance exam is coming soon. I? I? I just want to study in Luo Bay City, and Yao Yao and I have agreed. Oh, I can't do anything with you. I will talk to the Luo Bay branch and the mayor of Luo Bay City, just tell them what you need. Thank you, Dad, I'll hang up now. With that, Ouyang Chinmu hung up the phone directly, a smile appearing on her pretty face. Is it done? Ouyang Yao was astonished. She thought it would be difficult, but it was settled with just a few words. Mm. Ouyang Chinmu nodded, Yao Yao, help me look up Lin Chen's information and the details of this case. I feel that this case is very suspicious. Got it, Miss Chenmu who has fallen in love. Ouyang Yao made a face and then made a call to give instructions. Although the Ouyang family in Luo Bay was just a branch, it was still a top family in Luo Bay. Checking such a small matter was done very efficiently. In just a few minutes, all of Lin Chen's information was transferred to Ouyang Yao's phone. Time passed quickly, and it was almost dawn. The bus where Lin Chen was finally started moving towards Luo Bay City. Of the 20 beast tamers from the Yuan family who went, only six returned, the rest may not have had time to enter the teleportation gate or may have perished in the secret. Realm. Those who didn't make it to the teleportation gate would have to find their own way back. As for those who perished in the secret realm, they would have to wait to become the excrement of ferocious beasts. Among those who returned, including Yuan Shui, none found the nine leaf soul grass, but they were all injured. Lin Chen lay leisurely at the back, beckoning to Yuan Shui. What? Yuan Shui asked impatiently. Well, I would be shy to do this in front of so many people. Lin Chen smirked meaningfully. Get lost. You pervert. She had just come out of the secret realm looking disheveled and had no interest in arguing with Lin Chen. Oh, kindness is often mistaken for weakness. Lin Chen shrugged, I have something for you, take it or leave it. What is it? Yuan Shui stood up with difficulty and limped towards Lin Chen. She wanted to see what Lin Chen was up to. After this trip, the losses were heavy, not only did they not find the nine leaf soul grass, but they also suffered so many casualties. Yuan naturally knew what Lin Chen was talking about, but she didn't say anything, just sat there watching. Only his brother Chen could make her sister lose face like this. Have you forgotten our bet? Lin Chen smirked. You. Yuan Shui gritted her teeth. Oh, I didn't expect Miss Yuan to break her promise. Lin Chen sighed. Stop the car. Yuan Shui ordered. 
the driver immediately hit the brakes. Due to inertia, Yuan Shui fell straight onto Lin Chen, her soft lips landing on his face, the rest of the people were all in a mess, already seriously injured after this incident, each one wailing in pain. Yuan Shui blushed and quickly got up. Is this how our first kiss ended? It's so unfair. What did she do in her past life to deserve such punishment from the heavens? You, you actually took advantage of me when I wasn't paying attention. Lin Chen looked wronged and terrified, touching his face that had just been kissed, my chastity is gone. What should I do? You. Yuan Shui pointed at Lin Chen speechless. Clearly, she was the one who suffered a loss, right? Can Lin Chen have some dignity? All of you get off the bus. No one is allowed to get on without my orders. Yuan Shui, hearing the wails behind her, remembered what she had intended to do just now. The driver and the wailing members of the Yuan family's beast tamer quickly got off the bus. They could tell that the young lady was on the verge of a rage, and not obeying would probably lead to a miserable end. Yuan Bao lay on the chair, quietly watching the two. Why aren't you getting off? Yuan Shui looked at Yuan Bao. I? I? Yuan Bao looked around. Get lost. Yuan Shui scolded. Okay, sister. Yuan Bao quickly crawled out of the bus. Inside the bus, there were only Lin Chen and Yuan Shui left. What do you want to do? Are you going to kill me to keep me quiet? Lin Chen scooted back nervously. Why would I do that? Yuan Shui smiled sweetly. Don't come near me. I'll scream. Seeing that sweet smile, Lin Chen felt very anxious. This woman with that sweet smile was too eerie, that kind of smile shouldn't exist. Go ahead and scream. Yuan Shui approached, pressing Lin Chen against the chair. In the next moment, a scream rang out, sounding particularly harsh in the quiet night. The people outside the bus shuddered, cold sweat running down their backs. Brother Lin Chen, does it hurt? Yuan Shui's voice echoed in Lin Chen's ear. It's damn painful, what do you think? Lin Chen thought to himself, but said, it doesn't hurt, you should quickly retract your powers, it doesn't suit your cold demeanor. Poof. Yuan Shui coldly snorted and stood up, what did you just say? Nightly's soul grass, I, Lin Chen, never go back on my word. Lin Chen rubbed his waist, continuously inhaling cool air. This woman was too ruthless. In the future, he would stay far away from her, she was too terrifying. What? Yuan Shui was astonished. Lin Chen took out a stalk of nine-leaf soul grass from the pale pink backpack and handed it to Yuan Shui. Yuan Shui took the nine-leaf soul grass in a daze. She had thought she was hearing things just now, but she didn't expect Lin Chen to actually get the nine-leaf soul grass. All right, I won't hold it against you for taking advantage of me, and I'll give you the nine-leaf soul grass I promised. Lin Chen lay back lazily, rubbing his waist and said, Don't be so violent in the future, or you might not get married. With that, Lin Chen took out his phone and started playing a game, ignoring Yuan Shui. Lin Chen, about the bet. Yuan Shui held the grass in one hand and tugged at her clothes with the other, can we not talk about it in front of so many people? Okay, step aside. Lin Chen waved his hand. He was just teasing Yuan Shui, but he didn't expect her to take it seriously. The driver and the beast tamers got back on the bus, looking at Lin Chen with admiration in their eyes. He could leisurely lie down and play on his phone, truly a master. As he played, a strange number suddenly popped up on Lin Chen's phone. After a moment of thought, Lin Chen answered the call. Is this Lin Chen? A slightly old voice came from the other end of the phone. Who are you? What's the matter? I'm not Miss Xiao. Lin Chen refused. There was silence on the other end of the phone for a few seconds, and the slightly old voice came again. Lin Chen, I am Li Changqing, the principal of Ijon, not a club, you misunderstood. Ijon? Principal? What do you want with me? I haven't been to school for many years. It's like this, Lin Chen, your skills are very good, I want to invite you to study at Ari Zhong, hoping that you can achieve a good ranking in the college entrance examination, and let Ari Zhong shine. 
The conditions are up to you. Are you a scammer? Trying to trick me? There was silence on the other end of the phone again. How's the treatment over there? Is the salary high? Smack. Lynchin heard a loud bang coming from the phone, and then the call was directly hung up. Ah, why are scammers so impatient these days? Lin Chen shook his head helplessly. Chen Du, I heard you mention the principle of Ijong. Who called you just now? Yuan Bao curiously leaned over. He said his name is Li Changqing, Lin Chen replied. That is indeed our principle. Both my sister and I are from Ijong, Yuan Bao scratched his head. But there are quite a few principles named Li Changqing and Ijong the evidence public to clear his name. Ultimately, he had to return to the human world, and the college entrance examination was the best stepping stone. The bus stopped in front of the Yuan family mansion. After bidding farewell to the Yuan siblings, Lin Chen returned to his room. Looking at the sun rising outside, Lin Chen fell asleep directly on the big bed. Municipal Law Enforcement Bureau In the director's office Miss Chen Mu, hello, I am Chen Yuanha, the director of the Luo Bay Law Enforcement Bureau. Your personal visit really brings glory to our law enforcement bureau. Chen Yuan has smiled broadly, his face full of flattery. Miss Ouyang from the Kyoto Ouyang family, one of the top families in Longhua, had an extraordinary background. As the saying goes, it's good to enjoy the shade of a big tree. If he could seize this opportunity to climb this big tree, his future career would surely flourish. Director Chen, I'm here for Lin Chen. Ouyang Qianmu sat on the sofa, glancing at Ouyang Yao beside her. Ouyang Yao immediately understood, took out a USB flash drive from her bag, and threw it to Chen Yuanha. Lin Chen? Chen Yuanha caught the USB flash drive, looking puzzled. Why did this name sound familiar, like he had heard it somewhere before? Yes, Director Chen, you might want to see what your subordinate has done. Ouyang Chen Mu's tone turned cold. The USB drive contained all the evidence of Lin Chen's framing, with surveillance footage, call recordings, and more. Struck by lightning, Chen Yuan had quickly inserted the USB drive into the computer and started watching the contents inside. Second young master, do you have any orders? Chen Bo, I need all the information on our classmate Lin Chen. I need 10,000 yuan in cash right now. The more Chen Yuan Ha watched, the more shocked he became. There were even sub bureaus under his command accepting bribes, arresting Lin Chen without cause, and even resorting to torture. This. Chen Yuan Ha panicked, beads of sweat forming on his forehead. Director Chen, do you understand now? Ouyang Qian Mu coldly snorted. I understand. Chen Yuanha wiped the cold sweat from his forehead. I'll have these people arrested right away. There's no need to arrest them. After the college entrance examination, my Ouyang family will take care of them. Ouyang Qian Mu shook her head. Just monitor these people well and revoke the arrest warrants. Understood. Chen Yuanha quickly nodded and smiled, asking tentatively, May I ask, what is your relationship with this Lin Chen? Lin Chen is the bottom line. Once crossed, it means destruction. Do you understand? With that, Ouyang Qian Mu stood up and left the law enforcement bureau with Ouyang Yao. And this sentence lingered in Chen Yuan Ha's ears for a long time. Luo Bay City is about to change. Chen Yuan Ha sighed and then ordered his subordinates to monitor everyone related to the case. He also sent several golden level beast tamers to protect Lin Chen secretly. If something happened to Lin Chen, he felt that his career would come to an end. He might even lose his life because of it. Xian Mu, the matter is settled. How about we go out for a walk? Oh Yang Yao suggested, there are many fun places in Luo Bay City. Yao Yao, let's go look at houses. I want to buy two villas near Yizhong. Oh Yang Qian Mu said. Oh? Two villas? Oh Yang Yao sighed meaningfully, ah, uh, women, always abandoning me for a lover. With that, she ran off into the distance like a wisp of smoke. Yao Yao. Ouyang Qian Mu's face blushed, stomping her foot, then raised her fist and chased after Ouyang Yao. Like the sun breaking through the darkness, dawn quietly crosses the horizon. 
In the afternoon, the phone rang, waking Lin Shan from his sleep, he glanced at the incoming call display. Lin Shan answered the call. Lin Shan, have you considered the offer? Li Changqing asked with a smile. Your offer didn't give me a reason to refuse, but you woke me up from my sleep, Lin Shan yawned, looking displeased. After a few seconds of silence, Li Changqing's voice came through again. Do you have kidney problems? Lin Chan? I happen to know a great doctor who specializes in treating kidney deficiency. If you need, I can introduce you to him. Li Changqing's voice carried a hint of concern. No need, keep it for yourself, my kidneys are fine, Lin Chan refused with a black line on his face. What's wrong with my kidneys? It's not a problem to do it a hundred times a night. He just didn't sleep much in the secret realm and lacked rest. What is this old man thinking? All right then, let me know if you need anything. Also, come to Ijong now, I will send someone to pick you up. Got it. After hanging up the phone, Lin Chen stretched lazily. After freshening up, Lin Chen took a special car to the entrance of Ijong. Li Changqing was waiting at the entrance with an old man by his side. You're here, Li Changqing stepped forward. Yes, I'm here, Lin Chen stepped forward. You finally came, Li Changqing stroked his beard. Should I leave then? Lin Chen frowned and turned around. No, 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 Li Changqing quickly. Grabbed Lin Chen's arm. Lin Chen, why are you not following the script? Lin Chen. You called me here just to mess around with me? Isn't this a welcome ceremony for you, very formal? Thank you. No need to be polite among friends. Lin Chen, this is Mr. G. He will help you with your disguise later, Li Changqing introduced the old man beside him solemnly. Disguise? Lin Chen raised an eyebrow and glanced meaningfully at Mr. G, unconsciously taking a step back. Mr. G. Yes, Mr. G, Li Changqing nodded. This is not the place to talk, let's go to the principal's office. Without a word, Lin Chen followed Li Changqing to the principal's office. Have a seat. Lin Chen sat on the sofa, stretched his hand towards the opposite sofa, and said, Don't be formal with me, treat this like your own home in the principal's office. Li Changqing's mouth twitched slightly as he looked at Lin Chen and Mr. G. I have some high quality Tiguanyin tea here, want some? Sure, Mr. G nodded but his gaze never left Lin Chen. Tiguanyin tea is getting boring, do you have lowly in tea? Lin Chen crossed his legs. Li Changqing was stunned, and the tea box in his hand accidentally hit the floor. What kind of tea is lowly in, he had never heard of it. Suddenly, a light bulb went off in his mind. He seemed to understand. We don't have lowly in, how about old man in? Li Changqing picked up the tea box. No, thanks, I'll just have some forgetful calf milk. No problem. Li Changqing made a call. In no time, the head teacher came in sweating profusely, carrying two boxes of forgetful calf milk. Mr. Qian, you're efficient, I'm satisfied, Li Changqing patted the head teacher's shoulder. This is Lin Chen, he will be a student at our school from now on. The head teacher approached, looking puzzled. Wasn't this Lin Chen who was expelled from 6th middle school? Why is he here? Mr. Chen, take care of him in the future, Lin Chen smiled at the head teacher. Oh, by the way, get me a bottle of milk. Head teacher. Mr. Chen, don't just stand there, Li Changqing urged. The head teacher was dumbfounded, feeling a bit confused now. But he managed to take out a bottle of forgetful calf milk from the box and handed it to Lin Chen. Where did this Lin Chen come from? Is he the principal's illegitimate child? But he doesn't look like it based on his age. All right, Mr. Chen, your task is done, you can leave now. Li Changqing waved his hand, I will answer your doubts in a moment. The headmaster nodded with a puzzled look and then left the principal's office. Not bad, still cold. Lin Chen took a sip, nodded in satisfaction. Li Changqing brewed the tea filled cups for himself and Ji Wen Chang. This is your new ID card and student card. Li Changqing took a sip of tea, took out two cards from his jacket pocket, and handed them to Lin Chen. 
Taking the ID card and student card, Lin Chen glanced at the photo on them. The face was somewhat similar to his own, quite handsome. But when he looked at the name column, Lin Chen frowned. Don't you need to change the name? Lin Chen pointed to the ID card. No need, there are so many people with the same name, others won't notice. Are you sure? Lin Chen had a black line on his face. Do you need to take a good look at what you printed for me? Li Chanqing was puzzled, took Lin Chen's ID card. Name, Fan, seeing the name on the ID card, Li Chanqing sprayed the tea in his mouth three meters away. The ID card was issued by the Enforcement Bureau, and he hadn't even looked at it. How about you just make do with it? Li Chongqing wiped his mouth, awkwardly smiling, anyway, you won't need it after the college entrance examination. Lin Chen, took back the ID card, eyes met. Principally, it's getting late, I should disguise Lin Chen now. Ji Wen Chang spoke up. Li Chongqing nodded, got up and walked out of the principal's office, closing the door. He naturally understood the rules. Before Lin Chen arrived, Ji Wen Chang had already told him that during Lin Chen's disguise, no third person should be present. In the spacious principal's office. Now there was only Ji Wen Chang with a smiling face and Lin Chen drinking milk. Why are you always smiling at me, gay? Lin Chen was wary. He had just noticed that this gay guy kept staring at him for no reason, with a slightly creepy smile. Lin Chen, we meet again. Ji Wen Chang tore at his face, revealing his original appearance. Pft Lin Chen sprayed out the milk in his mouth, exclaiming, Damn! You escaped again? Don't get excited. Bailey Gu wiped the milk off his face with a tissue, it's been a long time, just came to see you. Did you arrange for me to study at Ijong this time? Lin Chen frowned. Not really. Bailey Gu shook his head, crumpled the tissue and threw it into the trash. Really? Lin Chen was skeptical. Could his judgment be wrong? It shouldn't be, besides the Yuan family and Bailey Gu, he couldn't think of anyone else. Of course, I, Bailey Gu, never lie. Bailey Gu stared at Lin Chen, let me tell you some information, Wang Ji as Wang Shen was not arrested. The news clearly stated. Otherwise, do you think I'm blind? That Wang Xian is fake, the real Wang Xian is still in Wang Jia, and he is still studying at Liuzhong. Bailey Gu smiled, took out a USB drive and handed it to Lin Chen, this is the evidence of Wang Xian's disguise and escape. Lin Chen took the USB drive, looking hesitant, how do you have evidence of his disguise and escape? He he, because I was the one who disguised him. Bailey Gu's mouth curled up, letting him be caught by law enforcement would be too easy for him. As far as I know, he will take the college entrance examination under the identity of Wang Yu. It would be better for you to defeat him in the college entrance examination, expose him, and then take care of him yourself. And Wang Jia has sent out a large number of beast masters to try to kill you. Of dishes starting at seven digits, Lin Chen, considering Li Changqing couldn't eat meat, specifically ordered a few vegetarian dishes. Like boiled cabbage, fruit platter, scallions with sauce. Li Changqing looked at the sky-high prices of each dish, feeling a slight tremor in his heart. He quickly took the opportunity to go to the restroom and took two quick-acting heart pills. He took out his phone and dialed a number. Miss Qianmu, I am now at the Grand Hotel on the peak of the Purple Forbidden City with Lin Chen, but I don't have enough money in my hands. Li Changqing said with a bitter and embarrassed expression. Would one billion be enough? Enough, it's enough. Hmm, remember what Lin Chen likes to eat, I will transfer the money to you later. It seems like Lin Chen likes to drink forgetful calf milk. Got it, did you give him the key to the villa? I did. Alright, then I'll hang up. The sound of the phone hanging up came through, and Li Changqing felt relieved. After straightening his clothes, Li Changqing returned to the private room with a spirited look. The dishes arrived quickly, filling the air with fragrance. Lin Chen summoned Yueying, Miao Miao, and others from the beast space to join the feast. How could he not bring his beasts to such a grand meal? Looking at Lin Chen's beasts, Li Changqing looked surprised. He had heard that Lin Chen's beast was a dragon, and today he actually saw it for real. Principally, what are you looking at? Let's eat. 
Lin Chen mumbled, pointing to the vegetarian dishes in front of Li Changqing, these are all yours, don't be polite with me. Yue Ying, Miao Miao, and Jaleo, you guys eat quickly, Principal Li might not feel comfortable seeing meat. Li Changqing Li Changqing, nibbling on a cabbage leaf, began to doubt his life choices. He shouldn't have said that extra sentence. All these were meat of fierce beasts, consuming them would enhance a human's physique. Opportunities to come here were rare, and now he could only watch with envy. The meal was enjoyed by all except Li Changqing. After paying 88.92 million dragon coins, Li Changqing drove Lin Chen towards the villa. Lin Chen, do you need any help with your beasts? Li Changqing, with a determined look, said, just let me know, I will help you gather everything. Actually, I do. Since you are so generous, I won't hold back. Lin Chen's mouth curved up, feeling sleepy and asking for a pillow, 200 grams of five-tailed shadow fox blood, 150 grams of soul-eating demon centipede blood, 100 grams of electric leopard blood, and 200 grams of armor-breaking dragon blood. No problem, I will have them delivered to you once I find them. Li Changqing replied without hesitation. After all, he was just helping to inquire, he didn't need to find them himself. And among the required blood of fierce beasts, there was even dragon blood involved, although it was only a sub-dragon species, it was still a very difficult thing to obtain. Oh, by the way, don't forget to report to school tomorrow, your class is class one of the third year. Li Changqing slapped his forehead, almost forgetting about this. The car soon stopped at the entrance of Lin Chen's new villa, and after bidding farewell, Lin Chen and Li Changqing entered the villa. The villa was large, but only he lived there. Nevertheless, it was fine, at least he had his own place. He took out his phone and sent a message to Yuan Bao. Lin Shen, Yuan Bao, I have a place to live now, Li Changqing assigned me a villa. Yuan Bao, assigned a villa? Chen Ge, are you kidding me? Surprise slash, Lin Chen, villaphoto.jpg, how is it? Looks good, right? Yuan Bao, awesome, Chen Ge. I didn't expect the principal to be so generous. Lin Chen, I think Li Changqing is quite generous, he even took me to the Grand Hotel on the peak of the Purple Forbidden City for a meal today, but he doesn't like to eat meat, only vegetarian, what a pity. Yuan Bao. In the neighboring villa. Xianmu, your beloved little lover is back. Ouyang Yao stood up from the window and bounced over to Ouyang Xianmu, why don't we go next door and chat with him? Yao Yao, this, isn't it inappropriate? Ouyang Chenmu's face blushed slightly as she rubbed the hem of her clothes with both hands, it's too presumptuous. Really, why do I feel like you're the shy one? Ouyang Yao covered her mouth and smirked. I'm not. Ouyang Chenmu's face blushed even more, humph, ya Yao, you're teasing me again, take this. Ouyang Chenmu got up and pounced on Ouyang Yao, and the two girls rolled into a ball on the bed. Giggle giggle giggle. Shenmu, I was wrong, don't tickle me, I was wrong, wrong, Shenmu, giggle giggle giggle. Ouyang Yao pleaded repeatedly, her body trembling, her silver bell-like laughter lingering in the room. Ten minutes later, Ouyang Yao finally escaped from Ouyang Shenmu's clutches, blushing as she sat up and straightened her disheveled clothes. Sis, wait for me, I'll go call Lin Chen for you. With that, Ouyang Yao dashed out of the room like a streak of smoke. Ouyang Chenmu was taken aback, looking around the room but finding no trace of Ouyang Yao. Passing by the bathroom, Ouyang Yao blinked her big eyes and smirked slightly. She raised her hand, a blue magic circle appeared, and a spirit beast was summoned by her command. Ian, attack the water pipe, make a big hole. Ouyang Yao ordered. Boom! An attack flashed by, the water pipe broke with a loud sound, and water gushed out. Not bad, I'm truly a genius. Ouyang Yao snapped her fingers, then led the spirit beast to the kitchen and other places where water pipes were visible. Boom boom boom. The water pipes kept bursting, water continuously spraying out. Watching her handiwork, Ouyang Yao nodded in satisfaction, recalled the spirit beast, and hurried towards Lin Chen's villa. Ding dong. Lin Chen, who was chatting with Yuan Bao, heard the doorbell ring suddenly. He got up and walked towards the door, opening it to see a breathless girl standing in front of him. Who are you? Lin Chen looked puzzled, 
eyeing the girl up and down. Handsome, please help, the water pipe in my house is broken. Oh Yang Yao looked anxious. Lin Chen raised an eyebrow, the water pipe is broken, you should call a plumber, I don't know how to fix it. The plumber is too far from here, handsome, please help, please, it's really urgent. Oh Yang Yao pleaded with her hands together. I really don't know how to fix it, don't blame me if I make it worse. Lin Chen shrugged. Oh Yang Yao urged, it's okay, even if you demolish the house. Lin Chen? Following Oh Yang Yao into the villa, Lin Chen was puzzled to see the ankle-deep water. This was a villa, how could a broken water pipe cause this? There's quite a lot of water flowing. Lin Chen scratched his head, take me to see, I'll see if I can stop it. Okay, follow me. Oh Yang Yao nodded. Following Oh Yang Yao to the bathroom, Lin Chen frowned as he looked at the water pipe. The middle of the pipe was missing a section, how could he block it? Handsome, can you fix it? Said you're from the Ouyang family in Kyoto, do you know the Xiao family in Kyoto? Yes, I know, Ouyang Qianmu replied. What about the Xiao family, she asked in confusion. Lin Chen said, the Xiao family is the insider of the Sakura country. They brought in the Sakura ghosts in the secret realm, and the goal of those Sakura ghosts is to kill everyone in the secret realm. What? Ouyang Qianmu was shocked. The Xiao family is an insider of the Sakura country. Why, aren't you nervous now? Lin Chen teased as the girl suddenly spoke fluently. I? I'm not, Ouyang Qianmu lowered her head slightly again. You were fine just now, Lin Chen smiled and took out his phone to play a video. Look, this is the confession of the Sakura ghosts. Ouyang Qianmu leaned over next to Lin Chen, her beautiful eyes fixed on the video playing. Smelling the fragrance coming from the girl, Lin Chen couldn't help but feel a bit dry in the mouth. He turned slightly, and a flash of white light dazzled his eyes. Lin Chen quickly looked up, swearing that he didn't mean it. Lin. Lin Chen, can you send me this video? After watching the video, Ouyang Chenmu asked Lin Chen. No problem, Lin Chen readily agreed. Although he didn't know how powerful the Ouyang family was in Kyoto, or if they could beat the Xiao family, the Sakura ghosts almost killed Ouyang Qianmu. With this, they would definitely not let it go. The two exchanged contact information, and Lin Chen quickly sent the video over. As they chatted, Ouyang Qianmu no longer stuttered and completely returned to her natural state. Late at night, Lin Chen lay on the big bed and fell asleep. In another room, Ouyang Qianmu was solemnly making a phone call. The next morning, Lin Chen stretched lazily, kicked the blanket away, and after freshening up, he walked down the stairs. Looking at the breakfast on the table and the two women beside it, Lin Chen was slightly surprised. Lin Chen, come and have breakfast. Oh Yang Yao held a spoon and gestured, my sister won't let me eat until you come down, I'm starving. Lin Chen sat down, looking at the fragrant porridge and various side dishes in front of him, and asked, did you make all of these? Yes. Ouyang Chinmu nodded gently, rubbing the corner of his clothes, thank you for taking us in yesterday. I didn't know what you like to eat, so I made something random. The taste is very good, Lin Chen praised after taking a sip of porridge. As long as you like it, Ouyang Chinmu smiled lightly. TSK Tisk. Ouyang Yao pursed her lips, buried her head in the porridge, ignoring the two. It's really annoying to be all lovey-dovey early in the morning. Women in love can be really scary, dragging her out of bed early in the morning to cook. She hasn't even woken up yet, and the most important thing is that she can't eat after cooking. After breakfast, the three of them drove to Ijeon. During their chat yesterday, Lin Chen learned that Ouyang Chenmu transferred to Ijeon, and Ouyang Yao also studied at Ijeon. Coincidentally, they were all in the same class as him, in class 3 year 1. It just so happened that he could catch a ride in the morning. The villa was not far from Ijeon, and they arrived in five minutes. Look, isn't that Ouyang school flowers car? Why is there a man getting out of the car? Not just a man, there's also another beautiful woman. Wow, this beauty is even more beautiful than Ouyang school flower. Is she a student in our school? I've never seen her before. Is she a transfer student? I don't know, we'll find out in a bit. 
Lulu, that guy is so handsome. I want to ask for his contact info. Didn't you see that he came with Ouyang school flower? I think you should forget about it. But he's really handsome. Lin Chen and the Ouyang sisters walked towards the teaching building, with students whispering along the way. I didn't expect you to be a school flower. Lin Chen chuckled and looked at Ouyang Yao. How can my willow-like figure compare to my sisters? They're just idle. Ouyang Yao shrugged and walked quickly. You guys go to the headmaster's office, I'll wait for you in the classroom. In the headmaster's office, Shen Yuwei was bending over, trimming a pot of money tree on the ground. Hey, Xiao Qian. Lin Chen suddenly popped out, patting Qian Yuwei's shoulder. Good morning. Have you eaten? Click. Xian Yuwei was startled, and the money tree was instantly split in the middle. Xian Yuwei looked incredulously at the money tree with a center part, then his face turned pale. Turning around in anger, when he saw who it was, he deflated like a balloon. Can't you make a sound when you walk? Xian Yuwei looked at Lin Chen with a mournful face. The origin of this person was clearly explained by the principal yesterday. Can't afford to offend, can't afford to offend, must treat him respectfully. I just wanted to give you a surprise, didn't I? Lin Chen grinned with a big smile. Your milk was really good yesterday, so bring me two more boxes today. The milk is no problem, I've prepared it for you. It was just a surprise to see you suddenly. Qian Yuwei wiped his hands, put the scissors back on the table, and then took out two boxes of forgetful calf milk and two sets of textbooks from under the desk. Xiao Qian, you're really efficient. Lin Chen patted Qian Yuwei's shoulder and gave him a thumbs up. It's my duty. I'll contact the homeroom teacher of class 1. Xian Yuwei smiled and took out his phone, calling the homeroom teacher of class 1. In less than two minutes, the homeroom teacher of class 1 arrived. After Chen Yuwei explained, the homeroom teacher carried two boxes of forgetful calf milk in one hand and two sets of textbooks in the other, leading Lin Shan and Ouyang Chen Mu towards class 1. Entering the classroom, the homeroom teacher placed the items under the platform and cleared his throat. Aham, this is Lin Chen, and this is Ouyang Chinmu, the two new students who transferred to our class. Let's give them a round of applause. Clap clap clap. The applause thundered, mixed with many whispers. Hearing the whispers below, Lin Chen shrugged. There was nothing he could do, being too handsome often left him dizzy when looking in the mirror. He didn't even dare to look in the mirror too much when he woke up every day, afraid of getting lost in his own charm. What could he do about these female classmates below discussing him with affectionate eyes, however, Ouyang Qianmu on one side did not look good. More than ten women were already sending flirtatious glances to Lin Chen as soon as they arrived. The homeroom teacher pressed his hand and the applause stopped. Lin Chen, Qianmu, you two sit in the row by the window. The homeroom teacher pointed to the two empty seats by the window. Ouyang Qianmu sat on the side by the window, and Lin Chen sat on the outer side. Under the homeroom teacher's droning voice, Lin Chen couldn't resist falling asleep again. Time flew by and it was already the end of the third class. Looking at Lin Chen sleeping soundly beside her, Ouyang Qianmu smiled slightly and took out her phone to take a picture. At that moment, a bald student swaggered in through the back door of the classroom, followed by five or six students. Some students in the class quickly slipped away upon seeing this. The bald student was a big shot in the school relying on the fact that his uncle was the deputy director of the law enforcement bureau to act arrogantly in the school. Ordinary students dared not provoke him and kept their distance. You punk, are you the one not paying protection money? The bald student glared, pointing at a bespectacled boy at the back. Wild brother, I. I really don't have any money. I used it all to cultivate my spirit beast. The bespectacled boy nodded repeatedly, his legs trembling. Get lost. The bald student lifted his foot and kicked the bespectacled boy, sending him flying several meters away, causing desks and chairs to be knocked over. The bespectacled boy's mouth was bleeding, his face filled with fear as he watched the bald student and his followers approaching him. Who the hell are you, messing with my sleep? Lin Chen was awakened by the commotion, angrily raising his head. He hated being disturbed while sleeping. 
The bald student was taken aback, frowning as he looked in Lin Chen's direction. You punk, who are you talking to? One of the followers cursed. Hey, haven't seen you before, new here, huh? I advise you to kneel down and apologize to our wild brother, and then pay a hundred thousand in protection money, or else you're done for. Another follower sneered at Lin Chen. Just a hundred thousand? Come here, I'll give it to you. Lin Chen beckoned to the follower. The bald student nodded, and the follower arrogantly walked towards Lin Chen, reaching out his hand from a higher position. Lin Chen grabbed the follower's hand and threw him out of the third floor window. Ah! A scream rang out, and everyone present was shocked, except for Ouyang Qianmu, whose expression remained unchanged but with a hint of killing intent in her eyes as she looked at the bald student and his group. Lin Chen stood up nonchalantly and walked towards the bald student and the remaining followers. What? Who gave you the courage to mess with me and ask for money? Li Ham Wang? Lin Chen raised his hand and slapped the bald student's shiny forehead, leaving five bright red fingerprints. The bald student was stunned by Lin Chen's move, staggering back a few steps and leaning against the wall. Damn! You dare hit me! The bald student shook his head and shouted at the followers, Get him! I'll take responsibility if anything happens! The followers looked at each other and then surrounded Lin Chen. Ouyang Qianmu's heart tightened as she reached for the dagger in her backpack to help. Before she could get up, she saw Lin Chen kick one of the followers in the stomach, sending him crashing through the window and flying out just like the previous follower. The remaining followers rushed forward, and a cold smile appeared on Lin Chen's lips. He spat accurately into the mouth of the approaching follower, who was left stunned and gagging. The follower's face turned pale, and he stopped in his tracks, doubled over in pain. The other three followers, seeing the fate of their comrade, closed their mouths warily Lin Chen raised his fist and threw a series of punches at the closest follower. The follower, under the chaotic and relentless punches, gritted his teeth in resentment as his mouth continuously spewed out fallen teeth. Lin Chen kicked away a follower who was trying to sneak up from behind with a donkey kick. Crack! Another follower who was attempting a sneak attack suddenly showed a pained expression, clutching his waist tightly as his fist, originally aimed at Lin Chen, suddenly held his waist. Obviously, he had exerted too much force and hurt his waist. With ease, all six followers were dealt with. Lin Chen clapped his hands and coldly walked towards the bald student. Don't come any closer. My uncle is the deputy director of the Enforcement Bureau. You'll regret it if you touch me. The bald student's face was filled with fear. This guy had taken care of all six of his followers, so he definitely couldn't beat him. Deputy director, so what? Ha! Huh? Lin Chen sneered, can he save you now? If necessary, he could just find Bai Li Gui Rong to change his appearance, regardless of whether he was a deputy director or not. Lin Chen, wait a minute. At the door, the headmaster Qian Yue hurried over, followed by two teachers and some students. Ha, brat, now that Headmaster Qian is here, you still want to mess with me? The bald student instantly became arrogant, pointing to his face, come on, if you dare, hit me. Qian Yue. Are you begging me to hit you? Lin Chen laughed, clenching his fist, then I'll grant your wish. He had never seen someone beg to be hit, and he wouldn't let them down. With a punch, the bald student's nose bled, blood oozed from his mouth, and teeth kept falling out. His head spun, and he collapsed on the ground. Lin Chen squatted down and wiped the blood from his fist on the bald student's clothes. Xiao Qian, what did you call me for just now? Lin Chen stood up with a smile and looked at Qian Yue. It's nothing, as long as you're happy. Qian Yue's mouth twitched continuously, looking helpless. This bald student was really asking for trouble. If he had come alone, Lin Chen might have been lenient. But if you keep acting up, it's unforgivable. All right, there are two downstairs, the rest are here, take him away. Lin Chen waved his hand and returned to his seat. Okay. Qian Yue nodded and gestured for the two teachers to take the bald student away. Wait, leave this one behind and chairs in the classroom had been neatly rearranged. Up, require buying. Xian Mu, a diamond-qualified beast egg can't be bought on the market. 
If purchased through certain channels, it could cost hundreds of billions, Oh Yang Yao added. Wow, that's so valuable. Lin Chan's eyes lit up instantly. He hadn't expected that a diamond qualified egg could sell for so much. He was determined to win first place. As they approached the beast battle platform, the homeroom teacher took out a phone and opened an app. The app's function was simple, randomize the battles. With 48 students in the class, the matchups were quickly determined. First match, Ouyang Qian Mu vs, the homeroom teacher announced. Sis, I didn't expect you to be in the first match. Ouyang Yao exclaimed. Ouyang Qian Mu was so shy that she wished she could find a hole to hide in, with so many people around, couldn't they wait for a private moment to talk? Just outside the perimeter wall, not far. Lin Chen was puzzled. Just going out to kill a few fierce beasts in the wilderness, why did she need to prepare? Prepare for what? I? I? Ouyang Chen Mu lowered her head, stuttering. Lin Chen, you're such a pervert, I never thought you were that kind of person. My sister is a pure and innocent girl, how could you take her to the wilderness to do such things? Ouyang Yao looked at Lin Chen as if he were a pervert. She never expected Lin Chen to look so handsome but have such thoughts. Poor Qin Mu's sister, Sai. Lin Chen? I just wanted to go out and kill some fierce beasts, how does that make me a pervert? What does it have to do with a pure and innocent girl? Lin Chen retorted. Oh Yang Yao. Oh, so you wanted to kill fierce beasts? Oh Yang Qin Mu raised her head. What else? Why are you suddenly stuttering again? And why are you all looking at me strangely? Lin Chen was puzzled. Brother Lin, there was something wrong with what you just said, a small yellow-haired person in front turned around to remind him. You said you wanted, um, field battle. Isn't field battle the same as wild battle? Lin Chen retorted again. You're right, Brother Lin, the small yellow-haired person chuckled. It's my lack of knowledge. Concentration is the essence. Lin Chen. I? I have time anytime, we can go kill the ferocious beast whenever. Ouyang Chen Mu said softly. Okay, let's go after school today then, Lin Chen's mouth curled up, making an okay gesture. Anyway, he could only let the phoenix use its talent, his goal was to replicate the talent. He wouldn't mind a small misunderstanding. There was no choice, his vision was big. Take me with you, take me with you. I want to go too. Oh Yang Yao quickly spoke up. I'm a pervert, so I can't take you, Lin Chen said. Yao Yao, the wilderness is too dangerous, you better not go, Oh Yang Chen Mu said. Oh Yang Yao? Damn, these two are already rejecting me? Oh Yang Yao pouted, lost in thought. In the tenth match, Lin Chen vs. Fong Lei. Unconsciously, it was Lin Chen's turn to take the stage. Lin Chen moved his wrist a bit and strode towards the battle platform. Brother Lin, my sister has admired you for a long time, please go easy on her, Fong Lei blinked her big eyes and coquettishly said. My sister can be accommodating, Brother Lin, you know, Lin Chen looked her over and shook his head, too young, not interested. Fong Lei? Sister, there's a little fairy trying to seduce Lin Chen. Ouyang Yao stopped pondering and whispered in Ouyang Chen Mu's ear. Oomph, Ouyang Chen Mu snorted coldly, looked down at his toes, but couldn't see them. The class teacher had a black line on his face, the battle begins. Lin Chen had a thought and a magic array appeared, summoning Meow Meow. Fong Lei raised her hand to summon her own beast. Master, should the opponent's beast be killed or spared? Meow Meow grinned, moved its claws in an attacking posture. Lin Chen, spare it. No problem, Meow Meow nodded. The students below, including the class teacher, were shocked once again. Did I miss here just now? The silver ear cat actually spoke? Huh, I pinched myself and it didn't hurt. Was I dreaming? Damn it, you pinched me. Brother Lin is amazing, even his contracted silver ear cat is so awesome. Damn. I'm now Brother Lin's number one fanboy. It can talk, so envious. Fang Lei on the other side was equally shocked, but defeating Lin Chen was the main focus now. Thunder Lion, use Thunder Charge Cannon, Fang Lei ordered. 
Roar! The thunder lion roared like thunder, purple electric arcs constantly flickering on its body, gathering a large amount of electric energy in its mouth, ready to launch an attack on Meow Meow. The next second, a sudden change occurred. Pft a fart sound suddenly rang out. Damn, a stink bomb. Meow Meow quickly covered its nose and jumped back two steps. The thunder lion's eyes bulged, a look of pain on its lion face, and the electric energy it had gathered in its mouth dissipated instantly. Pfft, a few more fart sounds came. On the platform, there was silence, only the lingering stench. Everyone involuntarily moved back, away from the platform. Lin Chen. Pfft, the thunder lion suddenly poured out, turning into a shotgun-like spray towards the back, and Fong Lei was right behind it. In an instant, Fong Lei was sprayed all over. Fong Lei stood still in place, completely stunned. You. Lin Chen couldn't help it, he squatted down on the side and retched. This was damn disgusting, what the hell? Taking a shit during a battle, and spraying the beast tamer all over. You. Miao Miao came to Lin Chen's side and also retched. Lin Chen and it were the closest, the sensory and olfactory impact was the strongest, this was damn biochemical warfare. I don't know what this dead lion ate, but the stuff it excreted had such a strong smell. One turd didn't stop, another one came, pfft. Pfft, pfft, the. Flowers of the thunder lion are constantly blooming like a gatling shotgun. Fan Lei was severely damaged, with her body and face covered in a yellowish color. Ah. Fan Lei screamed, echoing throughout the playground. But. The outcome of opening one's mouth can be imagined. Lin Chen, fuck. Don't disgust me. Meow meow, master, I can't take it anymore, I'd rather fight with the golden stage. The thunder lion's four legs went weak and fainted. Fong Lei also fainted. In the tenth round, Lin Chen wins, you. The homeroom teacher announced while gagging. Lin Chen took back meow meow and ran away at a speed of 120 miles per hour on two legs. The homeroom teacher contacted the school clinic. Several doctors, wearing masks, carried Fong Lei, who was yellowed, away with great effort, while two powerful apes tearfully put the thunder lion on a cart. After changing the venue, the battle continued. Lin Chen, are you okay? Seeing Lin Chen looking disheartened, Ouyang Chen Mu asked with concern. I'm fine, it's just, you. Lin Chen waved his hand, recalling the scene and gagging again. Have some milk to calm down, if it's not enough, I have more. Ouyang Chen Mu said softly. Stop thinking about it, Lin Chen, it's just blooming. Ouyang Yao also comforted, the more you think, the worse you feel. You. Lin Chen sprayed out the milk he had just drunk. You, don't speak. Lin Chen wiped his mouth and pointed at Ouyang Yao. Ouyang Chen Mu nodded in agreement, yes, Yao Yao, don't speak for now. Extravagant, Lin Chen raised an eyebrow. Can't I order more dishes for my brother? Yuan Bao said firmly, this is what I should do. If it weren't for the fear of waste, I would want to order more. Lin Chen hugged his shoulders, I understand now, you want to send me away. How could that be? Chen Ji Yi, you are my brother-in-law, who else should I treat well if not you? Yuan Bao scratched his head with a silly smile, his implication was clear. Ouyang Chen Mu frowned slightly, looking a bit displeased. Yuan Bo, when did Lin Chen become your brother-in-law? Oh Yang Yao coldly snorted, if anyone should be, it should be my brother-in-law. Lin Chen? Oh Yang Yao, Chen Ji has long been my brother-in-law, he and my sister even collapsed the house. Yuan Bao retorted. Lin Chen? Oh Yang Yao sneered, collapsed the house? Lin Chen even said he wanted to go on a field battle with my sister, the walls might collapse, what does your sister have to compete with mine? Lin Chen? Yuan Bao, Shen Ji Yi helped my sister advance in beast taming. Your sister didn't get that treatment, right? Oh Yang Yao, Lin Chen fed my sister milk. Your sister didn't enjoy that, right? Yuan Bao, Shen Ji Yi used to live in my house, meeting my sister every day, do you know about their relationship? Oh Yang Yao, my sister and I stayed in Lin Chen's house yesterday, sharing a room, do you know what happened? Yuan Bao, my sister was. 
Oh Yang Yao, my sister has. Oh Yang Yao, damn it, I can't stand it anymore. Beast Taming Showdown. Yuan Bao, bring it on. I'm not afraid of you. Oh Yang Yao raised her hand, a blue magic circle appeared out of thin air, summoning the beast. Yuan Bao raised his hand, a purple magic circle appeared out of thin air, summoning his own beast. Stop. Are you two going to demolish the building? Lin Chen rubbed his forehead, he was completely confused. When did he do all these things? How come he didn't know about it? Can you two calm down and have a meal? Lin Chen stood up, and when you make up stories, can you consider the feelings of the people involved? Humph. I won't argue with you today for the sake of my brother-in-law. Yuan Bao coldly snorted, raised his hand to retract the beast and returned to his seat. If my brother-in-law doesn't speak up, I'll personally throw you off the building. Oh Yang Yao also returned to her seat, like a fierce little wildcat. Just then, the closed door was pushed open. Yuan Shui walked in. Sister? Why are you here? Yuan Bao was surprised. His sister's tone just now was very serious, as if she wanted to kill him. How come she suddenly came back? What's going on? Could it be that she really fell in love with my brother Chun? It seems so, indeed. Brother Chen is awesome. I just happened to have not eaten lunch yet, so I came over. Yuan Shue smiled gracefully and sat next to Lin Chen. However, her gaze had been locked with Ouyang Chen Mu's, a hint of gunpowder gradually rising. Hello, I'm Yuan Shue. Yuan Shue smiled and reached out her hand to Ouyang Chen Mu. Hello, I'm Ouyang Chen Mu. Ouyang Chen Mu smiled and shook hands in response. The hands of the two women slowly turned slightly red, obviously exerting force against each other. Ouyang Chen Mu, Shue Mimi's hands are really soft. Yuan Shue, Chen Mu Mimi is not bad either. With that, the two let go of each other's hands and sat down again, looking at each other with smiles. Oh Yang Chen Mu, Shui Mimi must be thirsty after coming all the way here. This is the milk Lin Chen gave me. I haven't had a chance to drink it yet. You go ahead and moisten your throat. Yuan Shui took the milk and trembled in her heart, still smiling, Chen Mu Mimi is really considerate. Oh Yang Chen Mu, Shui Mimi, don't be polite with me. We hit it off as soon as we met. Yuan Shui, Shen Mu Mimi is right. As the Swanam music started playing, dishes kept being placed on the table. Finally, it's time to eat. I'm starving. Listening to the two women chatting for a while, Lin Chen felt a headache coming on. It turns out that the relationship between women is so simple, they hit it off at first sight. Lin Chen Gige, try this dish. It's good. Yuan Shui picked up a piece of wood ear with her chopsticks and put it in Lin Chen's plate. Ha! Huh? Lin Chen was puzzled and reached out towards Yuan Shui's forehead, are you not feeling well? What's wrong? Yuan Shui giggled, no, isn't this our bet? Shen Mumimi, don't misunderstand, I just lost a bet to Lin Chen. No misunderstanding, Gidge, this abalone is really good, the juice is rich. Try it quickly, it's not good when it gets cold. Ouyang Chen Mu chuckled, picked up an abalone and put it in Lin Chen's plate. Lin Chen was puzzled, looking at Ouyang Chen Mu. Gij, the dish won't taste good when it's cold. Eat more, this dish is also very good. Ouyang Chen Mu said softly, picking up an oyster and putting it in Lin Chen's plate again. Yuan Shui scooped up a spoonful of tonic soup and brought it to Lin Chen's mouth. Lin Chen Gij, this is good for your health. Odiang Chen Mu picked up a black sesame ball and handed it to Lin Chen's mouth, Gij, this is good for your kidneys Lin. Shun. Gij, I'll toast you. Yuan Bao stood up and poured himself a glass of wine. Ouyang Chen Mu and Yuan Shui each took a bottle of wine and poured it into Lin Chen's glass. Red mixed with white, Lin Chen's mouth twitched. He understood, these two women wanted to give him a stomach perforation. He understood. He realized. He finally found out why things felt off. I don't drink, you know. Lin Chen smiled, then I'll drink milk with alcohol. As soon as he finished speaking, Ouyang Chen Mu swiftly opened a bottle of milk on the table, Gij, drink my milk. 
Yuan Shui did the same, Lin Chen Gij, drink my milk, mine is more, Shen Mumimi's is too little. Lin Chen. Too wicked. They want to poison him with milk. He didn't provoke them, what's going on? Lin Chen was puzzled, confused, and terrified. The milk is a bit greasy, I'll just drink water. Lin Chen picked up a bottle of farmer's punch from the table and drank it all in one go. Seeing Lin Chen gulp down the drink, Yuan Bao was slightly stunned, then drank the wine in his glass in one go. Time passed like the dishes on the table, continuously being placed in Lin Chen's plate. Burp Lin Chen belched helplessly. He felt like the food had reached his throat. This automatic feeding was really terrifying. He had never been so full in both his lifetimes. Immortals, please stop using your divine powers. I really can't eat anymore, burp. Lin Shen looked mournfully at the half-person high pile of food on his plate, what did I do to offend you too? Just tell me directly, no need to try to stuff me to death, burp. Odiang Chen Mu, Gij, Shui Mimi and I were just afraid you wouldn't eat enough. Isn't that right, Shui Mimi? Yuan Shui nodded, yes, you're still growing, it's always good to eat more. Lin Chen. I thank you both, burp. Lin Chen belched and stood up unsteadily, bow, take me back to school, burp. Yuan Bao quickly got up, supporting the swaying Lin Chen towards the door, passing by the Swona Pl a level 22 black iron tier steel armor bull. Miao Miao nodded, gathering wind energy in its claws. Steel armor bull, use barbaric charge, knock it out before it can use any skills. The junior student quickly commanded. Moo. The steel armor bull stomped its hooves fiercely, charging straight towards Miao Miao like a tank. Unfortunately, things didn't go as planned, and the hooves slipped. Crack. As it ran, the front left hoof of the steel armor bull tripped over the front right hoof, and a bone cracking sound suddenly rang out. Lin Chen winced at the sound. Due to inertia, the steel armor bull rolled towards Miao Miao. When it stopped a meter in front of Miao Miao, its head was facing Miao Miao's claws. Boom! Without hesitation, Miao Miao unleashed the wind energy directly. The steel armor bull lost its fighting ability in this one strike. The match is over, Lin Shen successfully advances. The referee teacher immediately announced. Retrieving Miao Miao, Lin Shen walked off the battle platform helplessly. A high school student was disheveled in the wind, isn't this battle just beginning? Why did it end so soon? What's going on? Why did I trip while running? This has never happened before. There are no obstacles on the ground either. Lin Shen didn't know what the high school student was thinking. Lin Shen, why do I feel like your opponents are not doing well? Oh Yang Yao pouted, so many accidents. Maybe I'm just lucky. Lin Shen sat back in his seat, crossing his legs. Oh Yang Yao said, it's so strange, I don't want to be matched with you as an opponent. You never know, you also advanced, maybe the next match will be between you and me, Lin Shen chuckled. The competition proceeded quickly, half successfully advanced, half regretfully failed. Lin Chen once again walked up to the screen, entered his student ID, and checked who his opponent was. Ouyang Chen Mu and Ouyang Yao were also watching. See, it's really a match. Lin Chen shrugged, pointing at the screen. You're such a jinx. Ouyang Yao exclaimed, her pretty face losing color. Becoming Lin Chen's opponent, whether a beast tamer or a beast, was not a good outcome, especially for Fong Lei, who was sprayed until she turned yellow. She still felt nauseous thinking about it. Ya yeah, Yao, yeah, Lin Chen just said it casually, it's the machine's fault for the match, don't blame Lin Chen, Oh Yang Chen will comfort it softly. Oh Yang Yao. My sister, I am truly fortunate. Really? No hope. After checking the match information, Oh Yang Yao sat back in her seat feeling sulky. Since we are neighbors, I'll go easy on you later, Lin Chen said. It's okay, Lin Chen, Yao Yao's strength is not weak, you don't have to go easy on her. If you let her win, she will definitely feel it's not honorable, humph, who needs you to go easy on me? I will definitely surprise you on the battlefield. Oh Yang Yao snorted. Do you have any secret weapons? Lin Chen asked in confusion. Of course, Oh Yang Yao said proudly. Then I'll wait and see, Lin Chen shrugged. 
Lin Chen glanced at Ouyang Yao's panel, the beasts were the same, nothing different. Looking at the battle platform, Lin Chen was surprised to see Yuan Bao on platform 22. Lin Chen watched with interest as the thunderstorm spitting fire camel and a horse with wings burning with flames battled. Looking at the student on Yuan Bao's side, Lin Chen couldn't help but curse in his mind. Is this guy crazy, coming to be a student again? How can I see him everywhere? It seemed like he noticed being watched, by Li Gu, disguised as a student, looked towards Lin Chen's direction. The two locked eyes, by Li Gu's mouth curved slightly. Lin Chen raised a middle finger. As expected, Bai Li Gu's alpaca was defeated by Bai Li Gu's beast in five rounds. Xian Mu, do you know about the Bai Li family? The Bai Li family in Kyoto? Ouyang Qian Mu asked. Yes, how does your Ouyang family compare to them? Lin Shen was surprised, he didn't expect the Bai Li family to be in Kyoto. The Bai Li family ranks in the top five in Kyoto, our Ouyang family is just a small family, how can we compare to the Bai Li family? Ouyang Qian Mu propped his chin, then changed the subject, but the Bai Li family had a big incident, quite tragic. Ouyang Yao's mouth twitched slightly, thinking to herself, it's quite small, the whole long kingdom is under your grandfather's control. Oh? Lin Chen was surprised, what big incident? Bai Li Gu, the eldest son of the Bai Li family in Kyoto, disappeared three years ago, the entire Bai Li family went crazy looking for him but couldn't find him, Ouyang Chen Mu replied. That's quite tragic, maybe he was taken away as a mental patient, Lin Chen pretended to sigh, but he already had an answer in his mind. Why suddenly ask about the Bai Li family? Ouyang Chen Mu asked. Oh, just curious while browsing on Wando, Lin Chen smiled, I saw it and wanted to ask. Okay, Ouyang Chen Mu nodded, soon, it was Lin Chen and Ouyang Yao's turn to battle on stage. If there are any issues, you can raise them now. If there are no issues, the battle will begin immediately, the referee looked at Lin Chen and Ouyang Yao. None, Lin Chen shook his head. I do. Ouyang Yao raised her hand. My stomach hurts. I can't continue this match, even if he wins, Ouyang Yao pointed at Lin Chen. Lin Chen? Is this what Ouyang Yao calls a secret weapon? It's quite surprising. Humph. Ouyang Yao turned and walked away. The referee. Is this how matches are played now, so casually? Helplessly shaking his head, the referee announced the result of the match. Piaji. Ah. Ouyang Yao suddenly fell to the ground, her pretty face slightly contorted, her lips constantly sucking in cool air. Lin Chen. What's going on? Is this really her problem? Lin Chen hurried over, wanting to help Ouyang Yao up. After all, they were neighbors, so he should take care of her. Lin Chen, I think you really have a problem, Ouyang Yao trembled as she stood up. You're too mysterious. I already admitted defeat. Forget about me for now. Look, you're bleeding. Go to the medical room and get it bandaged, Lin Chen casually noticed a faint red mark on Ouyang Yao's pants. Ouyang Yao was startled by his words, her pretty face instantly turning crimson. Bandage my foot. Get lost. Ouyang Yao endured the pain and ran into the bathroom, muttering, damn straight guy. Don't you bandage when you're bleeding? Lin Chen scratched his head, puzzled. Women are really strange. He walked back to the waiting area and took his seat. Lin Chen, what happened to Yao Yao just now? Ouyang Qian Mu quickly asked, why did she run off on her own? I'm not sure. I saw blood on her pants, so I asked her if she needed bandaging, and she just ran off, Lin Chen replied truthfully. Ouyang Qian Mu. In the next moment, Ouyang Qian Mu's phone rang. Sis, help me, quickly go to my bag and get my Wall Street Journal, and find me a pair of pants. I'm in the bathroom. Ah, uh, okay, I'll be right there. After hanging up the phone, Ouyang Chen Mu felt a bit flustered. Where did she go to find pants? Oh well, she decided to head back to the classroom first. Lin Chen, I'll go find Yao Yao first, Ouyang Chen Mu said, getting up and running off. Lin Chen seemed to understand what was going on. It seemed like that time had come. But it shouldn't be his problem, he's not a fairy. 
An hour later, Ouyang Qianmu helped Ouyang Yao back. Ouyang Yao had changed into a new pair of pants, still holding her abdomen and sucking in cool air. Lin Chen. Ouyang Yao gritted her teeth. Drink some milk, it might help. Maybe the pain will go away, Lin Chen's mouth twitched slightly as he handed Ouyang Yao a bottle of milk. Humph. Ouyang Yao coldly snorted. Yao Yao, Lin Chen means well. Just drink it, Ouyang Qianmu took the bottle of milk, inserted a straw, and handed it to Ouyang Yao. Pouting, Ouyang Yao reluctantly took a sip. Ouyang Yao? Glug glug, in an instant, Ouyang Yao sucked the entire straw dry. It, it doesn't hurt anymore? Ouyang Yao was surprised, looking at Lin Chen with a more mysterious gaze. Lin Chen, do you know some kind of magic? I don't know. I think it might just be psychological. I'm not a fairy, how could a bottle of milk cure all ailments? Lin Chen frowned. Ouyang Yao contemplated. Perhaps Lin Chen was right. It was probably just a coincidence. She had experienced pain before, but it had never been this bad. Lin Chen wasn't a fairy, so how could he control when the pain came? It was still a bit mysterious. The competition continued to heat up, and Ouyang Chenmu encountered Lin Chen in the top four. Ouyang Chenmu chose to surrender directly, as she had witnessed Lin Chen's strength in the secret realm and didn't think she could beat him, and she also wanted to see Lin Chen take first place, there was no need for internal strife. Ouyang Chenmu battled against another defeated contestant, Ouyang Chenmu successfully won, securing third place. The final two remaining were Lin Chen and Bailey Gu. They stood facing each other in the arena. Shenmu's sister, who do you think will win the championship between Lin Chen and this person? Ouyang Yao looked at Ouyang Qianmu. It must be Lin Chen. Yao Yao, you haven't seen Lin Chen's true strength. If he really makes a move, any student present may not be his match. Ouyang Qianmu said seriously. She recalled the image of Lin Chen dominating in the secret realm with little stars twinkling in her beautiful eyes. Completely immersed, poor sister. Ouyang Yao's mouth twitched slightly, sighing helplessly. On the battle platform, Lin Chen and Bailey Gu stood on opposite sides, facing each other. The students in the audience cheered and shouted, with one group of students being the loudest, led by their homeroom teacher who had forcibly formed a cheerleading squad for Lin Chen. In this school-wide competition, this newcomer Lin Chen was really giving face to himself. The other homeroom teachers looked at him with envy in their eyes. With the strength of a street cat, he had been pushing forward aggressively. No wonder teacher Qian said to focus on cultivating Lin Chen, everything had to go along with Lin Chen. With this kind of strength, he would definitely achieve a good ranking in the college entrance examination. Just thinking about it made. One feel delighted. He almost wanted to hug Lin Chen and give him a kiss. If there are any issues, you can raise them now. If not, the final will begin. The referee teacher looked at Lin Chen and Bailey Gu. None. None. Lin Chen and Bailey Gu said in unison. The referee teacher quickly stepped back. Lin Chen, I was watching you closely in the previous match. You are strong, but today you will ultimately be defeated by me, Zhuang Bai. Bailey Gu said expressionlessly, with a cold and ruthless look. Bro, you think I don't know who you are, stop pretending with me. Lin Chen shrugged. Ah. Uh. Bailey Gu's face twitched, shaking his head. Impressive, you found out. With that brooding look of yours, it's hard not to notice. Lin Chen raised his hands. Bailey Gu. The referee teacher on the side looked at the two bickering students and said, both of you, please summon your beasts to start the final as soon as possible. Come on, let me see your current strength. Bailey Gu raised his hand to summon his beast, the flame Pegasus. Wait, you should get some accident insurance first. I'm afraid something might happen to you, and put my name as the beneficiary. Bailey Gu? What are you standing there for? I'm doing this for your own good. Is your phone out of data? I'll set up a hotspot for you. Amid the puzzled looks of the students, Lin Chen walked towards Bailey Gu with a smile. Bailey Gu, looking confused, purchased accident insurance on his phone. 
Returning to his position, Lin Chen raised his hand, and Miao Miao was summoned. Miao Miao, show your skills freely. No problem. Miao Miao nodded, and two pairs of sunglasses and two masks appeared on its breath. It's over, my legs are broken. Bailey Gu cried with a mournful face. I finally understand why you made me buy accident insurance. Trust me, this really was just an accident. Lin Chen patted Bailey Gu's shoulder, handing him the vial of potion. After the insurance company compensates, drink this potion and your legs will be fine. I really appreciate it. Bailey Gu said with a sense of helplessness. Lin Chen smiled, don't mention it, I, Lin Chen, am willing to go to great lengths for my brothers. Bailey Gu, with a look of despair, was carried away by the school doctor, along with Blaze Pegasus. Swoosh swoosh. Ah. Damn it. You came to carry me out with a- Felt that although the appearance of the beast egg in his hand had not changed, its weight was steadily increasing. The injection lasted for a full five minutes, above the sky, the phantom of the Qilin looked at Lin Chen and nodded, revealing a lovely smile. Then, the Qilin phantom dispersed into blood-red light spots, which turned into a ball of light and shot straight into the beast egg in Lin Chen's hand. Lin Chen? Looking at the beast egg in his hand again, the panel reappeared, but this time, it was no longer a question mark. Name, Rieo Chilin, Attribute, All Systems, Qualification, Mythical, Level, 0-300, Egg Form, Dam, Another Mythical Beast with a Mythical Qualification, and it's a Chilin. Dam, this is amazing. Lin Chen was shocked in his heart, never expected that after the mooning, he would once again obtain a Mythical Beast with a Mythical Qualification. Truly, Lin Chen was blessed. In the Holy Ruins Temple, an old man with white hair trembling all over, his face full of disbelief, his hands trembling like dry branches, excitedly pulling out a small tuft of beard. Just now, he actually felt the breath of one of the strongest emperors of the Fierce Beast Clan, the Holy Fire Chilin. But that emperor had clearly fallen a long time ago, how could a similar breath suddenly appear? What on earth is going on? Could it be a resurrection? Or is it reincarnation? However, none of this matters, what matters is finding this emperor. He believed that if this emperor returned, leading the Fierce Beast clan, they would surely be able to crush humanity in one fell swoop. In the blink of an eye, the old man's figure disappeared from the original place and appeared in front of a door. The old man frowned, clutching his chest, feeling the surging blood and energy, lamenting in his heart, ah, this injury is getting more and more serious. The door opened automatically, and a young girl walked over. Grandpa, why are you here? Aren't you supposed to be recuperating in the temple? The girl asked in confusion. Ruhr, there is a possibility that one of the emperors of the Fierce Beast Clan may have been resurrected. I need you to find this emperor and bring her back. Emperor? Which emperor are you talking about? The girl asked. In her memory, the Fierce Beast Clan had more than ten emperors. But they had all perished in the war with humans before. In that great battle, the most elite beast tamers of humanity perished alongside these emperors. Otherwise, the entire continent would now be under the rule of the fierce beast clan, and humans would have no place. However, these were all things she had heard from her grandfather. At that time, she had not yet been born, and her grandfather was just an epic figure. Holy Fire Chilin, her presence was detected in Luo Bay City, the old man took out several blood-red beads from his chest, these were left behind when she fell back then. If her presence is nearby, these beads will light up automatically. Okay, I will go to Luo Bay City right away, the girl took the beads and nodded. Rising into the air, she flew towards Luo Bay City. Luo Bay City First High School. Due to the sudden appearance of anomalies, the award ceremony ended hastily. Holding the beast egg, Lin Chen got into the car and sat in the back with Ouyang Chinmu. Lin Chen, the water pipe in my house is still not fixed. Can my sister and I continue to stay at your place today? Ouyang oh Yao leaned on the backrest and looked at Lin Chen. Sure, Lin Chen nodded, I'm going to hunt fierce beasts in the wilderness later anyway. With so many rooms, it didn't matter where they stayed. The most important thing was to replicate Ouyang oh Chen Mu's talent as a beast tamer. Temperature control, undying battle spirit, and flame manipulation were quite extraordinary talents. 
Lin Chen wondered if the flame manipulation could be combined with Moon Ying's all system divine talent. If so, when Moon Ying used fire based skills, the power would increase by 120%. Just think about it, it's so smooth. The higher the temperature controlled by temperature control, the higher the increase in all attributes, up to 200% at most. When used in conjunction with the Moon Goddess talent, that's 300%. Lin Chen felt that even defeating a golden rank would not be a problem. Lin Chen's mouth involuntarily curved up. Lin Chen, I knew you wouldn't bear to see my sister and me wandering the streets, Oh Yang Yao chuckled and started the car silent all the way, the car quickly stopped in front of the villa. The three of them entered the villa, greeted the two women, and Lin Chen returned to his room. Before setting off, Lin Chen planned to contract the beast egg first. After taking the nine leaf soul grass and contracting Miao Miao, and Miao Miao's level reached bronze, there was exactly one contract slot available. Placing the beast egg on the bed, Lin Chen took out a dagger, pricked his middle finger, and bright red blood instantly emerged. Hiss. Lin Chen frowned slightly, cursing inwardly, damn, it's still a bit painful to bite, this is bad, the cut is a bit big. Throwing away the dagger, he drew the contract array on the beast. Egg, and as the final stroke fell, the array was completed. Waves of red light flashed, and the array merged into the beast egg. Similar to when Mooning hatched, cracks began to appear at the top of the eggshell. Crack, crack, crack. The cracks became more and more dense, and a small head broke out of the shell. Master the all red little Kirin leaped out of the eggshell and ran to Lin Chen's side, rubbing his arm with its head. Wu Chao! Can you speak directly? Lin Chen was amazed, he remembered that Mooning couldn't speak when she first hatched, could this be a talent for language proficiency? Ha! Huh? The little Kirin tilted its head, looking puzzled. Lin Chen! Raising his hand, two arrays appeared in succession, summoning Moon Ying and Miao Miao. Oh, master, did you contract a new partner? Mooning approached, curiously examining the little Kirin. Hmm. Lin Chen nodded, activating the inside eye to look at the panel of the little Kirin. Name, Riao Kirin, explosive flame form, gender. Sister, why does he look a bit silly? He's in the midst of a teenage delusion, just ignore him. Mooning rubbed Zino's head and led him towards the broken eggshell. Meow meow? Lin Chen shrugged, looked at the messy Miao Miao, and shook his head helplessly. Mooning picked up eggshell fragments and fed them to Zino. She remembered that when she was born, she ate this stuff, which contained a lot of experience. Crack, crack. Zino kept eating the eggshell, and in no time, he finished the whole eggshell. As a result, his body kept shimmering, and Lin Chen glanced at Zino's panel. Zino's level had increased to level 5. Nua, do you have any other forms? Lin Chen approached and sat next to Zino. Hmm. Zino tilted his head, there are many, like gold, wood, water, earth, light, and some forms I can't use right now. Lin Chen. Mooning, later you will replicate Nua's talents. Lin Chen looked at Mooning. Okay, master. Mooning nodded with a smile. Lin Chen, Nua, activate the blessing talent. Okay. Zino stood up from the bed, his whole body burning with a bright red flame, the temperature around him instantly rising, waves of heat surging. Then, the bed caught fire. With Zino at the center, the flames spread continuously around him, becoming more and more intense. Oh, grass! Lin Chen exclaimed, Mooning, quickly, quickly spray water, help me put out the fire. Lin Chen didn't know that when Zino activated his talent, he would catch fire and now he had set the bed on fire. Mooning raised her hand, and several streams of water shot out. The flames burning on the bed were gradually extinguished, emitting bursts of white smoke. Let's go, let's go outside. Lin Chen waved his hand, leading the three divine beasts out of the villa. It was not safe inside the house. If this happened again, he was afraid the villa would catch fire. Outside the villa, in the garden. Nuwa, Activate the blessing talent. Lin Chen ordered. Who? Zino's body was engulfed in flames, the temperature rising. Nua, attack that big tree. 
Lin Chen pointed to a large tree not far away. Twelve red dots suddenly appeared around the big tree, connecting with each other to form a mysterious and intricate array. Boom! The array burst into a bright red light, and a flame column tens of meters high shot up into the sky. The big tree, in an instant, the big tree turned into charcoal, and the gentle breeze turned into specks of dust. Master, I have successfully replicated it, Moon Ying's face showed a joyful expression. Lin Chen's insightful eyes scanned Moon Ying's panel, indeed three new talents appeared, Explosive Flame Blessing, Sun God, and Divine Bestowal. Sun God belongs to passive talents, and Divine Bestowal is also a passive talent that activates automatically when conditions are met. So with one attack, Mooning directly replicated three talents. Mooning, use illusionary sound. The domineering body talent can also be copied, while devouring and other talents can be copied later when feeding Xino Crystal Cores, the upgrade speed to Black Iron Tear is still quite fast. Following the command, Moon Ying's cherry lips parted, and a pleasant song flowed from her mouth. Although Lin Shin couldn't understand, it was indeed pleasant to listen to, accompanied by a bit of confusion. Miao Miao, like Lin Chen, staggered around, dazed and confused. If Mooning had used the full version, both the cat and the person might have fainted already. Zino's body suddenly emitted an invisible fluctuation, blinked his big eyes, and looked at Mooning, Sister Ying Ying, your singing is so nice. Mooning. Replication complete, Mooning stopped using the illusionary sound skill, and Lin Chen and Miao Miao regained consciousness. Mooning, use the new talent. Lin Chen shook his head and gave the command, attack the big tree on the left front. Big tree? With visible speed, Moon Ying's white long skirt instantly turned crimson, and waves of heat continued to rise. Wow! Zino was stunned, staring blankly at the now red Moon Ying. Twelve differently colored light spots suddenly appeared around the big tree, connecting with each other to form a magic array. Boom! Boom! The energy of the twelve elements vented out, and the big tree turned into debris in an instant. Did you modify this based on Zino's skills? Lin Chen exclaimed. Yes, those light spots are actually compressed fire energy, enhancing power through the magic array, Mooning nodded. I wanted to see if other attributes could be compressed into light spots to form a magic array, and it actually succeeded. Lin Chen's mouth twitched slightly, his beasts were getting more and more playful. Miao Miao used a bag of lime as a smoke bomb, a brick as a ladder to the sky, and Mooning directly modified to create a new skill. Moon Ying's crimson long skirt turned back to white. Phew! In an instant, he felt the surroundings become much cooler. This talent was strong, but at the highest temperature, Lin Chen wondered if he would be roasted. It seemed that in the future when activating this talent, he would have to ask Moon Ying to create. An ice shield for him, or he would suffer a bit. Lin Chen turned his hand and poured out all the crystal cores he had harvested during this time. Miao Miao had already reached level 50 of the bronze tier, unable to advance further due to unadvanced aptitude. Mooning had been stuck at level 25 of the black iron tier. So there were still quite a few crystal cores, enough for Zino to reach level 25 of the black iron tier and complete the advancement. Mooning, take Zino to devour the crystal cores, and remember to replicate her talents when advancing, Lin Chen instructed. Okay, Mooning nodded. Time passed quickly, and the sky gradually darkened. Zino successfully reached level 25 and completed the advancement. Mooning had been accompanying her all along, and at the moment Zino completed the advancement, Mooning successfully replicated Zino's three talents. In the next moment, Oh Yang Yao. A dragon and a phoenix carried the three of them towards the front. In no time, Lin Chen and the others arrived in the area where the ferocious beasts were roaming. Ferocious beasts were moving through the jungle below. Mooning, activate the explosive flame talent. Lin Chen commanded, be careful not to roast me. The temperature around here should not be enough to bring out the temperature control talent of the phoenix of the burning sky. To bring it out, we need to let Yue Ying raise the temperature around. Yue Ying's silver-white dragon body instantly turned into a crimson color, and flames burned on the dragon's tail. Lin Chen was surrounded by a colorful light curtain and did not feel the rise in temperature around him. It's changing, it's changing color. Sister, Lin Chen's beast is changing color. 
Ouyang Yao opened her mouth in surprise, pointing at Yue Ying with an incredulous look. Maybe it's a color-changing dragon? Ouyang Qianmu was equally surprised. Yue Ying, what's a color-changing dragon? I'm a purebred dragon, okay? Lin Chen shouted, Qianmu, let your beast use its talent to kill the beasts below, unleash all talents, don't forget. Okay. Ouyang Qianmu did not hesitate and directly commanded the phoenix of the burning sky to attack the beasts rushing below. Feathers of flames condensed into feathers continuously shot down, covering a large area. In this area, it was as if a rain of fire was falling, and the beasts were continuously pierced by the feathers of flames, perishing. Yue Ying, replicate. Lin Shen said softly. Master, replication is complete. In a few breaths, Yue Ying's voice sounded in Lin Chen's ear. The Eye of Insight scanned Yue Ying's panel, and sure enough, the Temperature Control, the Indomitable War Soul, and the Flame Control talents were all successfully replicated. It's a pity there's still the Nirvana talent, which is like having an extra life. I wonder when this phoenix of the burning sky will die. Lin Chen thought to himself, then shook his head. Ouyang Qianmu was still good, thinking of letting someone's beast die, it was a bit unethical. We'll talk about it later. Yue Ying returned to its original form, and the colorful light curtain around Lin Chen dissipated. After replicating the talents, collecting the crystal core, Lin Chen and the Ouyang sisters returned to the villa. Back in his room, Lin Chen summoned three beasts. Zino was promoted to the bronze tier and could also transform. Hurried forward. The two wolfmen exchanged a glance, their eyes showing surprise. How could a noble from the temple come to their small area? Truly unbelievable. Please wait a moment, I will go. Before the wolfman could finish his sentence, the doors of the grand hall opened. A middle-aged man in a black robe walked out from the door. Misha, the commander of the Ink Wolf Division of the Qingya Mountains, pays respects to the Lady Saint. The middle-aged man knelt down, bowing deeply. Pays respects to the Lady Saint, everyone immediately knelt down in unison, shouting. Rise, the young lady remained expressionless. Misha, I need fifty shapeshifting fierce beasts to accompany me to the city of Luo Bay. Misha stood up, his face showing surprise and a hint of bitterness. Lady Saint, shapeshifting requires the platinum tier, and the total number of platinum tier members in our division is not enough for fifty. The young lady frowned, how many? T, twenty-eight, Misha trembled. So few, the young lady hesitated. 28 is already a lot in my opinion. Do you think platinum tier members are as abundant as in the temple? Who understands the pain of our small area? Misha thought to himself, but said, the resources in the Qingya mountains are scarce, so we only have 28 platinum tier members. Lady Saint, this is our limit. Forget it, bring these 28 platinum tier members, the young lady said helplessly. Lady Saint, please wait inside the hall, I will immediately have them summoned, Misha bowed and then ordered his subordinates, go and summon all 28 generals. Yes, the subordinate left to carry out the order. The young lady entered the hall and sat in the main seat. She took out the eight blood-red beads from a small cloth bag. The beads were engraved with mysterious runes she had never seen before. The beads felt cold in her hand, and she sensed a unique energy within them, though she was unsure of its nature. In no time, the 28 platinum tier members stood in front of the young lady. She glanced at them, her delicate face twitching slightly. These shapeshifters were really disappointing. Four had human bodies but wolf heads, five appeared human but had furry ears. The tails of the eight behind them kept swaying, two had no furry ears or tails but had wolf claws for hands. Six had no strange features, but their faces had a lot of black hair. Only three of them were passable in their transformation, at least they wouldn't stand out in a crowd. Oh well, let's make the best of a bad situation, the young lady sighed helplessly, pointing at several platinum tier members, you, 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 and you, the fourteen of you will come with me to Luo Bay. Yes, lady, the chosen platinum tier members rejoiced, quickly kneeling down. This was the lady saint, going on a mission with her was a great opportunity. The temple was extremely wealthy and advancing to the next level was Chen on the forehead and returned to the computer to continue studying the talents and skills in the animation. 
She replicated a very powerful talent, one that not only she could use, but Lin Chen could also use. She believed that the master would be very happy when he found out. Not far from Lin Chen's villa, Bailey Gu was hanging a toothpick in his mouth, holding a can of beer in his hand. Finally, they've come. Bailey Gu smiled, kicked the crushed beer can away. He raised his hand, and two magic circles appeared in succession, summoning the holy feather Liadiao and the mysterious armor ghost-faced crocodile. Come out, I've already found you. Bailey Gu shrugged. What's going on? A platinum beast man frowned. He and his companions had just arrived here, and someone was already shouting at them, claiming to have discovered them? And with two platinum level beast masters by their side? Not sure, the beads are glowing, send the coordinates to the group to inform the saintess, I'll go meet this human. Another beast man spoke, with a hint of disdain in his tone. Just a human and two platinum beast masters, boom! In the blink of an eye, the werewolf turned into a crystal nucleus, its body blasted into ashes. The crystal nucleus and blood-red beads fell to the ground. A woman in her mid-twenties, riding a burning phoenix, landed on the ground. The woman leaped down from the burning phoenix, picked up the crystal nucleus and beads. Bailey Gu? Xuanning looked at Bailey Gu, her eyebrows slightly furrowed. As you expected, Bailey Gu shrugged. Being recognized was within his expectations, with the unique Xuanjia Guimianyi and Saint Feather Lia Diao of the Bailey family, and the fact that all members of the Bailey family were in the capital, except for him missing, it was hard not to be recognized in this small place of Luobei City. But it didn't matter, as long as he wanted, no one could find him, except for Lin Chen. How did you find me? Xuan Ning hesitated. No comment, Bailey Gu shook his head, took a sip of beer, there will be continuous attacks from platinum tier beasts later, it's going to be a busy night. How do you know? No comment. Why are you here? No comment. You. Bailey Gu raised his hand to interrupt, his brow furrowed, are you a hundred thousand wise? Stop asking, I'm not telling you, how does that make you feel? Xuanning clenched her fist. The girl looked at the location coordinates on her phone, accelerating her flight speed. She fully unleashed her diamond tear strength, leaving a trail of afterimages in the air, with sonic booms constantly ringing in her ears. The position of the coordinates was getting closer, and the bead in the girl's hand glowed red. Stunned. Above the sky, Lin Chen looked at his hands in amazement, muttering to himself, Damn, it really is a dream. I can even use moon skills. The rainbow light screen that had blocked the girl was released by Lin Chen. He wanted to see if he was invincible in the dream, the girl was the first living being he had seen in his dreams. He was certain that this girl was different from those fierce red-eyed beasts, she seemed to have intelligence, while those beasts were like killing machines. However, what surprised him was that the levels of these killing machines were exceptionally high, with the lowest being epic level, and even mythical level beings. Moonlight Dance Lin Chen snapped his fingers. Tens of thousands of bright white curved blades appeared in an instant, flying towards the girl at speeds invisible to the naked eye. These curved blades flew up and down, turning into countless scattered blood clots around the girl within 50 meters, transforming the killing machines into various items continuously bursting out, with colorful lights shooting up into the sky. The girl rubbed her eyes. The curved blades in front of her were still flying, cutting down the approaching beasts. The girl rubbed her eyes again. The scene remained the same. The girl was dumbfounded. Was she saved? Lin Chen descended slowly from the sky and approached the girl. Hello, can you speak? Lin Chen waved his hand in front of the girl's eyes. The girl, who had been fine just a moment ago, seemed to freeze suddenly. Ha! Huh? The girl came to her senses, blinked her eyes, and looked at Lin Chen in surprise. Wow, you can actually speak! Lin Chen exclaimed. He didn't expect the person in his dream to be able to talk, it was truly magical. Lin Chen reached out his hand towards the girl's face. Hmm. Can I feel it? Lin Chen was puzzled. Why was there a sense of touch? Could it be that he had turned over and was touching a pillow? Otherwise, why was it so soft? The girl was once again dumbfounded, staring blankly at Lin Chen, 
her pretty face blushing more and more. It must be a dream, Lin Chen thought. Normally, shouldn't she have slapped him by now? The girl just stood there staring at him blankly without resisting. Maybe she had been daydreaming about the Ouyang sisters in the evening. Fortunately, this was just a dream, otherwise, he would be seen as a pervert. Lin Chen retracted his hand. The girl still stood there dumbfounded, her face becoming increasingly red. Is she frozen? Lin Chen patted the girl's cheek, speaking in confusion. The girl, you. Lin Chen, me? The girl, you, me. Lin Chen, me? You? The girl, you must marry me. Lin Chen? Now it was Lin Chen's turn to be dumbfounded. What was going on? The girl said seriously, we Fox Clan members can only have one spouse in our lifetime. You have insulted me, so you must marry me. Uh? Lin Chen was at a loss. Seeing Lin Chen's silence, the girl picked up a short sword that had fallen to the ground and aimed it at her heart. Lin Chen flicked his finger, sending the sword flying out of the girl's hand. You don't seem like you want to marry me. So why stop me from dying, the girl questioned. Hey, don't die. I'll marry you, I'll marry you, Lin Chen shrugged. Since it was all a dream, he might as well experience it. When he woke up, everything would end. Really, the girl exclaimed. Yes, Lin Chen nodded. Husband. The girl flew into Lin Chen's arms. Ah, uh, wife? Lin Chen's mouth twitched slightly. Husband, when shall we consummate our marriage? The girl asked. Lin Chen was taken aback. Con, consummate? Yes, since you agreed to marry me, we should consummate our marriage, right? The girl nodded. Ah, uh, let's wait a bit. No rush, no rush, Lin Chen said awkwardly. There are so many things scattered on the ground. Let me see what they are first. Lin Chen pulled away from the girl and ran towards the items scattered by the dead killing machines around them. Picking up one of them, Lin Chen scanned it. Fog grass. Lin Chen exclaimed. This was actually a legendary item. It had the ability to freeze time, which was too outrageous. If this were in reality, it would be incredible. Picking up a magical energy crystal nearby, Lin Chen scanned it again. Permanently increases agility by 30 hundred points. Husband, what are all these things? The girl squatted by Lin Chen's side, curiously sizing him up. The scene just now was too shocking, causing her to not even notice that these fierce beasts would actually produce something after they died. She looked at the energy magic crystal in her hand, then at the girl in front of her. A bold idea rose in Lin Chen's mind. 